Warning for headphone users. This is about to get very loud. You've been warned. I will give you three, two, one. You can walk in. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Welcome to the stream. I figured we'd start off that way because as said in the description of this video, shit gets very loud and very jumpy in this game. And today we're going down Psyche's route eventually, which means we're going to be in so freaking much pain. <laughs> the man likes to shout out of nowhere against the fact that this game is already super loud and random. I mean, listen to these sound effects. I don't know if that's supposed to be a fish or what. It's definitely not a cat. <laughs> but either way, good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be playing from Madness with Love again. Last time we played this, we got the wonderful Sensei's two endings. They were amazing. They were beautiful. We loved them. But you guys didn't have enough. You guys said you wanted some Marshmallow and you wanted some Psyche. So we're back today. Arakawa Sensei, that was a fun stream. <laughs> but good morning. Um, do we load or do we start? I guess we should start again from the beginning and then just skip past to the point where we give marshmallow kun eel milk and then from there we should just focus on no in fact we should go past the mysteries i think i saved like everywhere actually one second i saved like a thousand yeah i did <laughs> i was gonna say i think i saved pretty much everywhere let's just jump into i don't know mid-may sounds good to me continue playing sure Meow. It's Saturday. Finally a day off. Now, how should I spend it? Okay, the last time we did troll the internet and it just skipped through time. I guess we're going to study in the library, even though I'm pretty sure library means not Psyche or Marshmallow, so we're just going to skip over that too. I got a test coming up, so I should probably head to the library to study. Yes, we should, kiddo. <laughs> Can't get over that R ah sound. I, I know. I, it. Know. I knew this was what we were going to be suffering through. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect to stumble across you here. Oh, Iota Senpai, how are you? Are you studying for a test too? I love that this game sometimes admits that we don't understand Iota Senpai. And sometimes... <laughs> it's just, it's just, just like it's just pretending everything's fine. Something along those lines. It's nice and quiet here so I can focus better. I assume you're here to study now? How admirable of you. I don't know what you said, but I've never seen you out of your uniform, senpai. You look so... Tempting. That's gonna be a bad choice. Fuck it. We roll. We're not trying to romance him. Eh. Excuse me. <laughs> For one thing, I'm very surprised that this is him out of uniform. This looks even more serious than the uniform. Man's got a blazer jacket on. Jumper and sh sh a button up shirt. God damn. <laughs> I had no idea you were so lewd. Now, if you'll excuse me, goodbye. <laughs> I knew that one would piss him off. That's fine. Everybody said his glasses looked nice. In my mind, that's them saying he's tempting. That was for you guys. <laughs> he really just walked away. Well, shit. I've really done it now. I would have senpai left to go study. And he went home on his own, too. How terrible. <laughs> oh, no, because I wanted a order sent by you badly. No, no, no saves. We don't save this time. Not until we actually get back on the right route. We got a cooking class today. I'm super excited. Omek is great because you get to learn how to cook and you never have to worry about buying or making your lunch. <laughs> I'd like you all to spread out the groups. Then decide who'll be in charge of the food prep and who'll be in charge of the fire. <laughs> I fucking love him. <laughs> Wee! Wee! I'm in the same group as Saiki. What should I do? Last time, I believe... Wait, which one did we do? We did food prep. He started a fire and it turned it into a bonfire. This time we're going to do fire. Let's see how that changes things. I love the VA. The VA is great. They got such great voice actors for it. They always have a lovely time playing this. Bum, bum, bum. Can I make the fire? I'll go grab a hatchet. 
新鮮巻き巻きカッターナイフ。Well, that knife up all fresh. What? <笑>じゃあな。OK, later, p s y c h e I'll roll my knife up. You're good. <laughs> all right, I've got the fire belt. Did you get the food ready, p s y c h e って、爆発した。How do you manage to explode food without a fire? What kind of chemical. It exploded. What kind of chemical reaction was he playing with? What? What happened? Oh, did you cut your finger? I've got a band aid somewhere. Let me get it for you. Okay, give me your finger. What the. <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. He looks so vulnerable. What has he got come. Oh god. I think this matters more. He's got something sticking out of his. Oh, it's the fucking fish! <laughs> My man has a fucking fish going through his brain right now, and I gave him a band aid for his finger. Okay, this, this works. There! Oh, better! <laughs> I have dealt with a minor problem. <laughs> you have to be careful when you're using knives, okay? Make sure you keep an eye on your hands. <laughs> Well, Socrates took third place, so now the Mayo Soman enters the ring. But. Bomb Queen. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, so that's another moment where the voice actor recording the line just burst out laughing at what they were making them say. <laughs> that was great to hear. <laughs> what was that? That was the voice actor. They did that with、uh, Marshmallow at 1.2, where in the middle of the line they just started giggling. I guess that was Saiki's turn to have read that line and then be like, the fuck did I just read? <laughs> But, Bomb Queen. <laughs> What's that? But I'm glad the injury wasn't that serious. You're kind of clumsy. I'm guessing you don't do a lot of cooking either. You should be careful, got it? After that, I helped with the food prep. My first cooking class ended in success. Can we call that success? He exploded the food, got. A swordfish stuck in his brain. At least that now explains why he talks like that. Oh, we want to go to club probably. We want to avoid Sensei this time. Sensei's scary. <laughs> this game is a. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Now that I've joined the ORC, I should probably actually do stuff for it. Sorry, Arakawa Sensei. Oh, are you all a senpai isn't here today? I don't see Marshmallow Kun either. Jimmy! It's you! Thanks for coming! Oh, we already did this. Okay, we speedrun this. Yeah, this is the first ghost. This is where things start to get interesting. Huh? Did I fall asleep? Footsteps. Is someone coming? Yeah, M Marshmallow Kun! Why are you here? You look suspicious, you perv. <laughs> yep. Well, now we remember what Marshmallow was like. I'm glad we're on this route. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. Hiding in a place like this would make me look like some creep. Um, I I'm just investigating one of the Seven Wonders for the Occult Research Club, though. I heard there'd be a ghost around here, so I'm lying in wait for it. <laughs> How dare you tell me that? <laughs> You're the tiniest character. In the... Okay. Isn't it time for children to go home? Wait, is it that late already? I, I have to go home. Oh, I didn't get anything at all today. She's really timid, but she's not going to make direct contact. Sh she? Does that mean you know about the ghost from the Seven Wonders? A word of advice. Don't dig too deep, or you won't be able to get yourself back out. <laughs> But if you want to die, then do whatever. Baldy. <laughs> I translated that as dumbass, but Hage means baldy. <laughs> He's an adorable savage. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's so mean, but in a fun way. He left. 
It looks like Marshmallow couldn't know something after all. But I can't figure out what that is. He told me not to dig too deep, but I'm worried about Marshmallow Kun. This is all so strange, but for some reason, I'm really drawn to it. In any case, I guess I'll head home for today. That's pretty much how we're feeling about life right now, right? <laughs> it's really strange, but at the same time, why am I pursuing Marshmallow? Is this on me? We're bald? No, it's just, it's just Marshmallow. Is it Aeora Senpai's birthday? No, it's trash burning day. I took out the trash, and tomorrow's for non-burnable trash. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but... Nah, it must just be my imagination. I'd rather take out the trash than deal with Aeora Senpai. <laughs> Poor Aeora. Man, have you met him? <laughs> we have to run into him at school sometimes. That's enough Aeora for me. <laughs> School's out. I'm running a little late. Oh, hey, is that marshmallow cone over there? Maybe I should do something to him. Uh, maybe I should say something. That came out wrong. <laughs> Call out to him. He's the most normal one. Technically, Sensei was the most normal one. We don't know how weird Aorta gets if we actually get to know him. But the fact that he speaks in wingdings is very confusing. <laughs> hey! Marshmallow Kun! <laughs> what makes you think you have the right to say my name, you disgusting pig? You're gonna make my ears rot off. Buhi? <laughs> I mean, oink. I mean, oh, sorry. Um, but, but I was thinking we could go home together. You make me sick. Don't be like that. Come on. Those are just butterflies in your tummy. I know you like me. We could get some yakitori cider on the way. Doesn't that sound good? <gasps> yakitori cider. There we go. Yakitori cider? That's what you want. Then let's get going. Come on, kid. I got yakitori cider. I'm pretty sure this is the scene where they end up laughing in the middle of the line, too. <laughs> Such good delivery. Tastes like the cold sweat off of a wrestler's biceps. D does that mean it's good? But yeah, it's super savory. Mmm, delish. He sounds a bit like Millie. What Millie do you know? He sounds nothing like Millie. <laughs> oh, it's raining and I don't even have an umbrella. You fucking maggot. It looks like you don't have one either. It's getting pretty heavy. So let's find somewhere to wake it up. Where they wait it out. Does anyone else think it sounds like Millie? It really doesn't to me. Millie has like a gremlin voice. I, I can't even do a Millie even slightly. But Millie has like a gremlin voice. <laughs> Aha, we can hunker down over here. Let's go. <laughs> ah, you bottom feeding piece of shit. It's with all the abuse anyway. Oh, there's a frog in your shirt. Gah! Don't thrash around. I'll get it for you. So just take off your shirt. Stupid idiot, dumbass, pervert bastard. That's a lot. God damn. <laughs> And yet you're still doing what I said. I guess the frog is just that gross. All right, Mr. Frog. Come out with your hands. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> Sounds more like Melotan's boy voice. It does, actually. Yeah, I have heard, um, heard, uh, like, young boy voice. It does sound a lot like that. Oh, the sensor is still on. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Ow. Ow, s Sorry. But let me get off of you. Phrasing? He's not even flinging insults. Sorry I pushed you down. Does your back or your head hurt at all? <laughs> no, I'm damn well not. <laughs> You're like a monkey in heat. A monkey in. I am not! <laughs> he, he laughed? Is that good? <laughs> Stop breathing, low life. Huh? Was that just a trick of the eyes? <gasps> now he's sniffing me. A Tideland's shellfish with five minutes left to live. Oh yeah, I forgot. Everybody likes my smell in this game for some reason. Everybody thinks it smells nostalgic. There's something weird going on in this game and I can't wait to find it out. I'm glad we're going down Marshmallow's route. <gasps> wait! Marshmallow-kun! <sighs> the rain stopped. 
And thus the curtain of rain closed on the mysterious and strange time I spent with Marshmallow. Someday. They're tempted as they should be. You want to save here? Sure, why not? Save every time we actually do something with Marshmallow. Chat, it's... <laughs> No! <laughs> no Omega for us! Ah, it's so hot. Can't believe it's already July. I think there's a swimming lesson today. I'm not the best at swimming, but at least it'll be nice and cool. I remember Koshi and Kamerun. Kamerun. Kamerun has an indoor pool, so I bet it's real pleasant. I'm looking forward to it. And on top of that, it's just about time for summer break. I should ask if someone wants to do anything summery together. But who should I invite? Marshmallow Kun. I'll ask Marshmallow Kun. <laughs> Did you imprint on my daughter? <laughs> Yo, we meet Marshmallow's mother. Marshmallow's mother is just like, what? You call him Marshmallow Kun? His name is Maximus. How dare you? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Marshmallow Kun, would you want to go with me to a festival over summer break? Urdesai. Shut up. Uh, um. Yikes. Sorry. But seriously, do, do you want to go? There are going to be lots of candy apples and takoyaki. I know you don't like going anywhere too crowded, but I just really want to make some summer memories with you. So please. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I'll buy you a candy apple and some cotton candy and some fried eel and some salmon roe melts. The eyes went so wide. Why is this the relationship we have? Shakaigomi,の,ストーカー野郎,がマシュマロの周りをこそこそと嗅ぎ回ってんじゃねえよ。ブーザマに地べたに頭こすりつけて靴舐めて懇願しろよ、カスカ。Holy shit! Normally you have to pay for this kind of a... Wow! Why don't you stop shoving your ugly nose in my business, you scum of your stalker trash? Maybe I'll go if you rub your face in the dirt and lick my boots, shit face. I mean... Okay? Well, I did just... No! No! Have some self-respect! Futon! And well, I did just that. Licking Marshmallow Kun's shoes while crying and begging for him to go. But all right. Now I'm all hyped for summer break. You'd think you'd be arrested if you did that at school. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm into that. Fair enough. I mean, my... Yeah, MC just said, you know what? I'm down. We're good. <laughs> It's our first swimming <laughs> lesson. Alright, form a line and swim it forward. Crawl to the farther side. The pool gets deeper as you go to about 50 feet. Make sure you don't drown up there. I can't do the rolling my R's thing. Damn it. Okay, that's pretty deep. Kind of scary, but okay. I'll just do my best. Even though I live underwater and somehow we have a pool, I just... Wait. <laughs> We're not going to skip through stuff we already saw last time? Not if it has to do with... Well, I suppose we should skip this. Because this is... Yeah, we won't skip this next time. Screw it. Boop. We'll come back to it. Oi, this is him. I was going to skip through everything that wasn't Marshmallow or... Um, him. But yeah, we should do him in the next round, so we'll just skip pretty much everything else. We have to figure out where things are, though, is the problem. Like, what is this? Whoa! A sudden wave of vertigo washed over me and I collapsed on the spot. Oh, this is where we wake up in Sensei's. Okay. Bye bye, Sensei. Um, do you want to save here? Sure. Late June. Early July? Continue. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. It's July 4 to... It's Saiki's birthday. We'll go to that one, but skip it. <laughs> this isn't our route today. Oh. No, yeah, we gave him a pacifier last, last time. And he really liked it. So for this time... um, Let's click the log so it's not skipping anymore. Give him a weed. Olgarovid does not condone using drugs or out mind altering substances of any form. Give him a weed! Oh my god, the voice actor was so good. I actually really like Psyche's voice actor. He does so hyper and genki and then so serious and just like, fuck. <laughs> I don't want this trash. Huh? You're talking normally? It's almost creepy. 
he didn't even take it. I guess I was being too cheap. That's it. You don't even get anything funny out of... Okay. <laughs> Finally, lunchtime. Go away, Arakawa Sensei. No, that sounds like a you problem. You find your glasses. God, I love that one. Okay, joining on club activities. I'll head over to the club. We're gonna die. <laughs> I think we need to skip past the beginning and then Marshmallow shows up after we, like, have bad things happen. There we go. Okay. What's going on? 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 I have to find him. I have to go home. Find my home. Where was it? Oh, I know him. It's Senpai. What's a Senpai? I can't remember. Gotta follow him. Senpai? Hey, Senpai! Wait for me! Senpai? Huh? Why? Huh? Who are you? What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that CG is so fucking good! <laughs> Damn kitchen scraps! <laughs> Feels weird. Huh? Oh, oh, what am I? The yaoi hands? Yeah, like... I don't understand That's why he hands them, hi, uh, hides them under his cardigan. Yaoi hands are twice the size of his head, man. Of course a fucking moron like you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Calling you a small fry would be an insult to the fish. Didn't I tell you to stay away, moron? Oh, Marshmallow-kun. Thanks for the slap, I guess. I don't know what's going on, and I can't really see too well either. Did you save me? Don't get so full of yourself. You're just a puny, pathetic little creature. You got out by the skin of your damn teeth. So, sorry But thank you. There won't be a next time. After saying that, Marshmallow couldn't turn away and went off somewhere. <laughs> Whoa. Indoor voice, please. Are you real? <laughs> they all had so much fun recording this. I love it so much. What are you saying? I was so worried about you. I died like three times. You just disappeared into thin air. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for worrying you. But thankfully, I was able to return in one piece. That thing I saw earlier... No, Marshmallow Kun. Just who the heck is he? Why did he save me? And so, club activities ended for the day as I calmed down my teary eyed senpai. <laughs> Love that I have to calm him down. It's fine. We're doing fine. Okay. Continue playing? Yes. Really over dramatic, but it fits him. Yeah, he cares about us so much. Even if he shows it in a weird way. <laughs> It's finally summer break, and it's finally time to go out with him. I promised to go to a festival with Marshmallow Kun. Actually, never mind. I mean, he, he, he kind of rude to us, honestly. I think we need to teach the kid a lesson. No, okay. Let's go. Let's go get some food. I promised to go to a festival with Marshmallow Kun. What is this thing? Why is it bleeding? Or is that supposed to be hair? Oh, God, that's terrifying looking. <laughs> It looks like a zombie. Hey, Marshmallow. Nice you got that. Oh, Marshmallow Kun. You made it. Thank God. I was starting to think you wouldn't show. You're looking so sorry for yourself. I'm just so glad I licked your shoes. No, my man. Stop bringing it up. It didn't happen. There was no CG. It's fine. But anyway, there's a lot of people here. 
Are you gonna be alright? Get me out of here. Uh, okay. Huh? The yummy food. Oh, you're that hungry? Uh, let's get going, I guess. Right. I have to pay Marshmallow Kun to have time with him. Uh, this is fine. You licked shoes? You're damn well right I did. <laughs> At least he's happy. <laughs> the mouth sounds, man. God damn it. Um, um, you look so happy eating all that delicious food. Take a picture, moron. It'll last longer. Okay. Let, let me grab my camera, bitch. What are you going to do now? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help but stare. It's refreshing, I guess, to see you without your uniform. You a pervert? I, I'm definitely not. Bruh, bruh. I was just saying. Maybe get some outfits that don't all have long sleeves, though. Maybe we could see them hands. <laughs> oh, he's happy secretly. You're laughing? <laughs> hey, you disgusting trash of a servant. That one. Hmm? Uh, of course. Which one? The shaved ice? Just one sec. Here you go. Sorry about the wait. They only had Mr. Gleam favor. Is that okay? <laughs> Absolute garbage. And yet you still eat it. <laughs> wow, I am... Um... God, such a bitch in this run. <laughs> Pathetic manservant. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Wait, did we already see this? I thought we went with Mr. Arakawa. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Your tongue's all blue. Don't eat so fast, you'll get a brain freeze. Shine. <laughs> just die. But I, I just said, hey, do you want to play with fireworks we won from the shooting game while you eat? There's an empty spot over there. Shiitake aroga. <laughs> you shiitake shithead. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing it was blue. Could have been much worse, yes. Could have been much more interesting. Kichimatsu, the creator of this game, is very aware. The creator of this game also did the voice acting for Marshmallow Kun. So, they are incredibly aware. They wrote this, they planned out the CGs, and then they voice acted it. Oh, the moon is so smiley tonight. How beautiful. All right, here's a sparkler. Do you know how to use one? Ah, know your place. Oops, sorry. Wait, no. This is a matter of you getting hurt. Don't let your sleeve or something catch fire, okay? You ready? I'm gonna light it up. Like it's dynamite. And then I lit up a sparkler for each of us. Hey, Marshmallow Kun. Let's see who can keep their sparkler going the longest. Do you have that? <laughs> when he gets five miraculous years worth of globe sausage. Yeah, I don't think that's an actual unit of measurement. Not to mention, was that Freudian? Was that suggestive or, um, but I'm definitely not going to lose to you. Phew, such a busy day. It seemed like it passed in just the blink of an eye. It's hard to believe the same marshmallow coon who wears the uniform I do and berates me all the time is here with me at festival wearing a yukata. If someone told me this was all a dream or a hallucination or something, I wouldn't even doubt it. It's kind of sad that it's already over. Oh, went through a lot of different sprites. So many emotions. And soon enough, there came the moment of truth. Oh. Marshmallow Kunz went out. That means I won! I get five miraculous years worth of glove sausage! I don't know if I want that. <laughs> it sounds dirty. <laughs> but okay. As I was celebrating, my sparkler also went out, and then there was only moonlight around us. That was just... Moonlight? Hey, Marshmallow Kun, where are you? Where'd you go? Hey! I kept calling out, but I never got a reply. The only thing left behind was charred remains of his sparkler. It was the only proof he had ever existed here at all. I'm still thinking he's a ghost. That's what I'm feeling from this story. You want to save here? Sure, why not?
<laughs> Got ghosted. Yep. And just disappears every time. Okay. My family abandoned me. Who cares? Yes, we're going to the park. Um, This is actually a marshmallow thing. All right. It's a beautiful day, so I'm going to go take a walk in the park. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm going to give myself a nice cool bath when I get to the park. Oh, marshmallow kun. So you do go outside on your own volition. You're wearing such a cute outfit, too? You're getting your spit on me, you revolting pig. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, what a coincidence that we'd see each other here at the park. Are you taking a walk? Hmm? What you got there? Get away from me. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Huh? Are those scissors? And some canned tuna food. Marshmallow could. It may look yummy, but it's for cats. There's no way. Uh, wh where are you going? Also, who opens a can with scissors? That's actually pretty impressive. Marshmallow Kun went off towards the bushes. What do I do? Wait up, Marshmallow Kun. Huh? I thought the game's sound effects were just glitching out. But am I actually hearing a kid in me out? Okay, it's so loud. <laughs> Cow. Huh? What? It's not a cow. And it's not a cat either. It's a weak little spotted hyena. Oh no, the hyena got its photo tangled in some wire and can't move. Poor thing. I want to eat beef. And then Marshmallow could took the scissors in his hand and started hacking away at the wire around the hyena's leg. But the wire was too thick to cut through, and it only caused the hyena to cry out in pain. Yo, oh. we leave the hyena as it is, it'll surely just get weaker and die. What should I do? Okay, we should actually try some other of these, because we only did one last time. And to be honest, I'm not sure if it was the good one. Let's say no idea and see if he just, like, does something for us. No idea? Oh. That's okay. That's just essentially, hey, we're, we're going home. Um, go to the convenience store. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the convenience store nearby. They've got to have something that can cut through wire. Hey, Marshmallow Kun, I'm gonna head to the store. You stay here and look after the hyena. He's just gonna disappear again, isn't he? Well, I said I was going to the store, but I forgot to bring my wallet. So that's a dud. I'll just have to head back to Marshmallow Kun and the hyena. But when I came back, I couldn't hear the hyena's whimpers or see Marshmallow Kun anywhere. The only thing there was the corpse of a dead animal. It was decomposing. At first, I thought it was some funny, weird, funny thing. But then I realized it was the hyena. But it had only been maybe 15 minutes or so. Why did it look like several days had passed? There was no sign of Marshmallow Kun either. That's so weird. Just earlier, the hyena may have been weak, but it was at least alive. And Marshmallow Kun was watching it intently like he was worried. Just what in the world was I witnessing? It looked like it had broken down for a week. He is a ghost. I guess he could have like drained it of energy or something. But it looked like it decomposed for a week. God damn. Maybe it was a ghost... <laughs> I, um, load. I, I guess we just, yeah, take it home, have our little cutesy moment. We'll just skip through this then. I think we all remember this pretty clearly. Um, well, let's try this. <laughs> let's try offering him an umbrella this time instead of telling him to stay. Offer an umbrella. Let me get you an umbrella. I don't want you catching a cold or anything. You don't like. I don't need one. Marshmallow could have said that. And he gathered up the hyena in his arms and left. But I'm glad I was able to do something good today. Hashtag happy. Oh, God. I hate my MC sometimes. Okay. It's just, just, we did the perfect thing last time, apparently. Uh, skip. <sighs> he gets close to us and he disappears. Just like everybody I care about in my life. This is fine now. 
Just took the hyena. Yeah, he just went out. <laughs> he did not give a fuck. Summer break's already over. I'm a little sad about it, but I can't let that get to me. Going back to school means I get to see my friends again. I gotta buckle down and do my best in both class and sports. Hashtag happy. Don't you hit me with the hashtag happy. <laughs> Seriously? Yikes. I went to the library once. I, I mainly flirted with the order kun, but st I went to the library once. They posted the test results in the hallway. Let's see. My rank is... Last time I think I was 160 something. Shit. <laughs> I think that actually did go up. I think I was like 167th. It's fine. It's not like I studied that much, so I guess it checks out. <laughs> It's all like digging dog's mouths to fill rubber or whatever. Oh, Psyche. What was your ranking? And please tell me you're far, far lower than me, for the love of God. Ah, oh, Chocho! Ah, oh, Butterfly! Th that checks out. That That's about the best way to explain. <laughs> oh, I see. You're 193rd. I'm just impressed you're not at the very bottom, honestly. I guess you can read passages and stuff pretty well. <laughs> it's like we're two peas in a pod with our crappy rankings. <laughs> we're not going to college. <laughs> you should be washing those trinets you used to clean the drive through. Uh, uh, come to think of it, Psyche. Have you ever taken your classes seriously? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have to put a lot more effort into studying too. Good, good convo, Psyche. I'm, I'm glad. To... Okay, bye. Um... <laughs> My first day back, I kind of want to have lunch in the cafeteria. <laughs> okay, so it's the scene with Arakawa sensei. Mm. Where he beats up the kid. God, I miss Arakawa sensei. Knowing what I know about him now, maybe I don't eat the lunch this time. <laughs> We throw the lunch away. Maybe we give it to Marshmallow Kun and see if he falls asleep. He killed you? Yeah, but he did it in a sexy way. It was worth it. I can't eat a lunch made by someone else. That's disgusting. Yeet! <laughs> I just yeeted it. Oh, school's out. What should I do now? Um, I'm pretty sure I should go to my club. But I'm not definite. Let's do it. I think this will be the third mystery. You're here again. You're here again now. Okay. Ow, Jesus, dude. Okay. We skipped to the creepy stuff again. Um, follow Marshmallow Kun. I don't. Did I ever try reporting? I did try reporting back. Okay. Follow Marshmallow Kun is the correct answer. I can't just leave him alone. Follow Marshmallow Kun. That was loud. Yeah, when they their sensor button is really loud when they say Coke Academy. Huh? Where'd he go? It sounds like someone's running upstairs. This way, maybe. Ma Marshmallow Kun. Ah. Ah. I finally caught you. What are you doing here so late? The school's about to lock up, and this is. The top floor? The roof is blocked off, remember? Goose-out <laughs> organism, god damn, dude. <laughs> so you got caught up in that club's dumb shit again. Looks like you can't learn from experience, just like every other dumb idiotic single-celled organism out there. Sorry. Go away. Oh, but... But I want to follow you. Wait up. Huh? The door to the roof is unlocked. Hey, Marshmallow Kun, if a teacher finds out about this, they're going to be pissed off. So, you can't just go in there without permission? <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't even matter anymore. I'm coming up. That, that was a really good... Man, whoever did the artwork for these, I really like them. The lighting effects and, like, the colors are all so nice. Guess you can just ignore red flags if you're dead. <laughs> I mean... You end up dead because of the red flags. That's part of the fun. <laughs> oh... Sky's so pretty. The sky was so beautiful today. And the view from the rooftop was even more exceptional. 
It was worth coming up here, even if we do get in trouble. Why don't you wipe the crap off your face before you go stinking up the place with another load of shit? <sighs> Harshing my mellow yet again. That's what I like about you, Marshmallow Kun. Oh. I I'm sorry. It's just, um. I didn't mean anything weird by that. I just genuinely want to get closer to you, Marshmallow Kun. As a friend. You're the one who told me to keep my distance from the Occult Research Club. But I'm partly here because I wanted to get to know you better. Shut up. Huh? <laughs> your voice, your appearance, your whole entire existence is disgusting. Quit talking to me like it's no big deal or I'll throw you off the roof. Tuskaru. Tuskaru. See, that's better. Violence sounds better than me than just, you know, insults. You threaten me with violence, I'm into it. Okay, we're down. Women like you should either stay away from Marshmallow or get down on the ground and beg for forgiveness for being alive. Oh, I know. Do you want to watch the sky with me? Thanks. <laughs> I'm just ignoring him at this point. I'm just like, ah, it's okay. He doesn't mean it. He's, uh, I'll get him a candy apple later and he'll be happy. Marshmallow Kun has been really kind to me lately. I've noticed. He hates everyone but himself. And his words kind of stink. Uh, okay. More like getting stabbed repeatedly. But I don't know. I just can't help myself. <laughs> wow. We're really leading into this whole shit, huh? Because he still tries to be nice to me in his own clumsy way. He's really considerate of me. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things. Why did he want me to join the Occult Research Club? What was it that I saw on that day in that place? Who in the world is Marshmallow Kun? I don't know. But I want to. Oh, <gasps> Marshmallow. No, it's MK. I was going to say Marshmallow Kun is MC. Re in, like he's actually going to be the main character because it's MC, but it's MK. It, ignore me. We spent so much time here, but I never asked him. Because this is the time to watch Marshmallow Kun in the moonlight. I mean, just the moon itself. Tsuki Gakurei desu ne. Crap. I was supposed to go report to the president. I'm sorry, Marshmallow Kun. I have to go. Take a shower. You smell like shit. Thanks for today. Bye bye. <laughs> I love this part of the story where he's just like ignoring everything he says and just rolling with it. It's like, yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs> you tried to cook. Well, uh, other people in chat did better. The M in MC stands for masochist. Yeah, that works. Masochist character. That's me today. That person's no longer in this world. Just give it up already. Fucking psycho. I don't know still if he's talking about the original Marshmallow Kun or if he's talking about like a the ghost we were supposed to be looking for. <sighs> if he ignores his insults, it's like he's not even saying them. <laughs> True. That's the perfect way to get through an abusive friendship. <laughs> oh, God. Today's our cultural festival. Where should I go first? Okay, I remember... We went through all of these, right? My classroom, Saiki. First year's classroom is... Who was... Okay, fuck. I don't remember. Um, bum. First year classroom? The third one was Arakawa Sensei. Oh, this is A order. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Saiki. Um, boop. My classroom. Go check out my classroom. Yeah, Sensei ended up putting on like a rock show in the gym. Hmm. Second year class Pom Pom is doing a cross dressing maid cafe? This should be fun. Psyche. <laughs> Fuck. Why does he rock it so well? He's so confident about it, too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll have one omurice, please. Extra moe moe kun. We did not see this last time. No, I guess we got, like, we did aorta kun for sure and then backed out. And then I guess the third one happened to be Arakawa sensei, so we stuck with it. Please go home. God. S Saiki? Were you trying to say welcome home master or something? 
我僕俺拙者好きなように名乗ってくれよな<笑> I'm Yuko chan I'm me and myself call me whatever you want Okay Yuko chan I never thought Saiki would dress up as a maid このレジャーシートに防弾カーディガンを置きな Why don't you put your bulletproof cardigan on this picnic blanket? Is that an innuendo? Um, okay. I'm not wearing a bulletproof cardigan, and that's not a picnic blanket, but yeah. I'll let you show me to your seat. Um, what is your eat, Joe? Uneven pile of salt coming right up. Psyche's in top form today. God damn. When he enters the working world, he's got it too great. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll call you mine. Damn, Anton. That was smooth as shit. <laughs> God, the Riz. Hi, QK Sanjikan go send Lopia Okay, 5,600 yen for three hours. That's. Bro, that's only like 56 bucks. You should really have higher rates. Oh, you bought the menu. Thanks. Now let's see. Also, why is three hours the only option? Why does it start there? Are the only options on here really just water, salt water, and the ultra cute heart shaped armor rice? I mean, let's go for armor rice then. <laughs> I guess there are limits to what high school students can sell. Alrighty. I'll get the ultra cute heart armor rice then. Hi, what is this? Yep, here you go. <laughs> that was fast. I guess it's because it's the only real option on the menu. Oh, did he give us a moe moe kyun? Like this, and this. And done. Why, why did you put your own name? Psyche. Oh, so, whoa. That's actually quite impressive. You put ketchup everywhere except for the writing. That takes some artistic skill, honestly. <laughs> he covered that whole shit in ketchup and then like rubbed it off. Damn. He really does do things differently. <laughs> wow. Isn't the ketchup to egg ratio supposed to be the other way around? No, this is better. Honestly, I like a lot of ketchup. Good shit. When I think about it, Psyche did his best to draw that for me. It was like such a waste to eat it. But, but it'd be rude not to. Down the hatch. Holy shit. That ketchup is sour. I can't believe how awful this tastes. But Psyche's eyes are sparkling as he watches me. What should I say? Um. It's del del delicious. Oh, he got so happy. It's, uh, d delicious. Thank you for making it for me. <laughs> chandelier <laughs> well, the chandelier is iron season right now. Did you put a chandelier in my fucking ketchup? He looks so happy. It was all worth it. Even the lead poisoning, which I'm going to. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to see a stream of the Bavara Space Probe? Yes, actually, that sounds wonderful. Huh? Oh, um, you want to feed me? Oh, holy shit. Wait, that's... I mean, I don't not want to, but it's a little embarrassing. Hey! Gah! One thing led to another, and I end up, ended up having a heart-pounding nerve-jittering time at the cultural festival with Saiki. How did that not get a CG? <laughs> that should have been the CG. You want to save here? Sure, why not? There was no way to hang out with Marshmallow Kud anyway. Bum ba da bum ba dum. <laughs> Mikaya roll. I'm not sure that. No. <laughs> okay, that that was pretty intense. <laughs> How did that come from Space Probe? We don't question Psyche. Mr. Arakawa's birthday. It's time to air out my futon. Air out my futon. It was such a nice day out with the sun shining down on me. <laughs> Sorry, Arakawa Sensei. This ain't about you. Okay, lunchtime. Up, ah, skip. Out of here. Up, ah, not skip. Oh, well, we've already done this, actually. I guess this time I should calm Aoda Senpai down. And now, there's no need to get your panties in a twist. Psyche didn't do anything. Wait, that's exactly the same. Okay, I might have fucked that up. Um, let's eat lunch together. So, yeah. Awesome, lunch with Saiki. Hey, all just land account for. Look, man. <laughs> it has to happen. Did he curse? No, he just said Coke Academy. Every time they say Coke, 
academy they have to cut out the second part so they're not saying you know oh, it's bad it's bad aorta senpai got so mad at you seriously do you have any idea why oh we did do this before okay all I heard was sexy. <laughs> and that's honestly enough for me, Psyche. <laughs> the Pepsi Academy? Well, no, it's the. Uh, sure. We'll go with Pepsi Academy. <laughs> it's Halloween. Should I take the opportunity to trick or treating? I could start with Marshmallow Kun! Maybe I'll make a candy offering to Marshmallow Kun instead. Wait a sec. He's usually here. Well, where'd he go? Meh. Meh. Oh, Marshmallow Kun. You are here today. Trick or... Hey, wait. Where are you going? That's the chem lab. Yeah, I'm good. He looks pretty busy. I guess he doesn't want candy that badly after all. How the hell is Halloween the day we don't get to spend with Marshmallow Kun? That sounds like exactly the time to spend with Marshmallow Kun. And I'm very interested in why he went into the chem lab before school. <laughs> We're always bringing Marshmallow Kun offerings. Yeah. The only reason he puts up with us. It's... It's fine. <laughs> Days are sports festival. The courtyard is flooded with students. Hmm. What was the event I was going to do again? Shit, I don't remember these at all. <laughs> Let's find out, baby. Tag along race. They're gathering us soon, too. I've got to hurry. Basically Do saying Forbidden Cocoa Academy. Yeah, exactly. The next event is the Tagalog Race. Okay, we did this one. This was the one with Sensei, right? Yeah, okay. Goodbye, Sensei. Two-legged race. Pretty sure it was the two-legged race. They're gathering us soon, too. I've got to hurry. Like the little eels. Yeah. Uh, eels, but they kind of remind me of meerkats because of the way they're sticking up out of the ground. <laughs> and the next event is the two-legged race. <laughs> In this event, students will pair up and make their way to the finish line using just two legs, through whatever means necessary. For example, giving one student a piggyback ride. Does it count if I have two metal legs? Like, do those not count as legs? In which case, we win. Okay, let's see. My partner is... No potato, yo. What? <laughs> Sapwa <Sabla> potato. <laughs> okay, let's see if Marshmallow is the third one. If not, we'll do psych. <laughs> yo potato, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pretty sure it was folk dancing. I've got to hurry. <laughs> folk dance. Dance partners will be decided regardless of class, grade, or gender. Points will be given to class depending on which pair dances the best. Let's dancing. Now, everyone, let's dancing. There's no way Marshmallow's doing this. Oh, that's some serious music. All oh, the students began dancing to it. But I'm not that great at dancing. I learned the choreo more or less, but I'll really have to try hard to get points. Let's see. My partner is. Oh. Oh. Two legged race it is! <laughs> Skip. No potato yo. Sup on potato. YouTube Kun, you doing okay? Again, yeah, YouTube's being weird recently. Hello? We're back. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, it isn't my computer messing with us. It's YouTube messing with us. we back. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Okay. Yeah, just refresh and we'll be back. Refresh. And we are back. At least it was only disconnected for like 10 seconds, but yeah. That was the second time that it... Wait, it happened before? I didn't even notice it happened last time. Shit. I'm to smack YouTube for misbehaving. If only it were that easy. Okay. Hang on, no. I just have to believe the two of us can do it. You got a stomach to spare? Give me one. Do I look like an even-toed ungulate to you? 
Did I just call myself a cow? I think I called myself a cow. <laughs> we do have four stomachs, so that makes sense. I ought to curse you for skipping him. You know what? Good, I'm going to do it even more then. Screw Aorta. Aorta's <laughs> getting it all away. Psyche. Now then, players, take your positions. On your marks. Get set. Yeah, we gave it right back to them. As soon as the starting cue was given, Psyche grabbed both of my legs and pulled me up in one fluid motion. Oh, hell yeah, we're getting princess carried. Oh, Psyche, what are you? <laughs> what the fuck is that position? Why are we 69ing? What the fuck? Is well... That's good to know. Saiki can literally carry us upside down with my face in his crotch. And his face in my crotch. Why is he breathing into my... You know what? I don't need to question it. This is from Madness with Love. This is what we do here. <laughs> Why is chat full of... <laughs> no, I'm not... <laughs> the wonky wonky. Not too bad. But Alia with the got 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 come on man <laughs> Uh huh That's Psyche Yusuke from the second year class palm farm racing down the lane at breakneck speeds despite carrying a whole human being Boy, he's in the gaming club that's strange This handsome fella's a real charmer and even though he's in the gaming club he's got an athleticism that'd put all the jocks in the school to shame <laughs> I fried chickens all up in the woods. Uh, hang on. I can't see anything going on around me, but this can't be right. The only thing I can see is... Psyche Yusuke. <laughs> I can't say any details, but my emotions are going haywire right now. Is this what happens when your brain gets put in the pear wiggler? The only thing I can do right now is cling to Psyche for dear life. I don't care what he thinks of me at all at this point. I don't even care if we win. I just want to cross the finish line ASAP! <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. All I know is crotch. Yep. All I see is crotch. <laughs> and the first place goes to second year class pom pom. Now that's what you call a dynamic duo. Hamu. <laughs> Hamu. I don't know what happened, but I totally saw my life flash before my eyes. But wow, Saiki. That was amazing. It's all because you believed in me. H huh? You're talking normally again. Gravity Meal? Gravity oh, there we go. Just what's with those moments of clarity you have sometimes? Are you having a seizure? And thus ended our sports festival. <laughs> He's a good boy. Those moments of clarity. He gets really romantic during them as well. Oh, man. It's all because you believed in me. Goddamn, Psyche. That's... Yo. He knows he's the protagonist sometimes. He's talking about the crotch. Oh. <laughs> if anything, that should have, like, you know, taken blood away from his other muscles and caused problems, but okay. Autumn's already in full swing, huh? I say autumn's the best time for reading and art, but I'm pretty sure it's the best time to stuff my face. Been buying those delicious fried chocolate twists from the food store every time it comes around. I told you to cut it out with the baby fez. Is one per day too many? Maybe. Yeah, but the spring thunder's rolling in. Oh, shoot, lunch is already over? Autumn days just pass by way too quickly. <laughs> Do I understand Psyche now? <laughs> Wait. I have to finish the Bocky I got. What's up, Psyche? <laughs> you want some Bocky too? 
If you want it, you're going to have to work for it. Just kit. What? Is that blood? Oh my god! My nose is bleeding like crazy. Oh, this is this scene. We're just going to ask for a tissue. We don't need to see Arakawa Sensei. Psyche. Do you have a tissue or something? There's a sandpaper three. That, that's. Oh god, that would hurt so fucking much. <laughs> I'd sure like to stuff my face or... Okay, chat. Chat's so down bad for Psyche. I can't wait to actually get on his route. Let's find out what happens at the summer festival with him, yeah? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sandpaper's fine. Oh, God. Thanks, Psyche. Oh, wow. Well. Psyche tore up the sandpaper. That's the second time he said that. I remember him saying reclining, but happier before. He does, I guess, make some form of sense. <laughs> Psyche tore up the sandpaper into little pieces to make it easier to shove up my nose. He's so nice. But I still have no idea what he's saying. Anyway, I put all the sandpaper into my nose. It didn't actually stop the bleeding, but Psyche did give me a pat on the back, so... Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I just continued to bleed through cloth. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Finally, school's out. Sweet freedom. Relatively apolic. Oh, Psyche, you must have been worried about my nosebleed earlier. Thank you. Oi, onara tabena. Hey, eat a fine. Um, Psyche. Psyche was tugging on the sleeve of my uniform. Was he asking to go home together? What should I do? I think I went over this last time too, right? Oh yeah, this is another moment of clarity from him. Right. So Psyche and I hung out together on our way home. We even got bubble tea. What flavor did you get, Psyche? They keep your scatter planes and carbonic acid or what? I didn't have many friends at our old school, so walking home with Psyche like this, drinking bubble tea, it felt like I was really living life to the fullest now. Even though he makes zero fucking sense. Psyche, have you made any of other friends at school? I'm real tight with the same mass as Jupiter. Ugh, talk about extroverted. That's a lot of friends. But today you decided to go home with me because you were worried about me. Thank you for that. Of course I'm worried. But I'm here because I wanted to be with you. I don't know. I want to think of you as a friend, you know? Hey, hey, hey. Your hemoglobin disease is on the rise. Whenever he does this kind of thing, it's bad for my heart. I wonder if Psyche thinks we have a special relationship. Or something. <laughs> I didn't know how else to deliver that line with all those tildes. He's blushing. Yeah, he is. He cares about us. It's the friend zone. He says he wants to think of us as friends. That just means he's scared of it being beyond that. I don't know what he thinks of me. Or even what he's saying, but... I was still a little giddy the whole way home. Oh, Or something, yeah. Who knows what it could be. Do you want to save here? Hell yeah. Let's get back on Marshmallow's route. There's been so much other stuff. <laughs> those are Tildes? Yeah, those are Tildes. It's December already. Today marks the end of the second term. Can't believe I've been at Koshi and Karamaru in this all along. So much has happened. And I've done so many things with him. You know, this and that. Such and so. <laughs> For some reason, it's still hard to figure out what everyone's saying. I really feel fulfilled with my school life up to now. My, you haven't been in a hole. Oh, Mr. Arakawa, good morning. That made zero sense. <laughs> Why is MC more enthusiastic with Psyche than every other boy so far? Probably because he's like the most normal. Yeah, probably because he's like the most normal and, you know, has those moments of clarity. Nothing he says makes sense, but at least it's English. It's not abuse. <laughs> Plus, you know, they, they were at the same school before, so it's like childhood friend kind of thing. You have an even number of ears. Did you not get enough sleep? Between the two of us, I'm pretty sure it's you not getting enough sleep. Your eyes are like always closed. 
傾向等はシフト制にしないとクーデターを仕掛けることもありますから十分注視しましょう Or is it periodontal disease? Fluorescent lamps can start a coup if you don't take it in shifts. So you want to observe them plenty. Oh, I've just comprehended. Alice has a reason for him not to know my name this time. Asama kun, could it be you have an infatuation with beer? Or maybe pot stickers? Yikes! I I'm not in love! Aren't you the one who's head over heels for beer and pot stickers? <laughs> you got my name right. <laughs> There's no need to conceal it. I understand. I'm a shochu man myself. I've sensed it for three years now. You have a quantum mechanical absolute water inside you that makes your intestines boil over. I wonder if three years ago was when he started killing middle school kids. Um. No? We literally just met eight months ago. It, it's just. I just. Don't have anyone I like. Um. Because no one in the school, including the teachers, knows how to have a conversation. So, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Don't say that. Remind yourself of their lovely face and voice. Mune. No. Kao. Suizo. Koka. Suizo. Sume. Sume. Tokoro. Hondo to hisu no joshou wo kanji torimasen ka? I learned two very interesting words in Japanese today. <laughs> Groin and bosom. <laughs> Your chest. Your brain, your face, your pancreas, your groin, your nails, your bosom. Can't you just feel the rise in humidity? So, so I just think of the person I like? Imagine if in the middle of this run, I'm just like, hey, it's it's totally aortic. <laughs> oh, marshmallow su summer. How dare. Why is he the only one who gets an actual name too? Marshmallow Samo. I'm gonna just real quick, actually, I'm gonna save this one on the third one as well. We might be able to just immediately dive onto Kinpatsu's run in this one too. I like this kid with pink hair and adorable little freckles. Tamara Marshmallow Sama. But, but there's no way he feels the same about me. He's an elusive mystery of a guy. And I never know what he's thinking. He's way out of my league though. Ah! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Not even a goodbye? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he wants everyone to lick his shoes. <laughs> okay. Should I invite Marshmallow Kun on a date and try to get closer to him? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna muster up all my courage and ask him out. Marshmallow Kun! Oh, we're not even gonna be able to ask him out for Christmas. Really? <sighs> I can't find Marshmallow Kun anywhere. I still don't even know what grade or class he's in. He doesn't stand out much at all, so... No one will know even if I ask. Just hope I see him before Christmas rolls around. Da, da. That's sad. Do you want to save here? I mean, I guess I have to. I, I guess? I hope I haven't fucked up this run. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. It's... It's today. The day I've been waiting for. Christmas. And I'm going on a d d d date with the guy I like. Oh my God, what do I do? What should I wear? D dress up. Who? What? Did we do this before? Might have to start all over for Marshmallow. Oh. Really? No. <laughs> you have to do literally every event. Okay, we're just gonna skip through shit then. Um, load. 
<sighs> fucking what? It's a, a, a screen? Ah! Whatever that was, I didn't like it. Title. Okay. <sighs> the run is dead. That's pathetic. We started on like month two. The, the only thing we missed out must have been like one choice. Oh my god. Start. From the beginning. What I should have done at the beginning, I guess. It's okay. We'll just skip through everything this time. Uh, last name. Ovid. Is. Into your first name. Fuchan. Fuchan Ovidis. Fu is Ovidis Fuchan correct? It's not, but sure. Would you like to turn on streamer mode? Mm. Streamer mode. Okay, skip. Oh, we get to hear this again. <laughs> the fucking lyrics, man. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't put that in, it's too big, I'm sorry. God damn. <laughs> There's no one left to help you now. God damn it. <laughs> I love that song. Why is it such a good earworm? <sighs> also, why do I now have like a... What the hell? You good game? Why are you capturing an extra bit of black screen? There we go. Okay. Um, it's a little early, but I gotta do a bit of a bit of a bit of a Fuck. I can't believe we start from the beginning. Um, courtyard, right? Um, skip. S skip. No. Yeah, it's yeah. We give him ill milk here. Wait. That was new. We didn't do that before. We gave him ill milk the first time we met him. So this is the courtyard. It's even got a fountain and a pond. That's what I'd expect from a rich people's school. I decided to sit down on a bench to take in the clear blue sky. Flowers in the garden and the rustle of the trees. Wouldn't it be bad to get some reading done out here? I heard a rustling in the grass nearby. I thought it might be a tanuki. There's no way there'd be wild animals in a wealthy school in the city. Instead, there was a short boy wearing the same uniform as me. No. No. Not here. We're here. It looked like he was so focused on searching for something that he didn't even know I was there. You, 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 well, do I even want to call out to him? Maybe I just want to watch him and observe. I call out to him. Um, it, is something wrong? No. Not here. Tap him on the shoulder. He seems pretty thick-headed, so I tried tapping him on the shoulder. Huh? Hmm? Oh, My feet. It, your foot? I looked down at his feet and saw that one of his shoes was missing. He must be looking for it. Um, d do you want help looking for your shoe? I wear contacts, so I've got 60-60 vision. <laughs> My feet. Kiss them. Uh, um... I always thought the only people who would make you kiss their feet at your first meeting would be S&M circles. That's what we're getting into, buddy. <laughs> I guess I should have expected it from a rich people's school. 
It's a good wake-up call that the weak will be exploited to hell and back. Thank you. I just transferred here. My name's Fuchan. I'm a second year in class pom-pom. It's nice to meet you. Did I kiss his feet already? <laughs> what are hell on S&M circles? Circles for S&M. Sadism and masochism. <laughs> Only look that up if you're an adult, kids. <laughs> you swine. He, he left. He's kind of a moody kid, isn't he? Like maybe he just looks young, but he's actually older. Pretty bad to talk down to an upperclassman, especially on our first meeting. I got a little embarrassed and ended up leaving pretty quickly. I can't believe it tanks your run if you don't spend every moment with one character. That's so difficult. Let's see. I'm in year two class pom-pom. Here! And we're going to meet Saeki. Now we can start skipping her. Are, um, sure is. Maya, A, Brenda, since Chalampuran Express Canada. Express Canada. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes. Yes, I should give him my eel milk. Come here, young child. Drink of the milk. He snatched my milk and started slurping it down. Tastes like a baby's quads. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna skip this scene. This got weird. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Continue playing? Yes. Speed run! Marshmallow Kun has the most difficult route. Shit. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, he Akane really Taya. likes eel milk. Okay. Probably the courtyard again, right? These people are so lucky to get to eat in a place like this. Just in my lunch while being caressed by a gentle breeze. I feel like I'm on a picnic. It's so exciting. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you're that kid who stole my eel milk. So we meet again. Oh, I want that. He pointed to my lunchbox. Okay, we did see this before. Split the lunchbox. Um... Let's talk about club activity this time. Last time we talked about food. What club are you in? Or are you planning to join one? I've never been to a school quite like this before. So I don't even know what all the clubs are yet. I was hoping I could join a club you can only find here in this huge school. I wonder if there's anything like that. Um. <laughs> Fair enough. Ugh. Why is this vomit-inducing pig squealing and snorting out human words? You're covering the garden in your filth. Huh? He, he, he's gone. Oh, okay. Later, bro. Should I not have talked about clubs with him? Uh, either way, I don't think it's going to take a lot of effort to make friends with him. I think it is going to take a lot of effort. I don't even know his name or what grade he's in, but he did talk. end up talking more than yesterday. Skip. Okay. Oi, poly, 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 Ba, 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 ba. Did we ever see this one? Do, do, do. Pipe down, will you? Like your voice is a cheese grater in my ears, you piece of trash. If sorry, but come on, just hang out with me for a bit. I've got some free time. It's already bad enough I'm here at this plebivested event. <laughs> I don't even know how many lives I live. I will never participate in this. Oh, I don't care how many lives I live. I want to do something for him, but what? Um, should we get out? I don't think having fun together will work for him. But we're going to try. So we'll have fun together. And I'm sure you'll have lots of fun playing with your friends and everyone. And maybe you'd want to launch some eels with me? With me? With me? <laughs> Ugh, gross. Yeah, I figured that one wouldn't work. Let's go somewhere else then. Um... Let's get out of here. We'll go find some food somewhere. Get out of here and find something good to eat. Aww. 
we grab him by the hand and drag him. Surprised he's not cursing us the whole way along. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed his arm and dragged him across the courtyard. He looked pretty freaked out, but he didn't even try to shake himself free. And he didn't look particularly unhappy either. His arm was cold in my grasp. I'd never seen him hanging out with anyone before, and he doesn't seem like much of a people person. So I guess he was a little lonely. His arm is cold? Yeah, he's totally a ghost. God damn it. That's cute. That is really cute. The fact that he didn't want to play with anyone, but us dragging him away, he's like, Okay, I guess. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There's a new flavor of Remora chips in the school store vending machines. Want to try some? Kusogayo. Fucking shit. <laughs> he didn't say no. <laughs> That's the start. We just need to feed the child and then we're fine. <laughs> so we went and bought some snacks in the empty and abandoned school store. He looked so gentle and cute while he was eating. Hey, this isn't a fucking exhibition, you nasty voyeur. He must really have a hard time making friends, so he looks down on others as a means of protecting himself. But I wonder if I could somehow thaw out his frozen heart. If I just take it slow and get him o open up little by little, he may speak like the verbal equivalent of squeezing lemon juice in your eye. When I see how adorable he is, it just makes me want him to someday bear his heart for me. Well, it's not like I have any basis for this, but still. Strange and wondrous feelings blossomed at the ill launching rally. I, I gave him some chips. That was it. That was, okay. Um, skip. Who is it? Aeora Senpai? I'm going home. Do I save here? Yes. Okay, back to speed run. <laughs> He'll grow to like us if he associates the food. Are we really Pavlovitting him? Are we doing the Pavlov's dog thing on him? Oh, shit. That's fine. That was just him telling us to go to a cult club once. I don't think we've ever not gone to the nurse's office. I appreciate the concern, Saiki, but I swear I'm fine. Even if what Marshmallow could said was true, I'm still going to submit my club application today after school. I keep worrying myself sick. I'm going to fall behind in class. Seriously, I have to pull myself together. Uh, Saiki? You're way too close. Saiki gently pressed his hand into my forehead to check my temperature. Mm. Mm. Pigeon isn't that acute. But if the frame's angle starts changing, let me know. You really have to drain a daikon of all its blood, okay? Anyway, that springy jambalaya is screaming out. Psyche was worried for me. Wow, he really is kind. I find it interesting that Psyche's root and Sensei's root. Yeah, the dubstep one. I find it interesting that Psyche's root and Sensei's root are like on opposites. Every time we get a choice to go to the nurse's office, if we don't go, we get more time with Psyche. It, it, like with Sensei, he started off like making sense and then he made like zero sense by the end of the run. Psyche is the opposite. The closer you get to him, the more he starts to make sense and say things that make sense. Interesting. I wonder if that means he's got to be the opposite of a murderer. <laughs> okay, I think I have to join the occult research club. But I'm not actually sure. So this has got to be like a vocal point. Call research club. Skip. 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 Psyche is so cute. Yeah, he's actually pretty. He's like the nicest character of the ones we've got so far. You want to save here? Sure. But from now on, on slot two. Okay, Morai Senpai. It's Saturday, finally. I'll study in the library. But this time. <laughs> this time I won't tell him he's. <laughs> Tempting. You look so stylish. Why, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Oh, he's so happy about that. Oh, that's actually really cute. This is my favorite piece. I had it tailored. It makes me happy to hear that you like it so much. Shit. That was actually... God, his eyes look at... Oh, man. Iota Senpai, not so bad, actually. Still not going to bother with his root, but good to know. 
I can't tell for sure, but I'm getting some good vibes from him. <gasps> Why don't we sit together? There's something you don't understand. I'll teach you. <gasps> Finally got to pass an exam. I guess I'll go ahead and sit here. Maybe he'll help me study? Probably not since I don't understand him, but close enough. Hmm, I don't understand this problem at all. Hey, order, senpai. Could you help me with this? Hello, hello. Which one is it? Ah, this one. I admit it's pretty tricky. Oh shit, we got a CG out of this? That's not a great one though. <laughs> but it's something. For this problem, you want to use Fermat's last theorem. Now with the corresponding and alternate interior angles, you want to eat the compass. What? Hey, Oda Senpai, your shampoo smells so good. Yeah, okay, I'm still not passing my exams. <laughs> Are you even listening? <laughs> Yo, the way his eyes turned to us. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was just overcome by lust. You asked me to help you, so you should at least listen. Yeah, I... I really am sorry. <laughs> as long as you understand. Let's keep going. So here's how you would divide the chicks. And so I order senpai continued to tutor me until nightfall. I couldn't follow what he was saying, but he would point between the textbook and my notes to make it fairly easy to understand. Senpai's really kind. Thanks to him, I was able to overcome the subjects I suck at. All in all, it was a good weekend. Holy shit. He just straight up said he was overcome by lust. I could not escape being like <laughs> dirty with him, but okay. O okay, it worked out this time. Wait. Continue playing? Yes. Why did it make me save a second time? The chicks? I don't know. Don't question this game. It was... <laughs> we'll do fire again this time. We got a nice CG out of it. Jana. Jana. <laughs> MC is down bad. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got to hear that laugh again, too. Okay, go to my club. <laughs> okay, so now we're at where we started. <sighs> you want to save here? Yes. Yes, I do. Don't trust myself at all. I'll get over the voice. The teacher's voice is great. Um, it's trash burning day. <laughs> Wait, do I have to? No, it should be fine to skip these things, right? As long as it's not marshmallows, it should be fine. Is it fair to say this MC is Fogacore? No, don't be silly. I'm not that much of a masochist. And I'm not that into Aorta Senpai. I should have turned the censorship off. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Put a save here? Sure. Tip for Marshmallow's route to go to every club meeting? Oh, I figured we had to do that. Even though he told us not to. Who should I invite? Marshmallow. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm a stalker, Yaro. This is fine. Aorta's not a sadist, though. Yeah, but the MC certainly is. Just on a slightly different route. When have we ever been this good at listening to warnings? Never. No more saving. We got this. Saiki's birthday. Newspaper collection day, baby. <laughs> I got things to do. Which don't involve looking for Sensei's glasses. Joining on club activities. I think we just need to get back up to Christmas again. And hopefully, by interacting with Marshmallow Kun every time, hopefully we'll actually be able to invite him out for Christmas. If not, then I actually give up and I'm just going to have to go to Psyche. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm surprised the voice lines just keep going after you move on. Ghost for real ghosting? Yeah, he better not do that to us again. That broke my heart. Quick save. Continue playing. 
Perfect. Ba-ba-dum, ba-ba-dum, ba-ba-dum. Um, park. Have to go to the park to find the hyena. Sorry. Chase Someone after you, him. Uh, does he look okay to you? He looked fantastic to me. Take it home. Um, let him stay. Cute little scenes. And uh, no safe. I love Moray's VA. I literally love all of their VAs. They're just having fun with the roles and they're just like popping off on it. Especially Sensei. Um, throw the lunch away. Go to my club. Oh god. So much we have to redo. Hyena scream. Yeah, I'm glad we got to skip the... the, 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 the meowing sounds that is kind of painful okay keep your little moment with marshmallow could september no god damn it October, November. we've still got like two months to go jesus um where should i go first uh this one was psyche was, uh, okay yeah psyche then He's so fun if y'all did a dating game like this one. Oh, I mean, we already did the tray well, the, 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 the like preview. Um, should I try the other one? It's, you know, it's all right. Oh, he didn't get happy this time. Uh, yeah, we already did. Oh, what was that game called? Touch Starved. Oh, if only. If only we could do our own dating game. You want to top it out for some thermostats? No, it's fine. I can't eat that anyway. And so I pretended I had to pee and left the maid cafe. I can't say it wasn't an eventful cultural festival. Ouch. I broke his heart. No safe. This is fine. He's not happy. Yeah, no, we, we destroyed him. Arakawa's birthday. Time to air out my futon. No wonder marshmallows is so hard. We literally don't get any time to... Just choose to spend with him. Courage, psyche to apologize this time. You've got something on your clothes. Because <laughs> I don't want to eat with you. <laughs> really? To think that if I... I have to go, excuse me. Okay, so he's a very cleanly person. <laughs> Starting to get to know the Aorta, even though we haven't actually been spending any time with him. That's that's fine. The Chan Marshmallow is in the first year's classroom. No, it was Aorta. Right? No, wait, no. Did I miss shit? Um, save here. Load. Eh. Marshmallow shows up. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. God, now I have to go through this again. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for telling me. But we'll get it. We'll, we'll trigger every single event with Marshmallow. Good. Take it home. Sorry. No, that's good. It's, it would be worse if we got to like the end of this and he still didn't show up for Christmas. So yeah, no, it's good that we now know that. God damn it, Aorta Kun getting in the way of everything. Uh, did we go back far enough? Or did we not go back far enough? Oh, God. Marshmallow is elusive? Yeah, he is. Throw the lunch away. Move on. Um, go to my club. God, this is so long. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, follow Marshmallow, then. Of course, it's Aorda's fault. It's always Aorda's fault. He scared us away from Marshmallow, Kun. He's getting all jealous. Oh, because of Aorta. He's a cock blocker? Yeah, exactly. He thinks if he can't have us, no one can. That's not how the world works. Okay. No more skip. First year classroom. Okay. Oh, Aorta Senpai. <laughs> uh, oh, it's you. Are you enjoying the cultural festival? Is this a haunted house? Are you thinking about going in? 
As the student council president, it's my duty to investigate every classroom to ensure that they pose no threat to the students. But, but, um, I have a hard time with this particular thing. I have some reserves about going in there alone. Um, perhaps if it's alright with you, would you be interested in going through the haunted house with me? Yes. Poor Marshmallow. Not for you. <laughs> it, it's not as if I'm scared, though. I swear. Okay, you Sundere. We get it. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. You're trying to figure out if you should go in or not? Let's go together. Unless I have to leave to... God damn it. I'm going to save... I don't know. Here. Sure. Um, Let's go together. You should go if you want. I can go with you, too. Come on. Come on. Ah, I'm grateful for your offer. Apologies for making you go out of your way, though. He looks pretty freaked out, but I get to go through the haunted house with Aota Senpai. Score! <laughs> Why do I feel like this is going to be the eel scene from the intro song? Yeah, it's a lot darker in here than I thought it'd be. Actually, Senpai? Aren't you a little close? Don't tell me. Are you a scaredy cat? Uh, I am not. There's no such thing as ghosts. That's not. There's absolutely no reason to be afraid of a hoax made up by some random students. He got angry for some reason. I'm sorry. But, um, you've kind of been shaking like a chihuahua for a while, you know? <laughs> I didn't even notice Marshmallow could at first. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just... It's just my phone vibrating. You must be really scared, huh? It's hard to focus on the haunted house because Senpai is too close to me. I can smell the aroma of coffee on him. <laughs> Exit to the left. <laughs> Oh, backward screams are kind of terrifying. <laughs> it just sounded like normal screen. Huh? Marshmallow Kun? Aota Senpai? He's just dead. He, there are no Eos. He's, he's just dead. Um. Nade, nade. It's okay. It's okay. I'll give you a head rub. In fact, I'm Aota Senpai now. You may now refer to me as a what a senpai. Um, you good buddy, senpai, senpai, are you okay? I want a senpai. Oh my god, I know you didn't mean to scare us, but that freaked him out so bad he fainted. Exit to the left. <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't realize this was your class, Marshmallow Kun. But that's it. For the time being, I left the haunted house with the older senpai in my arms and headed for the nurse's office. He was surprisingly heavy, actually. Well, he is a pretty tall person. All in all, the cultural festival may have been exhausting, but it wasn't all that bad. Okay. Did Marshmallow maybe get jealous because I was with a different person? But maybe. Um. Maybe we're in the right track after all. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing. <laughs> Time to air out my futon. Skip, 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 skip. Okay. He's just like, leave, please. Yeah, he just wanted us gone. Oh, senpai. I think a teacher wanted to talk to you. Go to my club. Perfect. What the hell is going on with YouTube today? Hello? Are we back? Okay, yeah, good. Refresh and we're back. What the hell is wrong with YouTube today? God, I'm sorry, guys. That's what? A second? That was a big one, though. And again, it was gone for like 10 seconds. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much you guys missed. But essentially, when we went to club, it ended up being a different thing. We got to go into chem lab. So I've reloaded. And we're just going to do that again. It's a new scene somehow. Um, 
It's okay, Futan, not your fault. It's really annoying, though. I'm sorry. Uh, go to my club. Yes. I'll head on down to the club room. Star. <laughs> YouTube died like Aorta Senpai. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it is every time we're mean to Aorta Senpai. Um, we've already seen the beginning of this. Collection of moaning creatures. I don't know when this becomes new, <laughs> but it's definitely a new scene. Alright, this is the first floor chem lab. I'd prefer to go directly into the prep room, but I can only get in through the lab. But that's a bit tricky since the science club is meeting right now. Ugh. I guess I'll have to wait until they're done for the day. Oh. That's... Uh. Uh. <laughs> Marshmallow-kun, I keep seeing you off to school. What made you think you can stomp around and dirty the earth with your disgusting feet? Hey, Marshmallow-kun, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. Do you know anything about the seven wonders of Koshien Kadameruin? I'm looking into some moaning creatures in the chem lab right now. You have these vibes around you, like you know a lot of stuff like this. It's kind of like you're creepy and weird. Marshmallow Kun, I know you told me not to get involved, but I want to know. I want to know what's out there. So we should investigate together. The president of the ORC is really interested in you too, you know. You just can't stop running your mouth today, huh? Want to get slapped again? Maybe. Maybe I'm into that. You don't... can't tell me what to like. I already knew he didn't like getting involved with people, so I should have expected that. Wait, Marshmallow Kun? There's no one in the second lab, though. Oh, that's genius. If we go into the prep room through the second lab, no one will see us. I get it. Interesting. Moaning after hours? Yeah, see, that's what I think is going to happen. We're going to end up accidentally watching two teachers just, you know, have fun time with each other. <laughs> it's so dark in the prep room, I can't see a thing. And the chemicals all have this weird smell. It's a little scary. But I don't hear anything that could sound like moaning. It's too dark to see it, clearly. But I think there's a layer of white dust on the shelves where the creatures are displayed. There's frogs here. And fish. And bugs. All sorts of critters. And by the way, Marshmallow Kun, since you came in here with me, does that mean you want to help investigate? We shouldn't be in here. Huh? What does that mean? I think I remember something. What is it? Crap! Someone's coming! What do we do? Someone's coming toward the chem lab! We're gonna get in trouble if they find us! What do we do? Of course we hide in the locker. That's the only way to, like, get super close to each other. Duh. Oop. Marshmallow Kun! Let's hide in one of those lockers! They're gonna find us! <laughs> I was so flustered that I grabbed Marshmallow Kun's hand and pulled him into a nearby locker full of tools to hide. Oh god, full of tools. Yep, there we go. That's about right. <laughs> and there was only one closet? Exactly. Every time, baby. That's actually a really cute CG. Aww. S sorry. I know it's pretty cramped, but just hang in there. <laughs> I caught his gaze and immediately got the feeling that I'd just done something I really shouldn't have. There was no other choice, but still, I ended up being way too close to Marshmallow Kun. It's almost like we're hugging each other. Is he gonna get angry? Does he hate it? Or... Oh. I looked at him again, and once again I felt like Marshmallow Kun looked like a small cute animal. His eyes were pure and unclouded. I wanted to believe that the reason my heart is pounding was because the teachers came into the room. They didn't seem to realize we were in the locker, though, and instead started looking for something on the chemical shelves. We held our breaths and waited for the teacher to leave. Are they gone? Okay. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Uh-huh? Why not? A little longer. Oh! Marshmallow Kun hugged me tightly as I tried to climb out. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> this, the the dere is coming out of the sundere. Does it even count as a sundere? I don't even... The abuse is... Ugh. I don't really know what that a little longer was referring to. Was it because he couldn't tell if the teacher had actually left? So he wanted me to wait for a bit? Or was it because he wanted to stay with me for a little longer? 
but I felt like I shouldn't ask what he meant, so I kept my mouth shut. Next thing I knew, the teacher was gone for good, and Marshmallow Coon stepped out of the locker without a word. But the faint warmth I could still feel from where Marshmallow Coon hugged me, and the smell of the weird chemicals made me feel a little strange. I ended the investigation saying nothing had happened that day. Damn! We get that just from seeing that one other early scene? That's... Damn, you have to keep up with this game. <laughs> Marshmallow Coon's route is hard. It's Halloween. Should I take the opportunity to treat... Yeah, Marshmallow Coon. Maybe I'll make a candy offering. Can I follow him into the chem lab this time is my major question. He goes to the chem lab. Do I follow him this time? Meh. Meh. Oh, Marshmallow Coon, you are here today. Trick or... Hey, wait, where are you going? That's the chem lab. Huh? Marshmallow Coon... Yes! We do get a new scene. Okay, this is awesome. We're definitely on this route now. Marshmallow Coon went into the prep room. What should I do? Follow him. Marshmallow Coon! Come here. Uh, okay. Is this my treat or my trick? I'm worried now. <laughs> the prep room is as dark and creepy as ever. For some reason, the atmosphere seems heavier than it was before, though. Why did Marshmallow Coon come in here? Come here. Oh, Marshmallow Coon. He squeezed my index and middle fingers together and then pulled me forward. Oh, he's just holding two of my fingers. That's cute. That's pretty bold for him. I'm getting nervous. So what is he doing bringing me into this empty room? Is it just me or is his eyes glitching? Yeah, th there's a glitch over his face. Oh God, what are we doing now? Hey... I never had the chance to say it, but... Oh. Marshmallow Kun? His hand was cold like ice. I knew they were naturally cold from when we'd hidden inside that locker before. But this was just... A small dainty hand holding mine felt... Different somehow. Oh no, he fully glitched. Uh-oh. I've gotten interested in you. You... Odd Tamura Marshmallow Kun, right? Like, my Marshmallow Kun? Aren't you going to insult me or something? No, I just. want to be with you. He's starting to glitch his voice, too. Marshmallow Kun, the, the bell's about to ring. Shouldn't we get going? Don't go! go! His grip on my hand got stronger. I couldn't shake him off. Away. This can't be Marshmallow Kun. This person can't even be human. What are they? <laughs> Stay away! Oh, real Marshmallow's coming to save. Yo! That's CG! Marshmallow's a fucking beast. So, this is the one who told us we should stay away from Marshmallow Kun. What are they? <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you damn hag! Do I mute myself? Wait. Oh, there. You horrible low-life scumbag ghost! Trying to impersonate Marshmallow just to drag a living human to the other world with you? Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Don't ever let Marshmallow catch you again! That's... It's just a constant stream of verbal assaults. It's the real Marshmallow Kun! <laughs> yep, that's my Marshmallow Kun. Did he... Come to save me? Before I even knew, a mysterious person was gone. We left the prep room as fast as possible. We shouldn't have been there in the first place. Um... Marshmallow Kun... Did you by chance come to save me? Ouch. <laughs> that thing must actually look like Marshmallow to someone with the brain the size of a flea. Okay, okay. That's one hell of a... <laughs> Goddamn. 
Disgusting. Blushing at the creature holding your hand? Marshmallow would have respected you more if you just let it take over your body completely. You sick fucking pervert. Uh, s sorry. But I was just so happy that you wanted to hold my hand, even if it was fake in the end. But... Thank you for saving me. I'm really... Really happy. The prep room has much worse than some lame dead animals. Oh. There's always been something bad in the air around here. It's not just that low life from before either. There's still something there. There's a memory in my mind somewhere, but I can't remember it. So I'm assuming he is a ghost now. I'm assuming he died and possibly in that room then. Huh. Marshmallow-kun, did something happen to you here too? You idiot. You don't know shit. How dare you interrupt me? If it weren't for Marshmallow, you wouldn't even be here right now. No, you wouldn't have ever come here in the first place. But now you know. Getting involved with Marshmallow is nothing but trouble. So never go near Marshmallow or the Occult Research Club ever again. You said you wouldn't say it again. You said you wouldn't save me again. But you don't have to save me. And you don't have to tell me anything. I get it. I just want to know you better, Marshmallow-kun. I want to have some common ground with you. I like you. No matter how much abuse you throw at me. In fact, I love your abuse. Don't tell me to stay away. I won't, because I like you. <laughs> Why are we getting a confession this early? God damn. I squeezed his hands tightly once again. His hands and his demeanor were cold. But I could definitely feel the warmth underneath it all. Ugh. Take your grubby paws off me. Get on your knees and apologize already. I'm so sorry. Uh, as a token of my apology, please accept this candy. I gave Marshmallow Kun the candy I brought for him. And everything was fine. It was all a little strange. A little unsettling. And my heart race seeing how cool Marshmallow Kun was. What an interesting Halloween. <laughs> that was an interesting Halloween. That was mysterious. Uh, yeah, we'll save. We're back on the right track. This sounds good. That line that he said, like, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. D does that mean... Did he bring me to the school or did he just mean because I followed him into the chem lab? I'm curious about that one. Did he burn down my old high school? Was he the one with the terrorist attack? There are interesting things going on in this. Ah, yay! Skip it! Um, we can't spend any time with Marshmallow in any of these, but I guess two-legged race was fun. Wait, 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 wait. Ibukuro no amari aru? Kaste. Does folk dancing eventually turn into marshmallow <laughs> Probably not, right? Uh, it's probably fine. Want to save here? No, I'm going to load just in case. I'm going to do the folk dancing. Just in case. Just, just in case. Did you play? Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Skip. Skip, skip, skip folk dancing. No marshmallow here? Okay. Well, we'll just do it anyway. We'll skip through it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that got intense in its own way, too. Okay. No. Might as well see all the CG. Yeah, at least we got a free CG. Ask for a tissue. Sandpaper. Um, go to the club, I guess. He told me not to go to the club, but I feel like I shouldn't listen to him. It hasn't worked before. To the club, baby! Let's see if this one's different at all. 
諦めずに彼を招待してください。すべてはオカルトズレの調査。ああ、これは別の快適な学園生活のために。Well, anyway, the chemistry prep room we looked at last time seems to be absolutely crawling with vengeful spirits for whatever reason. Wait, I told him I love Marshmallow Kun! Oh. Oh, we should reload this and start this from where it was then. Everything's different on this path now. That's interesting. Okay. Let's do this properly then. New stuff! I thought it was going to be the same as before, where it was like super the same and then Marshmallow just appeared. Heidi ho! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're here. Thank you. レイの友達くんはオカルト研究部に連れてきてくれましたか Hey there, glad you dropped by. Did you bring your little friend with you? No. He's kind of a tough nut to crack. And he's not easy to talk with either. All he does is shout verbal abuse. 人好きでなくて、会話が成り立たなくて、罵倒しかしてないのに友達なんですか He's a tough nut to crack. He's not easy to talk to. And he's verbally abusive. And this guy's your friend? まあ。Well, Coke Academy is pretty big. There gotta be all sorts of people out there. Oh, I bet you really love him, huh? Nothing wrong with that. Love. I love a marshmallow, Kun? Hum. Hum. So, it was so to. So、前回調査した科学準備室理由は分かりませんが多くの音量がうごめいているようですそうと Well anyway The chemistry prep room we looked at last time seems to be absolutely crawling with vengeful spirits for whatever reason 部活に近寄ってはいけません早急にお祓いをするように生徒会長に要請しましたので安心してくださいね I don't think he's good with ghosts I don't think that's gonna work out But be careful if you get close to it I've asked our student council president to exercise them ASAP, so there's no need to worry. It's all thanks to your investigation that we discovered this too. I bet it was a pretty scary experience, but you really pulled through for us. Oh, I mean, I'm only alive because of that friend I mentioned. If something had happened to me, I was sure he would save me. その友達、なみなみならぬ霊感と知識を持ってるに違いない。<笑> I guess they just didn't want to go, you know. ぜひうちの部に欲しい人材。Monster Fricker in this game. <笑> Sounds like weakness to me, but yeah. Ah,、oh, I see. Your friend must have a great sixth sense and plenty of knowledge to boot. If only our club could get a hold of him. 諦めずに彼を招待してください。すべてはオカルトズレの調査。ああ、あと生徒たちの快適な学園生活のために。<笑> Don't give up, okay? Try inviting him again. All for the sake of our investigation.、Uh, and、uh, obviously for peace of mind for the other students, too. Oh, dude. <laughs> so this time we're going to look into the fifth of the seven wonders. The stain that looks like a human face that appears occasionally in the second stall from the back of the third floor bathrooms. Sankai Nishi no Danjo Toile wa, ima wa sui do ga tomate iru tsugo de tsukaware te imasen ga, kagi toka kakate nai no de, chosa s i a s i to o i m a s Both the men and women's bathrooms are out of service right now since the water supply was cut. But they're not locked, so investigation should be easy. Dewa, yoroshiku o negai s i m a s Well then, good luck! Okay, in we go. Chat wants the eel milk. Oh dear god. Oh god, is that where the milk came from? Now we know. <sighs> Terrifying. That's what the club president said. Do you think it'd be alright to just go over one little meeting? Please. I'll buy you something yummy in your tummy. Ha, so zai. Shinea. Hello? You're so fucking annoying. Just die already. Try getting on your knees and apologizing to each and every bug on earth, and then we'll see. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Maximum Senpai is really nice. He gives me candy and he can actually hold a normal conversation. So I'm sure you'll be fine. But if you really don't want to, I can't force you. Today. Huh? Today what? Oh, yeah. 
Today I'm looking into the fifth of the seven wonders. A face-shaped stain in the third floor bathroom. Do you by chance want to come with me? I hope you get cursed. <laughs> okay. He's still going to show up. He's still going to save us. He, he, he cares about us. Hey, he left. But he asked what I was doing today. So that must mean he wants to do it with me. <laughs> phrasing. Phrasing. All right. To the bathrooms we go. To do it with marshmallow. <laughs> God, no. Why would you phrase everything like that? Marshmallow Kun, I knew you'd be here. Thank you. Make sure it's not a ghost first. Ugh. I know it's getting dark out. But this place is so dark and musty. Let's see. The second store from the back is... This one? Oh. There really is a stain here that looks just like a face. Hey. Do you think this stain might be the work of a ghost? Hey. Marshmallow Kun. Where are you going? At least let me take a pick of the stain. I'm coming with, okay? Wait up, Marshmallow Kun. Marshmallow Kun. Did you get a weird feeling from that stain? Oh no, don't tell me it's dangerous and I'm not supposed to get too close to it. If it is, maybe I should get Aorta Senpai to exercise me while he's at it. There's nothing bad here except you, idiot. H huh? So no ghost either? Was it just some false alarm? <laughs> Your brain just imagined it. AKA, you're fucking haunted. Haunted? It's a phenomenon that happens when you get too involved with them. If it gets too strong, you might attract them to you. So, so you mean like, people just living their lives can't see the stain? But people who make contact with ghosts or something or have ESP or whatever can? Like that? Whatever it is, it makes it easier for them to curse you or kill Neanderthals like you. Oh you can always get some peace of mind by going to a shrine or temple. You can snot cry and crawl around in the dirt and buy some junk talisman to ward off evil. Hmm? Marshmallow Kun, what's up? Nothing. I only came here to see what kind of thing was pulling the stunt. He walked all across this big ass school for literally nothing. Better apologize for wasting Marshmallow's time and effort. Then make it up to him with money or food or something. Worth this piece of shit. Uh, yeah, got it. I'll buy you something. December 1st. The next club meet? That's why we never got to celebrate our, the birthday with him. We didn't even know his birthday. Now we finally know when the birthday is. It's when Marshmallow was born. You get me something stupid, I'll kill you. And he's gone. Next time the club meets is December 1st. Marshmallow Kun's birthday. I'll have to make sure to give him a super yummy present when I see him. I guess Marshmallow Kun must trust me if he keeps tagging along with me. It makes me kind of happy. But anyway, I finished up my class activities for uh, my club activities for the club with a report stating there are no ghosts in the women's bathroom and that I'm apparently being haunted. Well, you just add that in there. <laughs> Interesting. And also, it do kind of sound like he's a ghost, right? Like the way he talked about getting a talisman to ward off evil and then he suddenly froze like, oh. But if you get that talisman, it'll ward off me too. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just give him milk. No, let's give him a talisman to ward off evil just to check. Continue playing? Hell yeah. And was that why he talked about our scent? Why he liked our scent? Maybe. Maybe he liked our smell because he's becoming attracted to us because we've been hanging out with ghosts. 
It's December already. Today marks the end of the second term. Can't believe I've been at Koshi and Kanemaru in this long. So much has happened. Okay, okay. We can skip this. This up until when Sensei appears. Mune. No. Kao. Yeah, you just keep being sexy, Suizu. Sensei. That's good. Koka. Marshmallow Sama. I like this kid with pink hair and adorable Ondo little friend. Tamara Marshmallow Sama. But there's no way he feels the same about me. He's an elusive mystery. I can't believe he'd say all that. Mr. Arakawa has worked here for forever or something. I know he knows all about his students' love lives, but like, if he and I, and we were like, ah, we went on dates and stuff. Oh God, I'm going to have a heart attack at this rate. Wait, did YouTube die again? No, oh, come on, man. It ducked up. You could possibly get a spirit attachment in real life if you come back from dying. Oh, oh, he did bring us back from like an otherworldly thing. Maybe that was like a dying thing. It's good for me, still good for me. Okay, good. Just somebody had a connection error. <laughs> audio is weird? Wait, what? Is audio weird for other people? Okay for me, good on my end. Okay. Good, but the audio is fucky. Some people are getting weird audio? That's weird. There's a couple of people getting weird audio. Uh, I hope it sorts itself out. Audio cutting out? Huh? What the fuck is wrong with YouTube today? Come on, man. Okay. Uh, we'll just have to keep going. I'm not getting... I haven't gotten a single dropped frame since we started this stream, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's about Christmas. Should I invite Marshmallow Kun on a date? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna muster up all my courage and ask him out. I want to think of it. We just said it's December, so it should be Marshmallow Kun's birthday. It's December 1st. Huh. Can't find Marshmallow Kun. Still don't know what grade or class he's in. I just hope I see him before Christmas rolls around. Did we really miss his birthday? I swear to God. Oh no, okay. Join in in club activities. Okay, I'll save on the fourth one just to be safe. Join in on club. And I made a promise with Marshmallow Kun, so I have to go meet up with him. It's a double. Let's go. But yeah, why are there a lot of new people joining? What the <laughs> How do you do? I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Thanks for coming. It's another beautiful occult day, isn't it? Hell oh, yeah, it is. So, about that kid. Yeah, uh, he just doesn't really want to be around other people. Did you end up confessing to them. That's not... I, no. He's just a friend. Did I get it wrong? I thought for sure you liked him. Well, no matter. I still haven't given up. Yeah, about that. He's totally immune to my attempts at persuasion. It might be better for you to ask him directly. It might not work, but he's the short kid. Probably in his first year here. Tamura Marshmallow Kun. He's pretty moody, so try not to say anything that'll piss him off. This is where we get the reveal. I bet more race empires are going to be like, Tamura Marshmallow Kun? But he was in my year in first year. He passed away. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, welcome to all the new people who joined. Essentially, we've been romancing Marshmallow Kun. A uh, little abusive boy who seems to bully us a lot and like food. But he loves food. So if you bring him something sweet, he might hear you out. You don't even know what class he's in. No, he never told me. Oh. Well, he doesn't know, but we'll find out. Hmm, all right then. Tamara Marshmallow Kun. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Pretty distinctive, so if I ask around, I'm sure I'll find something. That's settled, so you can kick back and work on investigating the sixth of Coke Academy's Seven Wonders now. Pretty sure the sixth one was like 
You can hear whispers coming from the North Hall, even though no one's there, right? Hi. You got it. It doesn't get used much since the ventilation is pretty bad. We've got people saying they can hear what sounds like several people whispering coming from there. That's what you're going to investigate. Okay. Let's see if I die again. <laughs> oh man. Still chuckle at the name of the academy. I just wish the beeping wasn't so loud. And that's how I ended up in the North Hall. I have to hurry up with this investigation so I can go give Marshmallow Kun his present. Speaking of, I'm the one who's in the Occult Research Club, but Marshmallow Kun keeps getting me out of trouble. It's only thanks to him that I'm figuring things out, too. I shouldn't be relying on him so much. I have to use my own sleuthing power to piece things together. That's all well and good, but I don't even hear any whispering. There's no way I'd just stumble upon a weird phenomenon that fast. <sighs> if only I had a sixth sense like Marshmallow Kern. Huh? Wait. I think I can hear a faint voice. Where's it coming from? There isn't anybody here. What are they saying? Damn it. Stop. Oh! Marshmallow Kun! Okay! Kochi. Come on. Marshmallow Kun? I. I'm coming! <laughs> God! I... So. I took so much of myself. Well. Does not say that in a dirty way. <laughs> I was so ready. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Marshmallow Kun. <laughs> I hear some whispering in the North Hall. Is that the whole haunting thing again? Try using that pea brain of yours sometime, you fucking worm. Uh, I'm sorry. This is the sixth of the seven wonders, you know. It's all centered on this North Hall. Well, I guess you know all about that since you're here. All of the seven wonders, really. Marshmallow isn't a thoughtless, ill-bred moron like you. I can't do any serious harm to you. It can still be a huge pain in the ass if they catch you in their sights. As soon as they saw you, they got all riled up. They get too excited. You're gonna get haunted all over again. Oh, I see. Of course, really start coming after my ass. I could even die, right? As the lyrics in the beginning song say, that's too big to fit. <laughs> Maybe I should start carrying some salt around with me. Damn it. Don't. Huh? Well, why not? Is there a reason you can't tell me? You look pretty upset. Because he doesn't want to get scared away by the salt. Hungry. Oh, right. I totally forgot to say it. But happy birthday, Marshmallow Kun. Yeah. Oh, they didn't. Oh, wait. Save. Look at some mic stand. You wonder what. I haven't even chosen yet, game. Chill. Chill. Uh, we'll save here. A uh, hot dog. Let's, let's give this boy a hot dog. Look. A hot dog. Made with the delicious top grade sausage. I hope it suits your pal. Oh. He just snatched the frankfurter right out of my hands. Fucking love frankfurters. Aww. Look how adorable. Oh, he's such a baby. Glad I didn't give him a mic stand. That's Sensei. Sensei likes mic stands. Aww. Wow. Marshmallow Kun so cute when he's eating. It just warms my heart right up. I bet he gushes out of how yummy it is too. Especially since he was so hungry. God. Wish I could just pinch his cheeks. <laughs> okay, one minute. I've got a sandwich for this. This is perfect. How are you looking at? Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, but it's so cute. I'm going to explode. Glad he's happy though. Alright. Christmas date. So, um, 
Marshmallow Kun, on the 24th, would you want to, you know, go somewhere with me? Or maybe not. Mm. You don't have to decide right away. Or anything. Um, I'll just wait around for you in the park when they had that big fireworks show last time. C Christmas at 6 p.m., okay? I, I'll definitely make it worth your while, and I'll even get a present for you. So if it's okay with you, I'd really like to spend Christmas with you. And I hope you'll come. Sorry if you didn't like the idea. You can ignore me. So, um, anyway, I, I have to go put in my report. I'll see you later, alligator. Mm. Oh God, that was so fucking... Uh-huh. Thanks. Aww. That was pretty fucking cute. God damn. You're welcome. H hang on. It's already long gone. So this is the power of a dating sim. <laughs> my heart just skipped a beat. And that's how I ended my club activities for the day. Glad I got to see just how cute Marshmallow Kun is. Hopefully this time he won't just abandon us on Christmas Day. My heart, that voice, I know, right? <laughs> voice actors doing such a good job. Um, I guess I am safe to save here. The fourth wall. Fourth wall has been shattered long ago. It's fine. Let's just enjoy it. <laughs> it. It's today. The day I've been waiting for. Christmas. And I'm going on a, d d a date with the guy I like. Oh my god. What do I do? What should I wear? I'd imagine I'd dress up for Marshmallow Kun. I dress down, he'll probably be offended and just walk away. Let's try dress up. I'll put on a nice suit. I'll go out with this and make sure I captivate him. Ooh. We're supposed to meet here. Oh god, I was so scared he wasn't going to show up again. I swear to god. Marshmallow Kun's. Oh, there he is. Yo! That's actually adorable casual clothes. Oh my god. The hoodie that matches your hair, the little um turtleneck underneath, and on top of it all the sweater vest. Oh, it's fucking adorable. I don't think ghosts can change their clothes. I mean, I guess, I was, we'll find out. We did strip him one time, so yeah, I guess they can. Or he's not a ghost, either way. Marshmallow Kun, you came. Thank you. And your outfit is so stylish too. It looks good on you. That's about right. I thought I heard some squealing. Of course it was the walking, talking pig. You're not even on the same level as any single blade of grass on the ground. You still think you can talk to me like you have some semblance of value? Get real. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. All oh, this abuse is really calming my nerves. Sorry, I fucking love how much of a masochist I am in this route. <laughs> Sorry, Marshmallow Kun. You're just so cute that it's hard to put into words. So all I could think to say was something generic. Nauseous. That's what you make me. Wow, you switching up the word order makes it hurt more somehow. Anyway, it's freezing out there. <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? Just follow me. We're going back to my house. Wow. I really did want him to come today. <laughs> Just immediately back to Netflix and chill. Okay. Okay. My family's not here today. So we can just kind of do whatever. Sounds like freshly dug up bison clay in here. Uh, I, I don't know. We did burn some botanical oils. So maybe it's that. That was last year. What does that even smell like? Is that... I don't even know whether that's an insult or not. You're getting too creative with these, kid. Oh, no, Madam Marshmallow Kun. I got a strawberry cake from that cozy corner. Let's eat it together. <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> that shut him up. I win. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm surprised it's so satisfied with a cheap little cake like this. You're scoffing that sucker down. I'm glad you're happy, though. 
I also got you some roasted chicken and stuff too. So I hope you'll eat anything. Did I just give this bitch a cake before the actual main meal? <laughs> I done fucked up. <laughs> Can we split the cake, by the way? Yeah, I figured. Get your dirty paws off a of marshmallow. Sorry, I didn't mean to brush against your hand. I just wanted some of the whole cake I bought. I mean... <laughs> It's like a dream come true getting to eat Christmas dinner with Marshmallow Coon at my house. He looks like a hamster stuffing his cheeks with that cake. It's so cute. Really gets my dopamine firing. But his canon typical verbal assault is kind of preventing my brain from going haywire. <sighs> Quit staring at me. I'll kill you. Manservants should be happy with just table scraps, you know. You're letting me have the rest of the cake? Thank you. You're so nice, Marshmallow Cat. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you for giving me your scraps, Marshmallow Summer. <laughs> I'm so happy. Who's up? Shut up. Right, I got a present for you. <laughs> I know how much you love food, so I had my sights set on some yummy treats for you. But then I thought, maybe today I'd try giving you some clothes. I wasn't too sure what you'd like, but I figured you could try it on today and then decide if you wanted it or not. It's in this bag here. It got delivered to my house just today, so it's brand new and unopened. Not a speck of dirt on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head off. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. Why is he defending it that much? Huh? Huh? You could have changed here? Marshmallow couldn't started stripping right there and then. So I spun around on my heels so I wouldn't see. Uh, just tell me when you're done. I'll be waiting for you in this room. Damn. Why are we simping? I don't know. We love Marshmallow Could apparently. We're super masochists. We like when he talks down to us. It's fine. We just keep giving him food. He keeps hanging out with us. It works. Holy cow. Can't believe he just did that. It's so strange not even getting embarrassed by it. It's freezing cold in this room because I haven't turned on the heat in here. I ended up getting Marshmallow Kuna a super cute hoodie. Some panties for winter. And three pairs of warm socks. That's such a weird mixture of things. I was like, what are you, his mom getting him three pairs of warm socks? But the panties? What? Um, so he, wow, he stripped entirely off to change into them. I wonder if he's going to wear all three pairs of socks. Hmm. Whether he likes them or not, I bet he still wears them. I can't wait to see. The, the socks, the hoodie, right? That, that's what you can't wait to see him wearing, right? Uh, okay, but this is kind of taking forever. I bet he went out the window. He took all the food. He took the gift. And then he just jumped out the window and left. Hey. Marshmallow Kun. Can I come in? Uh, I'm opening the door. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the super cute hoodie. No, no, no. Also, what the fuck are these? <laughs> I got him frilly briefs. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, I can't even defend you on that one. You didn't tell me I could come in. You sick, perverted bastard. They sent me the wrong thing in the mail, didn't they? I didn't even open it, so I just gave it to him. It's the wrong gift. It's all that about... Oh my god! That costume looks so cute! No way! No fucking way! It's one of the costumes class Pom Pom used for the themed cafe during the cultural festival, right? I think it mixed up somehow? I knew it. S Sorry, Marshmallow Kun! This is what I was gonna give you! Just a normal hoodie! Don't back sass me, you fucking disgusting ugly pig! I know you like shit like this. Fucking god damn it. I mean. MC literally says. <laughs> oh my god. I. I ski. I love it. I'm so sorry. Oh, you say that is totally driving me insane. I'm losing my fucking mind over here. I don't even care if you call me a perv. I'm so glad I got the wrong costume. You're so 
cute. You're so gross. I can't believe I'm agreeing with Marshmallow Kun. <laughs> After that, we had a nice conversation over dinner and enjoyed our Christmas night together. Some shit went down. But despite all that, it was a really fulfilling day. MC is hilarious. I do like how he's leading into the masochism. I'm waiting for him to actually oink back. I'm waiting for like Marshmallow Kun to be like, you're a fucking disgusting pig. Just go oink with the rest of them. And for MC to just be like, <laughs> Yes, Marshmallow Summer. Step on me. Degrade me more. <laughs> then I'll be happy. You want to save here? Hell yeah. Late December. Let's go. But Chan, do you want them to step on you? I mean, it might make for a nice massage. <laughs> happy New Year. It's already January. Something happy once a year, so I went to ring on the new year at that So I went to ring in the new year at the neighborhood shrine. Not actually religious though. The shrine is bustling with people. There's even a line to pray at the hall of worship. Over in the courtyard though, there's a setup for making mochi, mochi and for playing Hanetsuki. What should I do? Okay. Praying made Arikawa sensei turn up. Pounding some mochi was with what's his face? Fuck, what was his name? <laughs> Saiki. Saiki. So yeah, I should try Hanetsuki even though it's with Aorta. And yeah, see if he shows up. Marshmallow kun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a coincidence meeting you here. Oh, you're here too, Aorta Senpai. Happy New Year. Do you like Hanetsuki? Yes, I've heard of this Hanetsuki, as you call it. It's an ancient Japanese game. But I must ask, why are the traces of those children painted? What is the difference between this and badminton? Is it because the rackets are smaller? What are you just standing around for? Let's go play, Aorta Senpai. I still don't know the rules of this game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my line. You'll be fine. See that little thing with the feathers on it? Whoever drops it loses. Huh? Okay, we just don't get to know what Aorta said in that second line. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Does he talk too fast? No, it's more like he talks too backwards. <laughs> All of his voice lines are backwards for some reason. That's a good shot, though. He actually looks pretty sporty there. You just have to keep it in the air. I'll hit it to you, and you'll hit it back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can't even see the log because it's blending in with his jacket. Like this. See, you're doing great. I'll return back. Here you go. Bernie, I hit, flew over and knocked Aorta Senpai in the head. Oh, I dropped it. Forgive me. I'll do better next time. You dropped it? <laughs> do you know what happens to someone who drops the birdie in a Netsuki? They get their face scribbled all over with black ink. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> so having your face painted is the mark of the loser. <laughs> yeah, I like the way he talks. Man, if he didn't talk backwards, this would be fun. Hold still, Aorta Senpai. I'm about to mark you up real good. Take off your glasses for a sec, will ya? We actually get... Yeah, okay. This... You could have done better than that <laughs> one. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, it t tickles. I'm done. Pisses you off, huh? That's the case. You'll just have to make sure you hit it back next time. Oh, <laughs> All right. Again. Let's go again. Senpai picked up the birdie you just dropped and got ready to serve. Oh, you want to go for round two? Fine by me. I won't lose to you. I received the birdie that he hit to me and he caught it too. The rally went back and forth for a while, but just then, Senpai got a sharp look in his eye and smashed it down. It was so unexpected and so fast that I couldn't catch the birdie. It dug into the gravel on the shrine grounds. Oh, he prints a <laughs> tennis <laughs> that shit. He's smiling so much now. Holy shit. <laughs> <gasps> he knows my name too! Seems you've underestimated my abilities in your carelessness. Oh shit! 
Can't believe you got it down pat so quickly. Guess that's why they call you a prodigy, Aorta Senpai. He took the brush and drew something small on my cheek. Almost apologetically. Okay, but I definitely won't lose round three. And after that, we kept playing Hanetsuki. I had a blast today. Shit, that was actually pretty cute. That was okay. Most of our time with Aorta has just been like... There. <laughs> kind of in the way. But that, 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 that was okay. Okay. Finish this marshmallow root. We must be here in February now. Winter break is over and school is back in session. Might as well take a look at my horoscope since it's a new year. I'll check mine and my crushes. Let's see. Mine says... I've got great look, look, luck coming my way. Maybe something will happen with my crush. And it says my lucky charm is a shotgun. Sick. It says everyone except me has bad luck. Is something bad gonna happen? I have to take care of their health and honor so that doesn't happen. It looks like their lucky charm is longing for pleasure. That kind of sucks. Love that bell. Oh, that's the bell. I've got to put away my celly. Hi, I cannot show me that all goes I must. So the just shall you to the yacht. All right. Happy New Year, everyone. Now take your seats. All right. I'm going to sit here. <laughs> I love the idea that the teacher's only putting on that voice to fuck with Saiki. Eh, thought it was a little too quiet in here. Is Saiki absent today? You know anything about this over Uh, well, there's a bag in his seat, so he should be at school, right? Maybe he went to the bathroom. So yeah, the Okay, we've seen this before. I'm thinking of anything I saw some blonde guy out of this school gate eating some demi glaces celebratory steak out of the floor. Did he get an upset stomach? Maybe. What should I do? I should let it be this time. Down an idiot like him can get sick anyway. I'm sure everything's fine. We can skip this, right? Yeah. It's lunchtime. I'm so hungry. Hey, crap. I didn't bring my lunch today. I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and get that opa opa set I love. That reminds me, I think I heard the baked hallucinogenia with olive fragrance that released two weeks ago is super delicious. Pretty popular. Mm. What should I get? I honestly have no clue how this is going to affect shit. So, um, super popular baked hallucinogenia. It'll probably sell out fast, so I'd better get going. The ground meat situation? Yeah, where he was throwing up in the toilet. Wait for me, my sweet hallucinogenia. Um. Oh. I saw. Uh, yep. Ow. My leg. Ow. Hey, uh, Senpai. Uh, I'm so sorry. How the fuck did we run Oops. into each other so hard I knocked <laughs> off his <laughs> shoe? Let's try the other one just to check. Hiya. <laughs> This one led us to Sensei, didn't it? Yeah, it is. What if I ignore the sickness, though? Will that take me back to lunch? Stay away from me! Ran to the cafeteria as fast as I could to eat lunch. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, okay. No, okay. Um, We might as well do a order Senpai's thing, then. Okay. That's the least weird thing in this game. What, running away from a sick person? <laughs> I don't know, man. It was pretty weird. Okay. No. The apology is mine. I was being far too careless. I was walking too quickly. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I was in a rush and pretty much rammed into you. Can you stand up? I held out my hand for Aoda Senpai and helped him back up. Ouch. Ouch. Oh man, you look like you're in pain. He you didn't sprain your ankle when I ran into you. Wish the pain away. You know what? It's time for some thoughts and prayer. <laughs> um, let's go way down. I don't know. Uh, wish the pain away. That just ends the thing, right? Senpai, I'll cast a spell to make it stop hurting. Pain, pain, go away. They're all better. It is 
Is that true? Oh, buddy. Oh, God. He's going to try and put weight on it now. But the pain hasn't eased up at all. I think my work here is done. That sounds like a happy customer to me. I hurried over to the cafeteria, but they'd already sailed out of the halogenia. That sucks. <laughs> I really... Wow. I... No, no, no. Let's, let's do it properly. Um, Halloween. Look like you're in pain. There we go. Give him a piggyback ride to the nurse's office. Senpai, I'll take you to the nurse. Let me give you a piggyback ride, okay? Just get on my back. Are you sure? I weigh about 150 pounds. Don't even worry about it. That's less than my dog. Climb on board. If you insist. Okay, get him to the nurse. Throw him in the bed. Senpai looked pretty dang nervous as he pulled himself onto my back. Holy sh... He's heavy. <laughs> of course he would be. He is pretty tall. I can't hold his weight at all. Hey, you don't have to force yourself. If I hop on one foot, I can get there myself. Hang on. Ori? This looks like Ori, the VTuber. At the same time, very cool hair and very cool voice. What are you doing there with the order? Simit. Huh? Oh. E Emeth. Huh? A new character this late in the game? Who are you? Why the hell did I not get to date you for the last eight months? Who's caring? You just get away from Aoda right now. Also, I know she's got very broken Japanese. She's doing like a Nihongo Wakayimasen kind of accent. So she must be a foreigner. Or just, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe he... Does he speak a different language? Is that why it's in Wingdings this whole time? It actually fucking made sense. Maybe, yeah. Maybe she's the sister. Maybe they're brother and sister. And she's actually learned Japanese and he just hasn't yet. What? Um... Uh, um, this person is just trying to help me. So there's no need to be so... Who is this? Is this someone you know, Aota Senpai? Yeah, they have the same color eyes too. They both have purple eyes. Suddenly he stood up, placing all of his weight on one foot as if trying to pacify the person that had just appeared before us. <laughs> you are way too close to the student council president, understand? I will not stand for that insolence. You'd better watch it. I, I don't get this new character all that well. But she had Aorta Senpai lean on her shoulder and hobble on one foot as they hurried away from the cafeteria. Wow. Yeah, what the hell was that? She had the same pale skin as Aorta Senpai. I could tell she was sup wasn't was super fluent in this language, so... Is she in his family or something? Nah, I've got no clue. I wonder if you actually meet her, like, during his path. I <laughs> Either way, we're never gonna know. <laughs> but that was interesting. She had a pretty cool design. Her voice was interesting. Uh, she's just talking slow so that you can understand her too. Possibly? You're never going to do Aorta's route? No. God, no. Go to my club. I'm going to my club. Who said she's a brocon? I mean, she is. She tried to scare us away from her brother. Woohoo! Uh, ha Prez? What's up? あ、来てくれていたんですね。申し訳ないです。調べ物をしていたものでえっと、今日の調査は保険の先生の海岸を見たものは死ぬと言われている噂ですね。Wait, this is taking us back to 
We're gonna die to Arakawa Sensei again. <laughs> Let's see. Today's investigation will be Whoever looks into the school nurse's eyes will die. We're already at the seventh wonder. Gosh, how time flies. You know, I've been meaning to tell you this, but I've actually seen Mr. Arakawa open his eyes quite a few times now. Other people around me have said so too, so are there seriously people who've died seeing his eyes before? How did a rumor like that even start in the first place? Mm. A lot of the Seven Wonders have been circulating for upwards of 10 years now, but this one came out pretty recently. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they hadn't censored it that time, my bad. Which makes sense. Mr. Arakawa only started working at the school nurse here at Coke Academy somewhere around seven years ago. He's been here for seven years? Damn. Oh. Are we going to figure out that he's the murderer again in this route? <laughs> and it was in the seven years since he came here that there were some kidnappings in the area around Coke Academy. There's also the incidents where one of our students who had gotten friendly with Mr. Arakawa went missing. Um, How have the police not caught him yet? <laughs> All the students are talking about the fact that, oh, as soon as he showed up to the school, people started dying. And anyone who gets close to him starts dying. And I'm just sitting here like, do we need better police? <laughs> After that, the students started talking, saying that anyone who got close enough to him to look in the eye would be killed by him. But you know him. Mr. Arakawa may have some darker sides to him, but he's been a good upstanding guy for as long as he's worked here as a nurse. And he's always had his students' best interests at heart. Let's be honest, he's just so hot that nobody wants to arrest him. Yeah, that's true. I can also understand why people would suspect otherwise. His eyes are narrowed and squinty in a way that makes you feel like he's hiding something. But our club interviewed Mr. Arakawa about the missing student. He had tears in his eyes as he told us about them. He really did care for them a lot. Uh, and he still has the bodies in his house. <laughs> so this wonder is actually more about what happened to that Coke Academy student than whether or not Mr. Arakawa is a kidnapper or a murderer. That's a different route. Don't worry about that, Kohai Kun. What happened to them? Hmm. Remember when we investigated the second wonder? The mirror on the landing of the north staircase that connects the second and third floors? Hmm. Back then, I took my eyes off you for a moment. You up and disappeared. Only to show up a few minutes later, dazed and confused. So we know there's some kind of phenomenon making people suddenly vanish into thin air. I'm thinking that all these missing persons might not be due to kidnappers, but rather some crazy happens inside Coke Academy. I don't know. Wow, that sentence was a lot longer in Japanese. I live around here, so I've heard all the warnings about kidnappers and students going missing. But if it has to do with the mirror here at school, I wouldn't be surprised if some occult phenomenon is involved. We don't have to go back to the mirror again, do we? I don't like it there. Oh no. 
He's gonna die. We died when we went to the mirror. Hopefully, Marshmallow will save him too. Nah, I'll be the one poking around there. You'll work on collecting information and seeing if there's anything that connects the missing students to each other. It's starting to feel like a detective. Sounds kind of cool and important. This should be fun. What if Lola Lolodon is just an evil parasite from school? <gasps> That'd be sick, actually. <laughs> First off, I'll see if Marshmallow Kun has anything to say about this. Hey, Marshmallow Kun! Oh, he's not here. What do I do? I thought he'd be here today. Is he absent or something? I guess I'll start from square one and go miss ask Mr. Arakawa then. Oh no. This isn't the route, my man. Get away from him. So that's how it is. Mm. Mm. I have a cold today though, so I'd like to go home now. I'm sorry, but can't you tell me what you know? Anything at all? Huh. I didn't know Sensei was bisexual. That's cool. Over the past seven years, there have been a total of four missing persons at Koki Academy. There's no bias towards any gender, but they were all high school students. Well, that's all I can say. Oh. It's also quite interesting that, yeah, he's talking completely making sense for once. By this point in his route, he was making no sense most of the time. Unlike in the past, we have to maintain a level of confidentiality, so I can't share anything else. Isn't there anything you can do about that? No. I'm getting so sleepy. Oh, yeah, okay. By the way, why do you always keep your eyes so squinted? Is there some reason you never open them? I also like the little, like, hmm. He's doing. It's cute. Dry eye, <gasps> uh oh. We see it his eyes completely now. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> also, beautiful eyes, honestly. The gold, goddamn. My eyes dry out easily, so it all depends on the humidity levels. Otherwise, there's no particular reason. Ah, the swinny eyed character talks normally with his eyes open. I knew the Seven Wonders were wrong about this one. Shampoo it can't be good. That shampoo drinking club. No, I'm in the occult research club. Well, anyway, I'm gonna leave my investigation here for today. I didn't get much way way of intel, but maybe I can get something out of Mr. Arakawa next time. And so I submitted my report with only the information about his squinty eyes. That's just rude, dude. <laughs> this is fine. You want to save here? Sure, we're gonna die, but... I won't save over the last one because I think I'm going to be in trouble. June? That's fine. Continue playing. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go to the occult research club that time. Fufu focus? But his eyes! They're so beautiful. I kind of want to get killed by him again. Or kill him again? Either one works. It's already February. The months fly by so quickly. The third term is just about to end now. And then it'll be my last year of high school. Looking back, this year really was over in the blink of an eye. I transferred to Koshien Katamaruin in April, met someone I was sure I'd never get along with, and then we ended up becoming friends, more or less. I wonder if we'll be able to stay as we are now. Sky looks like a ribcage. Yeah, we're, we're underwater. This is the bones of a giant whale or leviathan, I guess, because, I mean, it's bigger than a whale. But yeah, we're underwater, but for some reason nobody ever mentions it, and we still drink water and swim in water. It's a weird weird game <laughs> I just every time I talk to him I find myself wishing that we could be even closer but I'm so afraid that will ruin the relationship we have right now so I pretend not to notice that voice in my head I can't even imagine what would happen if I told him I love him maybe he'd stop seeing me as a friend would we be able to go back to how we are now or maybe he'd even tell me he loves me too would we start dating I just don't know what to do. Confess, you little bitch. Wait, save. Um, the shrine? Yeah, we can get rid of that one. Confess, you little bitch. Right. I should confess. It's February, so Valentine's Day is coming up. 
It's the day you give chocolate to the person you like. I'll take this chance to tell him how I feel when I give him that chocolate. Now that that's decided, I should figure out what his favorite chocolate is. If I'm going through all the trouble of making something, I should at least make sure it's something he likes. Good morning. Oh, you're the senpai. Good morning. Later, bitch. I'll catch you later. I gotta go find my boyfriend. I should make him marshmallow chocolate. Then it'd be like he's eating himself. Ugh, I sense a disturbance. Oh, marshmallow could. It feels like it's been ages since I last saw you. What kind of candy you like? You like chocolate, right? Or like sweets in general? What's your favorite kind? If someone were to, you know, make some? Quit talking to me. You're gonna give me some kind of disease. Now, oh, now, there's no need for that. Come on, tell me. You literally never shut up, do you? And there he goes. Oh, that's fine. Marshmallow Kid is always gorging himself on sweets, so it shouldn't matter too much. I'll just use that as a reference. <laughs> just give him whatever the fuck. It, it should be fine. It should work out. Oh, sequence Fujita-kun. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Arakawa. Fuck you. Catch you later. Don't even remember my name. You ain't worth my time. Give him schmores. Oh, schmores would be awesome, actually. Oh. Ah, check out that slutch under your feet. Morning, Saiki. Catch you later, Saiki. I'll catch you later. He was your first, though. Uh, he's still best boy, but... <laughs> Currently, we're not on his route. Okay, I'm going home early so I can make the work on that chocolate. I have to get a bar of chocolate on my way home. Okay, save. This is probably going to be pretty important. Uh, um, Sure. How about super sweet white chocolate? I think he likes sweet things. I'll get some sugary sweet white chocolate for sugary sweet romance. Okay. First, I have to melt the chocolate and pour it into the molds. What shape should I use? Giant massive heart. Now, I feel like that's for Saeki. Something small and easy to eat. Something so small you can't even see. That's stupid. Small and easy to eat. Wait. Wait. Maybe if it's giant oh ideas, there'll be more of it. Let's go with giant. Go with this giant massive heart to really convey my love. Should I mix in something with it before it hardens? I don't think so. Money or nuts, I don't think those are going to help his taste buds. Nothing. We're keeping it nice and simple. That way you can savor the taste of the ingredients. Last up's the toppings. What should I add? Spicy. He might actually like silver draggies. Those are the little silver balls that kind of like pop in. Let's go with nothing for now and see how it goes. I'll play it safe and not add anything. All right. This chocolate is done. I can't believe I'm actually going to confess to him on Valentine's Day. I... I'm freaking out. He did say he wanted money or food. Oh, shit. Maybe he does want money. <laughs> you want to save it? No, we saved right before the chocolate building. So we'll use that one. Finally, Valentine's Day. Which means it's finally time to confess. I just have to muster up the courage. I know I can do it. It's just about time to track him down. Arakawa's... No, Marshmallow-kun. Alright, let's go find Marshmallow-kun. But unless... No, Marshmallow-kun. He's usually here in the morning drinking soda. Hey! Marshmallow-kun! You here? I don't see him. Oh no! <laughs> Do I not get to even give him the chocolate? I went to look for him during lunch, but that was a bus too. And now school's out. It takes my only chance. I'll even skip club activities so I can pour my heart out to Marshmallow Kun. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Now he can tell us he hates it. <laughs> I need to blow my nose one second. You want to buy a Valentine's chocolate with gold bars inside? I'd take the gold bar. In that case, I don't need the Valentine's chocolate. Ah, uh, but man, people who put like gold flakes on food, that just seems so wasteful. There is edible gold. I know, but why would you waste it? <laughs> there he is. Ma Marshmallow Kun. Uh, 
Garbage won't get out of my sight. That's not trash. It's me. Fuchan over these. Okay. Just muster up the courage, Fuchan. You've got this. I held out the chocolate I'd made for him. Marshmallow Kun. Um. Uh, so this is for you. I made it. Like the alcohol with the gold flakes? Yeah, gold schlager. It's terrible. It's Valentine's Day, so... Give me the chocolate. Um... So Marshmallow can... <laughs> I love how I'm trying to confess and Marshmallow's just like, Chocolate? G give me the chocolate. I'll eat the cho chocolate. Give me chocolate. Now I've got baby metal in my head. Fuck. <laughs> you might think I'm super icky gross for saying this, but in the years since I transferred here, you've really done a lot for me. And I don't want that to end. So I know my chances are low, but I want to be a more special person in your life. I love how much you love food. How cute you are. How you're clumsy and awkward and always have a nasty comeback for everything. Now, despite that, you still stick around and I... I love you, Marshmallow Kun. So please... Will you go out with me? <gasps> oh, he said sensei. M Mr. Arakawa? Huh? Taberu no ga daisuki de. Totemo kawaii kute. Bukiyo de kuchi ga waru kute. Demo boku to issho ni ite kureru. So Sensei did kill him. He was one of the victims. I love how much you love food. How cute you are. How you're clumsy and always have a nasty comeback for everything. And despite that, you still stay with me. I love that about you. Marshmallow Kun. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> If anything ever happens to you again, just come find me. I'll always be here for you. So never forget that there's someone out there who loves you more than anything else. Why? Because you're my special person, Marshmallow Kun. He keeps flashing to like water bubbling. Did he drown him? Special person? Special. Special. You, you say that, but why are you? I can't breathe. It hurts. Cold. Why? I have to. So that you never leave me. Kore de kimi wa toa ni naru. So that you'll become eternal. <laughs> Marshmallow kun? What's wrong? You don't look too good. You, you really do think I'm super icky gross, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I swear I'll never say anything like that again if you don't want me to, so... I... I hate... Tea Marshmallow. Triggered Marshmallow? <laughs> um... Tea. Tea, tea, tea. I don't know what else with tea would stand for. Tea. <laughs> Transparent Marshmallow? Maybe. Oh, Tamara Marshmallow? It could be Tamara Marshmallow. That might make sense. Uh huh. Marshmallow Kun. Marshmallow Kun. Where are you going? 
He said he hated me. That was a total failure. If I was going to be rejected like this, maybe I shouldn't have ever confessed in the first place. I was so scared this would happen. I rushed to confession. It ended up ruining our relationship. But that last thing he said, he hates. Was that really about me? Toasted Marshmallow? That's great. Traumatized Marshmallow. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Possibly true, though. <laughs> uh, save over this one. Okay, let's see how painful this is. Tamara is an anagram of trauma. Holy frick, that's amazing. <laughs> Tamara, trauma. Yo! Marshmallow Kun totally rejected me. Well, basically assumed he'd say no and call me gross or something. So it's not like it was that big of a shock. Really, it would have been more surprising if he hadn't turned me down. But there's still this murky feeling in my chest anyway. I guess because he didn't actually tell me no. He just straight up didn't answer me at all. He opened his eyes like he'd remembered something and started mumbling something about a special person over and over. What the hell even happened? Did I do something awful like unearth his repressed trauma or something? I finally started getting along with him, and now we're back at square one. Or maybe like square negative 50, if I'm being honest. Marshmallow Kun. I hope you're okay. And as I sat there and worried, school came and went without me even realizing. I got up from my seat and left the classroom, ready to go home. I love my classroom. Should I go and try to apologize to Marshmallow Kun? Or should I give him space and not stick my nose into things? I didn't know. He was a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. And he doesn't get deeply involved with anyone else, so I can't get anyone else to deal with it for me. I ended up wandering around the hole sluggishly as if my legs were made of lead. I looked out the window at the empty courtyard and sighed. As I was trudging along though, I heard a student's footsteps coming up beside behind me. The student stopped and called out to me. Hey, you want to come to the club room for a minute? Oh. Senpai. Oh, is the club meeting today? I must have forgotten, sorry. I was so absorbed in my own thoughts. Yeah, no. There are no club activities today, but I did want to confirm something, so I want you to come with me. Huh? Oh, okay. He's gonna have like a... He's gonna reveal the fact that Marshmallow Kun's been dead for years, huh? <laughs> I graduate this year, so I thought I wouldn't be coming around to the club room all that much oh. anymore. あ、you're more than welcome to keep using it even after our third years are gone. Just be careful it doesn't get disbanded. Uh, there was something you wanted to check? You're in love with a kid named Tamara Marshmallow, right? Oh. Just hearing Marshmallow's Kun's name was enough to make my chest ache. Um, I know you want Marshmallow Kun to join the club, but I don't think we're even friends anymore. Tamura Marshmallow, という名前は現在のコカイン学園の生徒名簿に載っていないんですよ。Tamura Marshmallow isn't a name listed on the roster of current students at Coke Academy. What? Not on the roster? How's that even possible? He hates people and doesn't really interact with anyone, but... Was he just left off because of that or something? I've actually heard that name before, so I did some digging. Seven years! When Arakawa-sensei first showed up, is he the first? There's a Tamara Marshmallow who's been missing for the last seven years. 
7年前のコカイン学園の生徒名簿には確かに記録されていましたコカインアカデミー What do you mean? I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this. You're saying Marshmallow Kun went missing? He was on the school roster seven years ago? The same Marshmallow Kun I was talking to just yesterday is one of the missing students from seven years ago? Does that mean they found him? I was wrong. 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 I thought something was fishy. I know the school like the back of my hand. And even when I asked other students and teachers, no one knew anything about him either. I thought something was fishy. I know the school like the back of my hand. He's always on the bench in the courtyard eating something. He's so happy when I give him my lunch or snack or something. And he's helped me out so many times. We even hid in a locker together during one of my investigations. Now that I think about it, his hands, his body, they were always so cold. I've never seen him talking to any other person. Is that why he knew so much about the occult and about spirits and stuff? Because he's a ghost himself? I can't actually prove he exists. No way. No, I don't. Marshmallow Kun isn't. Kimi no Kimotsua Wakarimas. O Moibito Galeda Nante. Kangai Takumo Nai de Soga. I know how you feel. I know you wouldn't want to think that someone you actually care about being, being a ghost, but. You can't be 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 a ghost, but. 7年前に高校1年生だった田村マシュマロくんが現在この学園にいるはずがないんです。None of the missing high school students were ever found. And even if they had been, Tamura Marshmallow くん was a first year seven years ago. He wouldn't still be at this school. It's just not possible. どうして田村マシュマロくんはこの学園にとどまり、君に話しかけたのでしょうか Still, why would his spirit stay here at the school? And why would he talk to you? Can you think of any reason? Is his spirit stuck at the school? Because he drowned, right? So was he drowned in the fountain? What if he was drowned in the fountain and then the, oh, the places he's able to go to? The fountain around the. Oh no, he can go to the park too. But I was thinking because he also appears quite a bit in the chem lab. Maybe Sensei used some sort of like. Recall that. Ambiatic fluid? Something fluid. Like preserve his body. That he wanted to keep him young forever. And if he was the first one, Sensei had said like the first one he murdered was somebody who was bullying another one. So maybe. Maybe Marshmallow Kun was doing his normal like busu kono yaro kind of shit to someone. And Sensei thought it was full on bullying and like. Well, no, because he confessed to him too and said how beautiful he was. I don't know. Maybe that's when he first intervened and then he drowned him and then he like formaldehyded him. I don't know. Anyway, I'm the one who's able to see him somehow. Like, I don't think anyone else could see him. So that's probably why he actually talks to me. Sensei might be lying, maybe. Or maybe he just wasn't the first. Marshmallow Kun is the one who told me which club to join when I was weighing my options. He said someone would die if I didn't join. He also told me not to get involved with club activities, though. But I mean, I have fun investigating things, so. Someone would die? Looks to me like he foresaw something happening. Marshmallow Kun got hacked to meet him. He was so bad. You must have pretty strong ESP, huh? You can see Marshmallow Kun so clearly. We've uncovered a ton of occult phenomena ever since I had you lead the investigations too. 
良くないものを引き寄せてしまうデメリットもあります。Being psychic has the disadvantage of bringing some nasty things your way. In the worst case, it could even lead to your death. 君はマシュマロ君に何度も助けられたと言ってましたよね。You mentioned Marshmallow Coons helped you out a few times. Maybe he was trying to protect you from all those nasty things following you around. Marshmallow Coon, could it be that you were always insulting me and giving me the cold shoulder and telling me not to get involved with you because you were a ghost? And even despite that, you were protecting me? Marshmallow Coon が h i 学園にとどまっているということは行方不明事件に巻き込まれた他の生徒の霊もこの学園にいるかもしれない。Oh. Maybe the voices in the chem lab were real. Well, we definitely did see one ghost trying to kill us. Maybe you were Sensei's target all along. Oh, yeah, Sensei fell for us as soon as he saw us. He's been pursuing us ever since, but man. Maybe, maybe Marshmallow could only appear in front of. Maybe that's why I have ESP. Maybe because I'm so close to death myself. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like because Sensei is going to kill me one way or another, I'm like close to the world of the dead already. Hmm. What if the other kid is also a ghost? Oh, I don't think so. I think the other ones, like other people, interact with them. It's only Marshmallow that nobody ever, like, pays attention to. If Marshmallow Kun's haunting the school, then there's a chance the spirits of the other missing kids are also here. Doko de? Do s t e nak nat tanoka? Marshmallow Kun ni kite mi tai no desu ga? Tsure te kite mora emasen ka? I'd love to ask him where and how he died. Do you think you could bring him here? Um. So yesterday. I told Marshmallow Kun I like him. And he just spat out, I hate, as if he just remembered something. And then he completely vanished. It hurts just thinking about it, honestly. He sounded so resentful and heartbroken. Marshmallow Kun was a very good one. He was a very good one. He was a very good one. But he was a very good one. 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 ね、hmm. Well, except for his mouth, he sounds like a pretty nice kid. Maybe even too nice, considering he was probably kidnapped and murdered. Maybe 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 the shock of dying made him forget how he died or even why he's here. And now he's just wandering around the school, unable to move on. Yeah, and we reminded him of that because we suck. <laughs> Maybe he should have been more careful with his words. Oh, he should have been more careful with his words. We need to go cure him then. With the power of love, turn him back into a happy spirit. In order to do that, he needs to remember all that suppressed resentment and jealousy towards his murderer. As well as all the people around him, and that has the possibility of him turning into an evil spirit. Has he got more involved with you? He might have remembered how he ended up here. What do you think?、Uh, why did it lag so much? Yeah. It does look like Marshmallow Kun's forgotten something. Then. Then you're saying he might have turned into an evil spirit by remembering it? If he turned evil, what do you think would happen? So, 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 what do you think would happen? Who knows? It's anyone's guess. Maybe it haunts you or even try to possess your body. But it probably wouldn't stop at just that either. It resulted in the whole school getting enveloped in an evil aura. True. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. True. I don't know how much power he has. In seven years, i s a hell of a lot of time to build up a grudge. In seven years, it's a hell of a lot of time to build up a grudge. In seven years, it's a hell of a lot of time to build up a grudge. In seven years, it's a hell of a lot of time to build up a grudge. He was the victim of bullying? Oh. So, him bullying us and being so aggressive is just because he used to get bullied himself. It really is just a defense mechanism. Maybe Sensei killed his bully as the first one then. Maybe he killed his bu- the kid who was killing, who was bullying Marshmallow Kun. And that was his first taste of death. And then he discovered, oh, 
If they're dead, they're perfect forever. They're young forever. They don't grow old. They don't leave me. I can do this to my marshmallow, Kun. So Marshmallow was like his first love, but the bully was his first murder. And then he went on to murder Marshmallow to actually keep him. Oh, God. Well, I was looking into Tamaro Marshmallow Kun. I did discover he was a victim of bullying here at Co Academy too. Marshmallow Kun must have had such a hard time. Isn't there... Isn't there anything we can do about it? Everyone thinks Marshmallow Kun is missing. If he's haunting this school, then that implies his body is still somewhere around here with no one to mourn him. Maybe he wants someone to find his body and give him a proper burial. Oh my god. Marshmallow Kun's body is somewhere in the school? But it's been seven years. Wouldn't it just be a skeleton at this point? Would we be able to even find it? Not if it's been preserved with all the chemical stuff. Either. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Drowned in the fountain. Preserved in the chem lab. Maybe he's hidden behind the mirror. Those are like his three main places. The fountain, the chem lab, and that hallway. So yeah, maybe Sensei likes to look at him every now and then. Mm. The closet, the locker. I think if it was in the locker, we would have found it, right? Or the nurse's office. Nurse's office would make the most sense because he could, like, keep him close by. But I feel like maybe hidden behind the mirror. Like maybe it, was, it wasn't was actually a mirror at one point. Maybe it was, like, a locker by itself or even another room. Maybe they're all there. Maybe we're going to open up that door and it's just going to be tons of bodies. Oh, God. Would we be able to find Marshmallow Kun? It may just be somewhere around the fountain, though, for all we know. Oh, yeah. By the time we went to the chemistry prep room, Marshmallow Kun looked like he remembered something. I didn't go back to check, though, since he told me there's a lot of bad stuff in there. He said there's a lot of bad stuff in there. I'm an idiot. As in, like, bodies. <laughs> he did once tell me to get myself exercised, but he stopped talking halfway through the sentence. I don't know why he didn't tell me anything. Maybe the ghost who disguised itself as Marshmallow Kun deliberately drew us to the prep room. It might have wanted us to see something there. What, what do you think is there? I don't know, but there's one way to find out. <sighs> where is he? Marshmallow Kun! Oop. It's just as I heard. Dark and cramped with poor circulation. And definitely a place where you'd expect to find ghosts. You think Marshmallow Kun's somewhere in here? I can't say for sure, but I have a gut feeling. Uh, it's pretty dusty, and it doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a long time. Or... Did you say something, Senpai? Yeah. No. Me? No? Floor. Just now, someone said the word floor. Oh, of course. It's got to be his ghost. His ghost is talking to me. Senpai, the floor. Look around on the floor. Uh, the, the, the floor? Got it. Uh, 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 huh? I crawled around on the dusty floor for a while, searching by the light of my phone's flashlight. But then Senpai peeled back a rug laid out on the floor and stared at it amazed. What happened? Did you find something? There's a huge underground storage space under here. That must be it. Okay, can we talk about how good the sound design in this game actually is? A lot of it's just really silly and dumb. But my god, the way the music just cut out as soon as he found that. 
Yo, this game delivers when it wants to. <laughs> Considering most of the time it's just silly randomness, every now and then it's like, oh no, we're going full horror. I rushed to his side as he pried open the heavy hatch, and I shined my light into the darkness. Inside, there were several storage bins, large enough to hide a child in them. The bins themselves were a rusty brown color, and the light from my phone wasn't enough to scatter them. Oh, you can actually see the body. Chest. Face. Tummy. Every button. Crotch. Uh-oh. That is a body inside a refrigerator, essentially. As I brought it closer, though, it was enough for us to see something inside them. The lid of the bin was tightly secured in place, and a label that read, Tamura Marshmallow in neat letters was stuck to it. This is... Who in the world would... This is so sick. Marshmallow-kun. You were right, senpai. The other storage bins had the names of all the other missing students. The kidnapper must have stored their corpses here in the chemistry prep room. Who would even do such a thing? Yeah, but I'm glad we found it. I'll report it to the teachers and the police ASAP. And then we can give Marshmallow Kun. No. All of them a proper burial. And let him move on from Coke Academy. Okay, you know what I want the endings to be here? This is just a guess. I want the ending, one of the endings, like a dark version of this ending. I want it to be like, no, you can't get rid of my Marshmallow Kun. I need him. And like kill Moray to make sure I can keep his body here so I can keep hanging out with Marshmallow. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, no, Marshmallow Kun's mine now. I'll keep the body. We can't bury it. Then I wouldn't be able to see him again. R right. The who's and why's don't matter now. We have to bury Marshmallow Kun. <laughs> I fucking knew it. But if he moves on, I'll never get to see him again. Marshmallow Kun. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Um... Don't bury the dead. He belongs to me now. I... I can't. Eh? Oh? What's wrong? If Marshmallow Kun moves on, he'll disappear. I can't. I can't let that happen! Oh, hey, what are you saying? I'm calling the police, okay? Well, this is serious. Don't. I... I don't care if he's dead. I still want to be with him. So just... Let me stay with him. What the hell's come over you? If we don't give Marshmallow Kun a proper burial, he'll keep haunting this school forever. An unimaginable pain. Besides, you'd run the risk of getting cursed or even possessed by him. That'd be... And what if I want that? We can keep loving each other here forever. <laughs> so just... Leave us alone already. You're getting way too emotional. Try to cool your head a bit. You don't even know what you're saying, so... Shut up! Senpai put his hand on my shoulder. I shook it off, shoving him away. He slammed into a shelf in the prep room, crashing into some nearby chemical I'd never heard of. I had no idea what I was even doing anymore. I just couldn't let go of the person I loved so much. This was the only way I could keep Marshmallow Kun here in this world. I got nervous as I wrestled with him, realizing that I had to shut him up before all the noise alerted someone to what was going on. I 
had to make him understand somehow. Marshmallow couldn't need it to stay here on Earth. I was sure of it. You get it, don't you, Senpai? You like the occult too, right? Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Marshmallow Kun? So please, please just be quiet. Uh, Senpai finally quieted down. I guess he finally understood. You didn't want Marshmallow Kun to leave either, did you? So we can protect him together. Right? It's a good idea. Right? We'll definitely, definitely protect you, Marshmallow Kun. You're so beautiful. From your light pink hair, to your big round eyes, to your adorable fleck freckles. I love everything about you. For everything I've ever wanted in a lover. I love how much you love to eat. How cute you are. How you're clumsy and awkward and always have a nice comeback for everything. And how despite that, you still stick around. I... Love you, Marshmallow Kun. And now finally, we can be together. Just the two of us. I'll love you for the rest of my life. No. I'll love you even when I die. You're not alone anymore. You'll never be alone again. <laughs> we murdered Moray Senpai. <laughs> and kidnapped Marshmallow Kun's body to keep it for ourselves. I freaking love this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we became the same as sensei just like in the sensei ending uh, so this is evening shower so yeah this is the i don't really know if you can call them dark endings or light endings they're both they're always dark it's just different endings <laughs> okay let's hit evening shower feel too sorry for senpai yeah senpai was great he didn't deserve that mc and arakawa sensei are similar oh yeah if any of you haven't seen it yet go watch the first playthrough we did of this we went down arakawa senpai's route all i'll say is we are very similar to arakawa senpai <laughs> oh senpai sensei bad Fuchan did arakawa sensei's route first yeah it would have spoiled it I actually really like this song. I'll romanticize Senpai, to be honest. Nah, can't do that, unfortunately. He just gets murdered for the sake of Marshmallow. This song is beautiful and sad, yeah. Her voice is really gorgeous. Like, she hits those high notes so well. storm cuts in oh my god that's great do you know what the song is called it's called i think it's called storm or something we'll see it again in a minute when we do the other ending but it's called like rainstorm or the sound of rain or something hey order a soul who's so oh they also helped with the sound jam some point did the music oh my god so Jam Sampoid not only did the voice of Tamara Marshmallow, they also did like the story itself and the music and the sound effects. <laughs> oh, they're in Utayate. Okay. That's great. 
Oh, it's called Unrequited Love. I completely... Oh, no. That's the ending song A. The ending song B. Evening Shower. That's the name of this song. <laughs> Jam Senpoi did the lyric... Oh, my... Wow. Jam Senpoi's a fucking master. Holy shit. They did, like, everything. God damn. And the lyrics. Pwah. What a legend. I know. Right? <laughs> what can't they do? No clue. Also, was it just my... How was... How was the dead body not something that they censored? <laughs> they, they didn't censor that shit at all. They were just like, hey, we'll just blur it this time. We won't put something in the way of it. That was very confusing. <laughs> and like at the bottom of the screen, it looked like the body was rotten from the middle half down, which is... <laughs> they kind of censor it? One minute, I'm going to hide this and I'm going to look at the CG list. Because I didn't mention anything about it because I was like, this just looks raw. <laughs> Let me find that in the gallery. Oh, we're still missing a few, actually. Oh, we've now got every CG from Sensei's route. And we've got every but one from Marshmallow's route. Maybe it's just the shading effect. Okay, yeah. They censor the tiniest bit at the bottom. <laughs> Like legitimately, I think that I think that is just shadow from the box. Rather, I thought the body had started rotting, but yeah, they censor literally only like the tiniest, the tiniest bit of the bottom, <laughs> which is enough, I guess. But yeah, that's fucked up. He's shirtless. Yeah, they left the shirtless part. They normally hide that. Did you see that blue CG? What blue one? You mean the one that I hadn't unlocked yet? Because I think that's going to be the good ending one. It's the CG of him down drowning? Wait. Well, we'll see. Let's load the game first, then we'll see that. Uh, let's get the proper ending. Fuck, where did I save it? Marshmallow could? Yeah, okay. Let's bury the dead this time. Let's help them pass on. It's sad to say goodbye. I don't want you to keep suffering like this. I'll lay you to rest, Marshmallow Kun. Senpai, let's go get a teacher. Just do not get Arakawa Sensei, for the love of God. Do not go to the nurse's office. There's so many more teachers. Get the Mickey Mouse teacher. Okay, we're good. The police came and retrieved all the bodies. With the discovery of four bodies preserved in formalin under the chemistry prep room. Formalin, that's it. The head... The headlines were buzzing with news about the kidnappings. The culprit was never actually found, but Marshmallow Kun and the other students had no significant physical injuries. They'd either been drowned or strangled to death. We had them cremated in the state we found them. Marshmallow Kun's family refused to let me participate in the funeral. That might have been for the best. That's sad. Man. <laughs> we were so close to him. Just because he was after death doesn't mean it's not true. We found the body. Couldn't stop crying even once from the shock over losing him, so I wouldn't have been able to do anything had I been there. I didn't want to show even Marshmallow Kun how torn up I was, much less his family. I guess that's it. It's a family event. They don't want me in the way. I'm nothing to them. It would be pretty weird if me, someone who hadn't met him in life, and as far as they knew, didn't matter at all to him, was there crying my eyes out while they're trying to mourn. Especially after seven years of him just being missing. Of them hoping that he was alive out there somewhere for all that time. They just want it to be family so they can move on. Managed to convince his family to let me visit the grave. But I couldn't stop crying over one thing after another. With trembling hands, I poured water over his tombstone before I went and turned his favorite sweet salty with all my tears. The one I love will never come back. But I'll never forget him or all the time we spent here in this world. I love how much you love to eat. How cute you are. How you're clumsy and awkward and always have a nasty comeback for everything. 
how despite that, you still stick around. Love you, Marshmallow Kun. Please don't forget, okay? There's someone out there who loves you more than anyone else. And so, the curtain closed on a very strange year. Sayonara. Farewell. Aww, at least we got to see him pass on. He hit us with the sayonara. If you don't know, in Japanese, sayonara isn't just goodbye. It's like a final goodbye kind of thing. It's why they mostly say like, jane or matane, mata ashita, things like that. I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Sayonara is like goodbye forever. Farewell. Oh, <laughs> why this route sucks? <laughs> Man, I wanted him to insult us on the way out. <sighs> it's okay. No, that was a good route. It makes sense. It wasn't about getting romantic with Marshmallow Kun. It was about solving his murder. We didn't even solve his, mur his murder. Fucking Sensei got away with it. <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. That would have been better. Uh, you know what I would have wanted him to say? Not sayonara, just like... You're even ugly while crying. And then hit me with the sayonara. Just, you know, get me to giggle a little bit before you make me cry. <laughs> I like that ending. I mean, yeah, it's good. I guess that means he's over, like, his defensiveness as well. Like, he's grown so much. He's ready to pass on, but he also wanted to give us one final goodbye. <laughs> Sayonara just hit me too hard. Yeah. What's their name? Jampoid? They do really good voice acting. They made this game really well. The singing was great. Let's fucking go. In this one, this one's definitely the happy ending. Not happy, but like, <laughs> it's the nice ending compared to the other one. When it came to Arakawa Sensei's route, you could argue that both of them are just bad endings. <laughs> With this one, yeah, that's a good ending, even if we didn't find Arakawa Sensei. I wish there was, like, a true ending, though. Like, if you complete every route, do you then, like, get to find Marshmallow Kun's body, but also find Arakawa Sensei out? Man. I'm paying attention to this time, because I think one of the other ones just sings this song. Oh, Ushimi so Sorry, I read that wrong. They're Aota Senpai. Maximum Ori. Karinto. Kukuku. I love that name. Student 62. They fucking delivered. That was a student who was like talking like pure anime. <laughs> Science teacher Igarashi Yuki. Oh, so they're the one who did the voice of like Saiki's mother. Oh. We're going to meet Saiki's mother on his route. That's going to be fun too. Um, Jam Sandpoid. My bad. Uh, maybe they just don't want to spoil Sensei's route. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Sad. <laughs> Vocals and mochi no mo Only one person sang the opening? It really sounds like a bunch of people. Oh, no. They all did sing it. Okay. I was going to say. Lyrics Rei Mei. Mochi Mofu again. Rei Mei. Damn it, I didn't pay attention to who Rayman played. <laughs> Can we convince Saiki's mom? Is she romanceable? I'm not going to lie. That was my first thought too. As soon as I imagine Saiki's mom, I'm like, oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> With how wild a child she has. Oh, God. You're going to do Saiki's route this stream? Yeah, we're going to finish Saiki this stream. I don't think it'll take too long. I know it's already been... Fuck, it's almost four hours. But we wasted like the first hour accidentally going through the entire route again <laughs> without the one thing we needed. But yeah, we're going to like speed run Saiki's route. We're only going to like pay attention to the new material. So if you haven't watched all of the other streams, this may be a bit confusing for you. But yeah, we're going to speed run everything that isn't related to Saiki and just see the new Saiki stuff. Four hours already. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Ah, it's like no way it's been four hours already. We'll never do Aorta's route? No, we won't. <laughs> but if you look at the description of this video, there's a link to buy the game so you can do Aorta's route by yourself.
ジャムさんっぽいのプレゼントせーのプルプルヒアとマサシネッツッッ OK Let me see that gallery one more time too You guys were telling me about like a murder or some shit Oh now we got that CG Oh you can actually Oh that's sad That's Barely censored by the way What the fuck Oh no okay That's okay <laughs> That's his shirt. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I first saw this, I thought it was a very basically drawn nude version of him, and those were like his legs going down, and that was his stomach. It, it's his shoulders there. You can't see Sensei holding him though, which is kind of sad. Considering they only showed it for a split second, I think it would have been nice if you could see like Sensei's shadow behind him. But yeah, you only see this for like a flash, like less than a second. Then they let you see it in the CG gallery. Damn. But yeah, we've now unlocked all of his CGs. So next up. Fucking oh, <laughs> Sensei's voice is still too sexy, man. <laughs> Let's go in the psyche route. Should we go with Fuchan over D's again? Or have you guys got a better name? Definitely going with Overdees. Give me a Fuchan name if you feel like. If it's there in time, I'll take it. Overdees. Ooh. She. Ah. Oh. Psyche Dice Boy. Psyche Baby. Fufu Chan. I think that's too long. I could do Fufu. Yeah, I could do Fufu. Do Fufu so that every time they do the little Fufu, I'm like, yeah, now you're literally saying my name, bitch. Okay. Is Overdee's Fufu correct? Sure. Would you like to turn on streamer mode? Yes. Please. I don't know what's going to happen on the Psyche route. Okay, skip. Yeah, we're going to skip that one this time. I'm sorry. I, I want to I wanna see the end of Psyche's route. Um, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Come on, let me skip. Okay. It must be Central Hall, right? It's definitely not Courtyard. We just need to go Central Hall. But this may be Aorta rather than um, Psyche. So this is the Central Hall. It's such a beautiful place. Every nook and cranny is totally spotless. There are a few students here and there studying at the tables in the hall. Everyone's working so hard. Bam. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Aorta Senpai. Skip! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can skip this too. This is just him being like, Yo, did we know each other in the last school? Uh, 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 hey, Brenda, since Brenda. Express, Canada. Um, no ill milk for you. Wait. It should be fine, right? I'm a save here just in case. <laughs> if you don't give him ill milk, do you just die painfully? No ill milk for you, child. No. That's my milk. You can't drink my my milk. <sighs> okay, you can drink my milk, small child. Why do I not get an actual choice there? <laughs> no, I don't want to save here. Some bullshit, man. Taking my milk. It's the only thing I have in my life. No way around it. Yeah, he just wins. He just wins. Um, probably the classroom, right? Let's save. Bum 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 bum. I wasn't planning on buying anything really, so I'll just eat here. It's not so bad eating lunch among the chatter of classmates with the skit. The clear blue sky just outside the window. Oi, yano, kore. Yeah, oh, wild arrow. Take this. What you got for me, Saiki? Ah, Saiki. What do you want? Hmm. Saiki tossed me a horse sashimi flavored soda. Oh god, that's as bad as like the ranch flavored soda. Is this for me? I bribed the lunch lady with cash. That, that's called a transaction, my dude. <laughs> At least that made sense. Don't bully Marshmallow after what he went through. I'll bully him. He didn't say goodbye to me too nicely. You know what? That ending was pretty good. It was pretty powerful. I, I, just, I just needed a bit more, man. We we had a bit more sensei. Um, 
thank you? What do I do? I try to avoid people like Saiki, but maybe I should have lunch with him. Sure, I'll eat Saiki. Saiki, do you want to eat together? Oh, that's what you meant. That makes more sense. Before I could even finish, Saiki was already dragging his chair over to my desk. He wasn't even going to ask. He wasn't even waiting to be asked. He was doing it anyway. <sighs> oh, no. Shouldn't we be talking about something? <laughs> Why do people die? Holy shit. You know what? Yeah, let's be the weird kid. Hey, Saiki. Why do you think people die? Bro, that's a big family. You got two little sisters. Mr. Jellyfish, my flounder, my potato. Why do you have a potato? At home, I've got my mom, my dad, my flounder, my jellyfish, my little sis, my little sis, my little bro, my little potato, and they're all prime. But Christmas always has that good antique terrible culture, like the Strapoon 3 chant, you know, you know how it is. Are you saying Splatoon? Well, 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 I know Splatoon music. It is very hard to get out of your head. Huh? You play Strapoon 3, Psyche? I'm always on co-op. Can we be friends on our Swifts? I'll give you my ID. Nice, Ipe-chan. Nice, I'm Ipe-chan. It's Fufu. Oh, I just used my name. I'm basic ass bitch. <laughs> Who's your favorite Strapoon character? I just love Seaman. I got addicted to the slow and liftless way of speaking. He was my first in game too, remember? Pteranodon Flex, you are 22. Pteranodon Flex. He pronounced the P in Pteranodon. Pteranodon Flex. It's so you are 22. Psyche and I kept talking about Strapoon 3. And my love of Seaman. Honestly, I have my doubts whether we're actually having a real conversation. But I do feel like I'm getting no one better. Yeah, it feels more like I'm saying words. And he's just saying random shit. But that works. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's the best we get in this game. <laughs> this sounds exactly like how Splatoon lingo sounds to people outside of it. Pretty much, yeah. That school's out. Oi, poly polypolypolin, 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 that doesn't feel right. Polyproper properly. Oh, it's proper properly. Hey, polyproper properly. There you go. My name is Fufu. Psyche pulled on my sleeve, trying to drag me off somewhere. Maybe you wanted me to go with him to the gaming club so we could check it out together? But this morning, Aorta Senpai invited me to try out a cult research club. Don't I die if I go, if I don't go to the occult research club? You know what? Fuck it. We're going to the gaming club. Okay, let's go to the gaming club. I was warned people will die if I don't join the occult club and then never go back to it. But I mean, in the other route, I stayed at the occult club and didn't die. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay, let's go game. Ba -ba -bum. And so we went to check out the gaming club. And they're not playing Strapoon 3 with some upperclassmen. You know, he's actually got a switch. Awesome. I also like that this is the main theme. Like, this is a... Instrumental version of ending theme one, the happy ending theme. But it's like the romantic song, it's good. Saiki told me he'd never played a game like that before, but he's surprisingly quick on the uptake. He was amazing. Gaming is one way to communicate with others and form connections with them. You hold your controller as if you're taking player two's hand, and then you lay yourself bare through the voice chat. It's really incredible. Bro, you are romanticizing the shit out of it. When I play video games, I'm playing to hurt people, not to get close to them. <laughs> It was both strange and comforting somehow to be able to understand Psyche's thoughts so easily, even though he's always speaking such incomprehensible gibberish. Hello? Did all your platelet wait? I've fallen out of his voice. Nanda? Hello? Did all your platelets explode or what? You're crazy high on that cosmic card, man. Put that shit in italics, I swear. <laughs> I fuck, I'm kind of starting to get what he means. He's like, bro, just chill. We're just playing a game. This ain't romantic. You just get your head right. Shut your head. Huh? No, don't worry about me. Psyche stared back at me. His eyes felt warm and kind in a way. So I wonder why I looked away in the end. In any case, hanging out with the gaming club was a great experience, even though all we did was play games. Oh, he's actually really nice. I'm glad we're doing this. Okay, speed run! Stop with the meowing. <laughs> Skip it! 
Okay, no more skip through. That was nice and easy. Psyche! News guy. Damn. Never thought we'd know his new full name. Hey, Psyche. How do you think we'll be with the eel launching? Oh, skin of the dump. Ah, hey, Day Green. Oh, yeah. I was all about burning pogs, man. Call me King of the Hill. And you're totally nip and tuck, Day Green. You got that whole Papillon Potteproskill going on. Is he okay? Am, am I okay? <laughs> he pogs. No, he does not mean pog in that way. I'm all about burning pogs, man. That's not play of the game. That's pog is in like the old school 80s toy. Not your pog. Put that pog away. No Twitch lingo in my chat. <laughs> oh, so you're going to claim victory for our class then, right? Speaking of, you were one of the most athletic guys in our old school. As for me, well, oh, Psyche isn't just hot as hell. But sporty and sociable, too. I'm really starting to get why people like him so much. I actually feel kind of bad that I've been trying to avoid him just because he's so chatty and everyone else likes him. I didn't Oi, avoid Toriyama. him. Toriyama? Akira Toriyama? Are we talking Dragon Ball? Huh? What? Just lay off the babas, got it? Um, well, do? They're trying to hype me up, right? Oh, we got so caught up in talking, it's already our turn. I think that one was like, yo, lay off the depression. You're fine as you are. You don't have to be me. Okay. Soy, 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 soy. Okay. No, 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 no. We're actually seeing ill launching for the first time. Uh, holy, that blonde kid from class Pom Pom in year two is launching heels at a speed that could completely shred the air. What exquisite technique. It's incredible. Hello,2年ポメゴミ佐伯祐介。つい最近ここ学園に転校してきたばかりの生徒ですね。見た目のチャラさとアウラハラに凄まじい腕力を持つニューイケメンフェイス期待できますねレッツサイキユースケイアセカンドイヤーインクラスポンポンイズジャスリセントリトランスフォーテッドコーアカデミーイルクスリアフ
We have to join the occult research club or someone's going to die. But... <laughs> Uh, let's go for number four for this. Who knows? Um, let's try joining the gaming club. See if that ends the game. I'll join the occult. That's not what I clicked. Oh, we did this before. Right. It breaks, right? We die. Okay, I filled out the application. So now I just need to go to the club. Maybe Saiki will be there. Wait, huh? There's something at the end of the hallway. Who is that? What is that? I feel so... Yeah, I forgot we tried to do this before. That's my bad. We'll join the Occult Research Club. <sighs> okay. School's over. Let's join the Occult Research Club. <laughs> That's fine. Is that Marshmallow drowning? I don't think so. Um, There's definitely something weird. There's like a red CG. I need to go back to the VOD and look at it, but there is something hidden there. Um, back to slot one, I guess. His is the one that's dead. What? <laughs> it absolutely was. Oh, it was him drowning? That was the drowning CG? Oh, I didn't even notice it. Friday, do we want to troll the internet or study? Studies with the aorta. Let's troll the internet. Well, no, we're going to skip anyway. Let's just go for it. I never remembered if that actually made my grades any better. Ah, uh, stylish. He likes that. Good shit. Want to save here? Sure, why not? My ears because of the sound of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I got pretty loud. <laughs> Crap. Which one gave us the CG? Fire. Right, right. He cuts himself in food prep. He explodes it. Okay. We need to make sure to get this CG. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Arakawa. <laughs> do I just go to home? I don't know which one's best. I just just go. Home. I don't want to go to the occult research club. Let's go home. Later, losers. I'm out of here. Sweet. Save here. No, we just saved. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, you're the senpai's birthday? Trash burning day. Get out of here. Uh, marshmallow kun? I'm good. We don't need anyone but Saiki. No safe. Who should I invite? Saiki. Okay. Oh, that's Saiki. Bum, 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 bum. Saiki, would you be interested in going to the beach with me over summer break? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's the story so tight it came undone. What? それはそうと俺の死に顔はトウモロコシより素早いし、ボーイク合計12遊び点。もちろんお前とナップサック屋さんに決闘申し込むつもりだ。あ、ダッチ from Persona? Anyway, uh, let's see. My sneaks are faster than the maze, so they got a score of 12 bajillion on the boy. So obviously I'm going to challenge you in the backpack shop guy to shoot him up. Oh, you want to play FPS? You want to play some Valorant? You want a Hopcon? Oh. Yep. I knew he'd be a Hopcon kind of guy. Yeah, no take backs. Now I'm all hyped up for summer break. Who's the backpack guy? <laughs> I mean, that could be a lot of people, honestly. Anyway. Skip. Get out of here, Sensei. Save? Sure. Who knows if we're even doing this right yet. <laughs> Love his little... Mm, yeah. I like when he gets serious voice. It's Saiki's birthday! Okay, let's do this. I gotta celebrate. Oh, right. Yeah, we can skip this too. We just give him a pacifier. Um, Skip it! Oh. He turned into a baby. Uh, no, you sat for your own glasses. Birthday baby, he's so cute, man. We'll save here? Sure, why not? Finally, summer break, and it's finally time to go out with him. I promised I'd go to the beach with Saiki. Let's go. He's gonna ditch me, isn't he? <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous. I can't stop fidgeting. This is where we were supposed to meet up, right? 
Okay, we're good. Yeah, you raised some mass. Psyche. It's fine. I just got here too. Yo, he actually understood him. I didn't understand that. He meant like, have you been waiting long? Like you raised moss, like grown moss. Okay, well played. Speaking of, speaking of, I got a glimpse of him back during our pool class, but Psyche's totally ripped. Sushi, jari, kase, tampopo. They could. Racking, Venus, weeds. Um, sorry? Uh, yeah, let's go play in water, I guess. Okay. Oi, <laughs> Yamamoto. Hey, Yamamoto. This is a great tuve. Whoa, he's amazing. Psyche is a great swimmer. Is he inviting me to sleep with him with the duvet thing? I just... Come on, show me all your cool moves. Bowling unko. Bowling poo. <laughs> what? He really did say unko. The fuck do you mean? Oh, he splashed me. Chill out, Psyche. And yeah, he gives me a different name every time too, like Sensei. <laughs> but I think... Oh, come on, that doesn't need to be censored. You can see the bulge. Why have you censored everything? Okay, okay. This is fine. Kobayashi, ikitaichi su hanatta. Ah, Kaya Matrix. I fushed all that liquid nitrogen. Psyche frolicked around in the ocean like a little kid. Each drop of water on his skin glistening so beautifully. If I had to describe him, I'd say he's a hottie with a nice tan, golden hair, and a smile that really suits him. S Psyche. Kobayashi. <laughs> is that poop in his head? I, don't, I think that's a sea slug, but bad enough. <laughs> Cam, will you forgive me? I let it all go. Huh? What did you let go? Wait, did you have to go to the bathroom? Did you just pee? Was I holding you up because I couldn't keep up with the conversation? I welcome thee to thy sleep of death party. What? what? To forgive or not forgive, that is the question. I just got peed on? I mean, maybe MC is into that in this route? Screw that! Fuck him up! The ocean is a public place. Well, so who are you calling KM? I can't believe you can look so refreshed after pissing yourself. It's like you sure has made this a summer I'll never forget. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Why did he even apologize? You should have just pretended it didn't. You know what? Um... I'll forgive him this time. Sorry. I get it. It's hard to hold it, and it's like you're in the ocean, so might as well. So it's fine. God, I'm such a pushover. <laughs> well, so who are you calling KM? The best part is that he looks so refreshed after pissing himself. What the fuck kind of dialogue? Psyche sure has made this a summer I'll never forget. <laughs> Which one is even the good answer between those two? <laughs> Okay. MC into water sports? Apparently. I mean, we were playing sports in the water. <sighs> Warmed up the water? No, it's summer, remember? He probably cooled it down a little bit. Okay. I, I've, I don't even know if I picked the right option. Let's continue playing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Wait a sec. My whole family left, went on a trip and left me because I overslept. Should I go to the park or go to the library? I guess the library? We always go to the park. Alrighty, I'm gonna cool off at the library. Yeah, we always go to the park for marshmallows, so this time... Yeah, it's so cool in here. I guess I'll take this time to read. And... Skip! <laughs> save. I mean, I guess I want to get some homework done. Sure. Skip! <laughs> Oh shit, that was a lot. And we walked him home. Um, take shelter with me, I guess. Well, that might have been romantic. Oh my god, whoa! Okay, that one actually needed to be censored. censored. What the fuck? <laughs> like you could see everything. <laughs> And no, I'm not going back, chat. <laughs> That's not something we're into. Oh, I'll show you the CG at the end of the game, but I told you, we're speedrunning this. We are getting back on Psyche's route. 
<laughs> you catch him in the shower. Yeah, I'm guessing his clothes are wet. So we're like, oh, have a shower. I'll dry your clothes for you. Um, but then we like broke in for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, skip. What do we got? Bum, ba -bum. Bum, ba -bum. Wait, did I get locked in a order senpai's route? I don't remember him talking to me there. I missed it though. That sounds like a you problem. Pay attention to the stream. If you're like minimizing the stream for other things. Get good, scrub. Throw the lunch away. Do you want to save here? Mm, yes. Up. Yes. <laughs> Skip the order feels bad, man. Must feel bad all the time then. Okay. Jim is our call sensei. First his classroom. Yeah, okay, my classroom. Oh, and this is the maid cafe, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's delicious. He's so smiley. He's so happy. How much for an A order stream? <sighs> Ten Arca Supers. Uh, do you want to save here? Sure. Don't actually send me Arca Supers. It's not happening. <laughs> I am ma I'm making that very clear before anyone does anything. No. Continue playing? Yes. It would be super short for one thing. For another thing. Let me air out my futon. This is a good, like, final way to end this. We don't have to do every single route in the game. Okay. Let's stop skipping through this. No, we already did this. Um... I'm sent by down. Yeah, we did this on the first run. This is fine. Get out of my way. Um, this I'm not sure if we did. So let's eat lunch together. Let's eat lunch together. Oh, we did. Awesome lunch with Saiki. Oh, it's just there. <sighs> Edo Senpai got so mad at you. Seriously. Do you have any idea why? Imaginarily. <laughs> well, Edo Senpai is a bit strict, isn't he? You shouldn't put too much stock in it. I think you're at your best when you're free as a bird. Kujo. Kujo. You're catching some Z's? Huh? Oh, I'm awake. Did you hear me? I'm just about the third sexiest Norwegian forest cat in this generation, and you can reserve that. That sounds like a catchphrase. It just makes no sense, but I kind of respect the confidence. What? <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Um, After that, Saiki and I had a friendly conversation? Question mark? Over lunch? I think it was time well spent. God damn. The sexiest cat? You heard him. Sexiest Norwegian forest cat, to be specific. I wonder if we'll get to go trick-or-treating. The Saiki. Bum, 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 bum. Slup, Saiki Yusuke. I'm going to load up on candy from Saiki. <laughs> I love how MC can auto-translate. Yeah, sometimes he gets it. Hey, Saiki. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Did you mean barbarians? Oh, uh, no. I guess it's pretty barbaric to just walk up to someone and demand candy from them. Hey, you were eating some bokki just now, weren't you? Give me some of that. You can have my amylase, too. It's the one you were just eating. It even has bite marks on it. It's got plenty of minerals and Wi-Fi. Man, and that was the last one too. I guess there's no choice. <gasps> Second hand? That's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> well then, Mr. Psyche. Uh, I hope you're ready for a trick. Uh-oh. So he just said saliva? Oh yeah, amylase is the thing that breaks down sugar in your mouth. Um, it's one of the things in your saliva. So he was saying, Sure, and you can have my spit too. Or my saliva too. He was basically saying, Hey, go for it. But it's covered in my drool. Oh? Are we doing the Pocky game? We're doing the Pocky game. I figured this was gonna happen. Oh yeah, put it in your mouth, Psyche. It's time. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to play the Pocky game with me? Where we both keep eating from each end of the stick at the same time? Hey now. Oh, what? What do I do? Only one answer, baby. Take on him. You got it. All right. I'll start. 
<laughs> the intense music. Why did he close? Oh, he got so blushy too. Yo, Psyche's in this for the long run. He's just instantly like... Mm. <laughs> but then the rock music to counter it out. That's so good. What's with that look on his face? It was just a spur in the moment thing, but now we're so hyper aware of each other. What should I do? It's so embarrassing that I just keep on eating away, but... Well, I have no idea how far I should go. Is Psyche even going to stop? Oh my god. Everyone in the class is staring at us. This is so humiliating. Seriously getting the chills. But I can't stop. Psyche is way too close. I hope he doesn't think I breathe too loud. What that my pupils are too dilated. Uh, Psyche has surprisingly long eyelashes and a strong, prominent nose. And he and his lips are so soft. Oh, we made contact. Show me the CG. Okay. Ah. Uh, what do I do now? We just kissed. And Psyche and our classmates are completely dumbfounded. Uh, should I poke fun in it? Ye yes, Psyche. You really went all in. Wow, dude. Scoot back a little. That's so embarrassing. Ha 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 is it really okay to leave things this way? But Psyche's lips really were so soft. I don't think I'll ever forget how they felt for a while. Holy shit. <laughs> Turned into a robot. Yeah, that was adorable. Psyche just with the... He was so broken. And then him managing to play it off as well and just being like, Yo, you always go further than that. Like, damn. Smooth, man. Smooth. <laughs> that was a normal sentence. Yeah, he was too dumbfounded. We broke him. Which one, Psyche? Oh, the two-legged race. Right, he carries us 69 style. Okay, enjoy the CG. It's got to fly by. Better be looking, chat. There we go. <laughs> we 69 with Psyche. Fun times. Wow, the day after we kissed, we moved fast, damn. <sighs> Autumn is already in full swing, huh? They say Autumn's the best time for reading an art. Why am I reading this? All right, well, yeah, we could just skip. Speed run! Tissue! Reclining. Reclining. Um, go home with Psyche. I don't know if I've ever done this. Let's go home together, Psyche. Wasting no time? Hell yeah. I heard Kareage, and now I want some. <laughs> so Saiki and I hung out together on our way home. We even got... Oh, we did do bubble tea. Okay. Oi, oi, hemoglobin ga ga shiteru te. That's one of the times he has like an actual deep connection with us. But we'll skip it because we're speed running. Happy this route is wholesome. I know, this is so much more chill. There's no horror. There's no evil. There's no ghost. There's no mystery. We're just chilling. No. Ne. No. Cow. That blonde playboy. Coca. I like this blonde playboy type guy. Saiki. But there's no way he feels the same about me. Shut up, Sensei. I'm busy. He's so hot. He's probably got hordes of cuties crawling all over him. Ah! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Not even a goodbye. I do like that line. Okay, skip that. Um, should I invite Psyche on a date? Yes. Okay, I'm going to muster up all my courage and ask him out. Oh, we're going to see how that goes. So, Psyche, um, you know, so Christmas is coming up and, you know, we've already kissed, so we've already 69. And, um, you want to go somewhere with me? Uh, 
ピヨピヨタコライス喜劇開演。Hell yeah! The Cheap Cheap Taco Rice Comedy Park's grand opening. I don't know if that's a real thing or if that's just him being him. Um. Uh, is that a yes? Oh. Can you accompany me to your place? Y yes. Uh, yeah. Just leave the dripples. Psyche's coming to my house? That's a little nerve wracking, but also a little pulse pounding. Whatever. I have a Christmas date with Psyche. I'm so excited. Yo. Finally, time, chat. Finally, time. We're going to need that censorship bar for the first time. Psyche isn't someone to play around. It, it's going down. It's going down. It's today. The day I've been waiting for. Christmas. And I'm going on a date with a guy who like. Oh my god. What do I do? What should I wear? I think for him we dress down, right? If I dress up, it's gonna be weird. He's definitely not gonna dress up. I'm gonna save just to be sure, but I'm gonna dress down. We're gonna dress chill. I just wear something normal. I'm feeling weirdly self-conscious about this. If I dress up, he'll probably just think I'm super cringe. Yeah. He'd be more comfortable if I just look like I always do. <laughs> oh, God. We're supposed to meet here. Psyche's... Oh, there he is. Oi, Baba. Hey, ding dong. Ooh, nice. Yo, I like that shirt. It's not quite a turtleneck. It's got like the extra material, but it's like loose and frumpy. I like that. It's a cute jumper. It's chilly today, huh? Sorry though, did I keep you waiting? My plantar arch always feels so fish out of water after I finish the high heels, right? Why were you wearing high heels? Uh, it's gonna get cold if we keep talking like this. Let's go to my place, yeah. We, we don't have to talk when we're at my place. Alright. <laughs> He's just like, okay, let's just go in then. Say hello to my little friend. Is that a Scarface reference or did you just drop trowel? Come on in. The oh, crap. Psyche's in my house. I'm even more nervous than usual. But I'm going to make sure we have fun. My family's out and about today, so it's all up to me. Uh, hey, Psyche. I got this chocolate cake at the Casey Corner. Cozy Corner, even. Want to share it with me? Why does Santa's jacket say fuck on the back? <laughs> Wait, was this my move? Am I like, hey, Psyche, I got this really cool cake. Um, What do you think about what Santa's jacket says on the back, Psyche? Feel any particular way about that? I mean, he looks so happy, though. I'm happy for him. Shiny eyes, that one big fang. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Dead ass? It's a whole shaft. I'll receive. I I guess if you're receiving my whole shaft. Dead ass indeed. <laughs> I'll be giving. <laughs> Psyche sat down and grabbed the fork I got for him. He was just about to sink his fork right into the nicely decorated cake. Psyche? Shouldn't you cut the cake with a knife first? Otherwise, it'll be like an indirect kiss. No, man. That's bad? I, I mean, not exactly bad. I mean, we've already actually kissed, kissed, and my face has been in your crotch, and your face has been in my crotch. You know what? It's fine. You have a bunch of siblings, don't you? So I bet you have no problem with double dipping and stuff. <laughs> okay, they're doing this on purpose. Wow. This white stuff's super delicious. I'm glad you like it, Psyche. Um, he's already eating. The cake isn't even white, though. You're always so act first, think never. And you're just scarfing that thing down, too. Are you that hungry? <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> I can't understand a single thing you're saying. Ah, oh, that's normal, actually. He's a kind of dependable sports god. When I look at him eating a cake so innocently, he really just looks like a cute kid. Wait, Psyche, hang on. You've got some cake on your nose. Oh? Am I going to get that for him? Hey, why'd you invite me here? My brother, I invited you to go out on Christmas. You're the one who said, okay, I'm coming round to your house. Why did you invite yourself here? And why is everything you say an innuendo right now? Huh? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Um, because I wanted to be with you. You're not my bestie. There's so much more than that. I wanted to be with you. Well, it's because I just wanted to be with you, I guess. I want to get closer to you, Psyche. I put I get it. Yeah, take this. Did you even hear what I just said? Uh, I mean, uh, thanks. What is this? A present? I love the deadpan way he did that. I got it. I got it. He was just like, oh, you want to be with me? I, let's have this then. He gave me a box wrapped in red paper. When I opened it, I found the brand new video game, Mongolian Deathworm Hunter 10 inside. Interesting. Oh my God. Oh, MHX Monster Hunter. Okay. Monster Hunter. And is this a limited edition? You saying I can have this? There's a buttload of multi joy booms at the aquarium. Why do you keep bringing up bots and loads and joy? <laughs> Holy shit. I wanted this more than life itself. Thank you. Hey, we can play co op offline if you have enough controllers. Let's try it out. Kyojin. Kyojin. He really just said Titan. Jitantic. <laughs> So we spent the day playing Monster Hunter X. Maybe it wasn't the most traditional way to spread Christmas, but it was the most fun. Okay. Mongolian Deathworm Hunter. Um, do you want to save? Sure. I don't even know what's going on anymore. He took my confession that I really wanted to spend time with him real chill. <laughs> he was just like, ah, cool. Okay. Here, I have a present. <laughs> I guess that means he has the same feelings. Skip. Um, we have to do Mochi, right? I don't think... Did we ever actually go through the Mochi one? Or did we just see it with Saiki and then run? I'll go pound some Mochi. I guess it went well. I think so. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, actually, we should see what happens if you say bestie. Because you're my bestie. Well, it's because you're my number one bestie, Psyche. He looks sad. He looks disappointed. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. It's just the same thing. Um, okay, well, let's do the other one then. It's fine. Yeah, he doesn't get disappointed when we say we want to be with him. So yeah, he feels friend zoned in the other one, but he's still just fine to like play games and stuff. Kyojin. Kyojin. Um, no, we just kind of, yeah, we should have really just, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Pound some mochi. Yeah, let's not leave him sad. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're here too, Psyche. Happy New Year. Did you come to eat mochi? HTTPS colon slash slash twitter.com asma no jam states 1554862 63040HATENAS=GZ0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0Q0
underscore jam. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the maker of the game. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff up here. Hmm. <gasps> no, that's not them. They were a VTuber for a second. I was going to say it's somebody else's video. Um, the link works. What does it show? Does anybody... Was anybody able to actually type that in? <laughs> it works. What is it? What's it a picture of? I'd imagine it's a picture. Hmm. Anyway. Look through after the game. Uh, yeah, I'm just not tired. Uh, I'm so not bothered to type it in. It's so long. Yeah, I'll look at it some other day. <laughs> it's fine. Um, bop. I'm excited. Eating a warm rice cake wrapped in nori seaweed and drizzled with soy sauce. That's what you call bliss. How do you usually eat them, Saiki? Do you put anything on it? Like life? Uh, yeah? There's plenty of cases where people die choking on mochi. I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> I feel like it's some rickroll. It just says something like stomach break too. <laughs> okay. They are actually a VTuber too? Oh, they do have a VTuber mono. Okay. That's awesome. Look how good their voice acting is. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, they're starting now. The kids around us are also excited watching a beefy man carry a bunch of rice to a giant mortar and a mallet that was set up beforehand. Okay now. Which one of you kiddos wants to try pounding the mochi? Hi, thank you, this. <laughs> Hi, I'm fine. <laughs> Psyche even louder than all the kids and you're already taking off your clothes too why is he taking off his clothes oh you there the unbelievably enthusiastic kid with the nice hairpins come on down genki desu yeah i love that hi genki Des. oh my god okay that's fine he just took his shirt off it's okay it doesn't even need to be censored yeah <laughs> Okay. So Saiki took the mallet and began pounding the rice with it. It looks like so much fun. Saiki's body was hotter than hell and pulsing with energy even in midwinter. And he looked more strong and beautiful than anyone else. Somehow I got the feeling that even the rice being pounded into mochi was happy with this turn of events. But he's beating it so quickly that the guy who's been kneading the mochi in Tandy with the mallet lost track of the rhythm. And now he's acting weird. Oh, shit. He's going to smack his hand, isn't he? Please pound me too, Psyche. Okay, Anton. <laughs> oh, my God. His beach sprite wasn't even censored. I know. And this is showing less skin. <laughs> this game just loves to F with us, man. Psyche, come on. Give it a rest. I'm not there. Come run, you said. No, you're not listening to me at all. He doesn't care. He just likes to pound. He goes to pound town every day and every night. We were pretty much forced off the premises, but we did end up with a perfectly made rice cake. Psyche and I split it between us. I seasoned it with the soy sauce I found among the condiments they put out for us, and man, it was like eating a little piece of heaven. I've never had mochi with soy sauce. I've only had like sweet, sweet mochi. I'm gonna split this with soda. Psyche ate this with some ramen he brought with him. That they didn't have to change the name of! They changed the name of all the games and most of the other they, the ramune they left in. Okay. Is that actually good? Oi, Minami. Hey, Minami. You got a spare eyeball? Yeah, no, I need both of mine. But anyway, Psyche, what rice cake you made is so good. Thank you. <laughs> like Route 66. What? <laughs> so after all that, Psyche and I scarfed down a bunch of mochi. Amidst the bustling shrine goers. It was really a great day. I think. I, I don't know how he felt about it. His words didn't make sense at all today. <laughs> Savory mochi is so good. Mochi with mentai kotu. I've never really liked mochi. It always, it's, it's the texture. It's how sticky it is. But yeah, maybe savory would be better. I've only had like plain green tea and red bean. Winter break is over. Mine says, good luck and I need a shotgun. Uh, go with the Psyche. Oh yeah, this is where he's being sick in the toilet. Okay. 
Oh, poor baby. We hold his hair back for him. Um, in this one, Opabinia Sensei, super popular bait to lose to Jenny, I can't remember. But I mean, we definitely don't want to go with Sensei, so this way. Oh, yeah, we run into Aorta Senpai. Um, uh, I'm going to give you a pity back ride so I can meet your sister. That was fun. Anata, Seto Kaito. Love that voice acting. <laughs> Motsuke na sai. <laughs> Love mochi with a red bean paste and cream cheese. Damn, that's a nice double. I like her hair. Yeah, the two tone hair is great. It's already February. The months fly by so quick. Skip! I'm a confess to Saiki. Catch you later, Aorta. Catch you later, Marshmallow. I've literally seen you once in this run through. Same for you, Sensei. Catch you later. Okay. Ask about his tastes. So, uh, do you like chocolate? What kind of sweets do you usually eat? Nasu, carnival. He, he's doing this on purpose at this point, right? Like, you're not telling me this isn't all innuendo. Eggplants. Some carnivores. Like an NU carnival? Uh-huh. Honestly, I'd be surprised if you did manage to give me a straight answer here. Maybe moles? Well, I think your psyche just kind of wants to eat whatever he wants. But if I pick a safe option, it might lose out to some of the stuff his other fans give him. I have to try and make something that really packs a punch in both taste and appearance. Thanks a bunch, Saiki. I'll keep this in mind. Okay. Thinking giant love heart, Tabasco. Yeah, okay, okay. We have some plans. Um. Maybe plain milk. To contrast with the silver, we're going to put on top of it. And then a giant massive heart. Something small, small, you can't even see. It might actually make sense as well. But giant massive heart. Nuts. Because, you know, he likes nuts. He is the master of the pound. And then Tabasco. Tabasco should... Silver draggies might be flashy, but let's go with Tabasco. Let's give him some flavor town. Okay. See how that goes. Save here, yes, but not over my last save. <laughs> oh, I probably fucked this up. Continue, Yes. Not the white stuff, chat. Not the white stuff. <laughs> it's finally Valentine's Day, which means it's time to confess. I just have to muster up the courage. I know I can do it. It's just about time to track him down. Saiki Yusuke. All right, let's go find Saiki. <laughs> Our Kawa Sensei is still number one. Hell yeah. Saiki's nowhere to be found. And the bell's about to ring too. Uh, Sup. I was late crafting a lentigo. What the hell's a lentigo? But does that mean you made chocolate for me? Oh. S Psyche. I'll... I'll just do it later. What? <laughs> do it now, you coward! <laughs> I kept waiting for the right moment. And then in the blink of an eye, school was out. I have to tell him. I have to give this to him. Before he goes home. Yo, Kesa, nani tabeta? Isu ni yakyuk shibaka ne? Yo, what'd you eat this morning? Wanna go to the pharmashiva with me? God, Saiki! Huh? Sore nani jigen? Huh? What dimension is that? Saiki pointed to the chocolate in my hand. Oh. Uh. This is. Um. Hey, Saiki. But I think you're, um, you're a very good friend of mine, and I haven't been able to tell you, but, but I think I want to be, um, more than just friends with you, Psyche. I, I like you, Psyche. Uh, eh? <laughs> oh, shit. He actually said, like, Gokaku sounds like Kokuhaku, which is confessing. You're compressing? 
No, I'm confessing, you fool. I think you mean confessing. What do I do now? He totally froze up when I handed him the chocolate I made. Should I try to pass it off as a prank? Don't you dare, you coward. Aww. Look at that face. He's blushing. There's sweat dripping down his face. Oh, everything's pink. Oh. <laughs> That's actually so fucking cute. He delivered that so well. Uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, that's, um, I also, uh, you and I, like, um, so you, me, um, to a lot, so I'm, I'm glad. The the entire time he's been saying nonsense is because he's always been interested in us. Are you fucking kidding me? But, but, um, I like, when I get nervous, I, I, I say a lot of weird things and I'm, I, uh, Kinda lose control and start leaking out and So uh are you sure you still wanna give this to me? You mean to say that the way you usually talk is because you're nervous? How are you talking normally right now? This kind of thing is when you're supposed to be nervousing the most. Nervousing, that's cute. <laughs> uh whatever. That's what I've come to like about you anyway. I love how flashy and excitable you are. How you always go at your own pace. However, I never know what you're saying and how you lose control and leak out, Saiki. Why the fuck is this just a normal romance game now? What the? Saiki? <laughs> This is actually so sweet. He had feelings even at the old school. God damn. I think I got so nervous that I wrapped back around to being calm. Uh, yeah. Uh, but ever since we were back in our old school, I've always wanted to talk to you and stuff. So I thought it was crazy lucky we ended up in the same class. <laughs> um... Thanks for the chocolate, and I feel the same way, you know. Also, sorry I couldn't stop pissing. When he said leaking out, I thought he meant words leaking out. Is he saying that he gets so excited around us he pees like a fucking puppy dog? Wait. <laughs> Is that what he peed in the, in the fucking ocean? Wait. Oh, so that's what you meant by leaking. No, really? What the fuck? So does that mean we've been crushing on each other since before? Okay, we're just going to gloss over that. We're just going to keep moving on. So does that mean we've been crushing on each other since we before we transferred? I kind of hated you at first, uh, though. Uh, no, sir. Kiss, stay. Uh, I'm so... Can I... Kiss you? Could you change your underpants first? Huh? <laughs> oh, I mean, I always wanted to, so, uh, but if you don't wanna, that's cool too. No, it's fine. If it's with you, then I don't mind swapping spit as much as you want. Then I'll just... I'm gonna guess that's his mother. 
ママンから電話来た。いや、cock blocked by the mama <笑>。Mama's calling me。Oh, that scared me。That scared the shit out of me。Hey, Psyche pisses himself and I shit myself。Perfect。I seriously felt my heart stop。But it's fine。We can pick back up tomorrow or some other day. We've got the whole future ahead of us, right? How much you want to bet he's moving? They just set up such a big flag. He's going to go home and talk to his mother. He's going to come into school the next day and he's got to be like, Look, actually, uh, my mom got a new job and me. Um. Masuda. Remember my name. Why does this game refuse to remember my name? Thanks, Masada. And I'll see you tomorrow. Get ready. Psyche still hasn't even remembered my name, right? But I'm really looking forward to school tomorrow. And every day after that. With a smile on my face, I cleaned up the piss Psyche left over the floor. And decided to head home with Pep at every step. Oh, God. Why is it so weird even when it's trying to be normal? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Good morning. After a successful confession to Psyche he made me realize our feelings were mutual. My mood positively skyrocketed. So totally tubular. <laughs> Fuck yeah, tubular. Let's take it back to the 80s. I'm seeing everything from my house to the school to the streets all in rosy hues. I can't believe the high school romance of my dreams is finally happening. And with Psyche. Psyche still hasn't arrived. Oh, did he already leave? Oh, come on. Don't tell me he overslept. I sat down in Psyche's seat and waited for him. I kept watching the classroom door, staring at everyone who came in. I ended up laughing, thinking that I looked like a dog waiting for its owner to come home. But when the last bell rang and school let out, Psyche still wasn't here. He never showed up. Oh. He didn't show up the next day either. Or the day after that. Psyche never came to school. Okay, here's another theory that I have. We haven't interacted with Arakawa Sensei this whole run because we've been too busy with Psyche. Psyche and Arakawa are on like two different halves. Whenever we do something with Psyche, it takes us away from Arakawa. Did Arakawa kill Psyche instead of us? Did Sensei choose him instead of us because we didn't interact with Sensei? Maybe Psyche did instead. He didn't show up the next day either. Or the day after that. Psyche never came to school. Sensei, why don't you sound like Mickey the Mouse? He gets very serious when it comes to Psyche. Over these... The Psyche has been absent for three days now. Do you know anything about this? Moshi moshi. Hello? Earth to Overdies? Uh, oh, s sorry. I don't know. So, I see. I'm surprised he didn't tell you, even though you two are so close. I hope nothing's happened. I'll try calling his house later today. I've tried calling him a bunch over the last three days. And he hasn't answered even once. No updates on social media either. And his status is set to offline on all the games he usually plays every day. Something happened to him. I'm sure his family would call the school. But there's been no contact. Just what is going on? I'm worried about him. More than anything, I just want to see the guy I love. Just for a moment. Just to see if he's okay. Just to hear his voice. Yeah. I should go to Saiki's house. Maybe if I talk to his family, I'll figure out what's going on. The fact that his family hasn't, like, told the school he's missing means he's probably not missing. So what the fuck is going on? I had to ask my teacher for his address. But I finally made it to Saiki's house. Oh, the sad music. The front yard of the large old house was littered with kids' toys, garbage bags, and wilted flowers that looked like they'd been trampled on. The mailbox was stuffed full of envelopes with words like urgent and needs attention written on them. 
Even at first glance, I could tell this house wasn't quite normal. Even so, I made sure the nameplate said Saiki and began to wade through all the trash to get to the intercom. What the hell? No one answered, but I could hear the pitter-patter of little feet coming from inside the house, so they must have been told not to answer the door. Excuse me? Is Saiki... I mean... Is Yusuke-kun home? I'm his classmate, Overdies. No dice. It'd be a problem if I make too much of a ruckus at the front door, so I should take a different approach. But Saiki... <laughs> okay, for one thing, that's one of the sexiest voices I've ever heard, Mama. But at the same time, that got creepy. Yusuke isn't here. Oh, I heard a faint female voice on the other end of the intercom. Could that be his mom? I, I'm sorry to bother. Can I ask why he's not here? Did something happen to him? He hasn't been at school in three days. <laughs> Maybe, but maybe I'm more of a... Maybe I want to be your friend instead. I'm, shit, no, finish the loop. Are you Yusuke's friend? Yeah. Or I'm actually... I'm his... Partner. Yusuke... Yusuke... Won't be going to school anymore. Why? What happened? His father died. Huh? Oh, she's delivering that line really well. She's about to break down. He was in a car accident three days ago. He lost control of the car and ran over a pedestrian. Mm -hmm. He's never coming home again. The only thing coming our way is a demand for settlement. But we don't have any money left. That's awful. So, Saiki's... Has he started working? We have four kids, but he's the only one who can work. So... He's so busy trying to support his family that he can't even go to school? And he's never coming back? You mean he's dropping out so he can keep working? Please go home. We're busy. Hey, wait! She cut the connection. Oh my god. But Saiki didn't even do anything. So not only did he lose his father, but now he has to pay off a massive debt? I can't be. Isn't there anything that I can do for him? Not really, in that kind of tragedy. That's fucked up. Why did this get so real in this run? It's not murder, it's not like ghosts, it's not supernatural, it's just his dad died. In a car crash and hit someone else, and the other person's family wants a settlement of money. God fucking damn it. And they just don't have the money to pay for it. And that is a big family. Oh my god. He had three siblings, all younger than him. Oh man. He's working day and night for his siblings, not even able to come to school. If he keeps that up, his health is going to plummet. I can totally see him pushing himself too hard and getting hurt. This settlement is supposedly a buttload of money, so it's not like the situation is going to improve anytime soon. The family of the victim has to be just about as sad as Saiki and his family are. There's nothing that can be done anymore. I'm sure Saiki is thinking the same thing. I'm just some rubbernecker at the end of the day, so I can't help them at all. I can't do anything. Maybe I could get a part-time? Even if it's only for my peace of mind. I can at least give the Saikis the money I have I saved to help. I'll start job hunting tomorrow then. It's better than doing nothing. Damn. And so I spent my busy days working the cash register at convenience stores, restaurants, department stores. It hurts so much worse letting the days pass by without Saiki, 
totally unable to help. I felt like I'd have been crushed by the weight of my guilt if I didn't do something. So I want to help Saiki. And at the same time, I get to help myself. I don't like this because he still hasn't seen Saiki either. I feel like he needs to... You know, actually see him. About a month had passed since I last saw Saiki, and I, since I had started working. Then one day, late at night, I got a call on my phone. But he was always hungry. Oh, fuck, that makes sense. That's why he scoffed down the cake. Yeah, they must have already been in financial trouble before his dad had the accident. His dad had only had the accident three days before, and there was already, like, trash and stuff piled outside. So they had, like, no money even while he was working. An incoming call from Psyche Yusuke? Hello? How's it hanging? Psyche's voice over the phone was cheerful and lovely. But at the same time, tired and fake. A bunch of different emotions flowed through me, and tears welled up in my eyes. S Psyche. I heard from your mom. I'm so, so sorry about your father. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. I heard the reason you had to drop out is because you're working so hard to support your family. You didn't even do anything wrong. So there's no reason for you to apologize. All right. I started working some part-time jobs too. I get paid tomorrow. So I was planning on giving that to- I'm running away tomorrow night. Oh, this is getting way too fucking real. Now he's about to abandon his family? Huh? So I was just... Calling to say goodbye. あのさ、俺って体結構頑丈だし、前の学校がテロられたけど、俺たちなんとかなったようにさ、きっと今回もなんとかなるから。It's just, I mean, I'm pretty sturdy. It'll be just like how we got through it when our old school was bombed. So I'm sure I'll figure it out this time too. 俺のことは心配すんなよ。短かったけど、お前と一緒にいられてよかった。マジでありがとう。you don't have to worry about me. We were only together for a short time, but I'm glad I had that chance. Seriously. Thanks. Wait. I can't accept that. Psyche, you what are you saying? You're making less sense than usual. I don't get it. It probably isn't a good idea to keep up this cute little relationship we have going, so... I think we should break up. No way. Psyche. But we still haven't even kissed or gone on a date. Let alone anything more. I still want to go out with you. We don't have a choice. I wanted to stay with you longer, too. I can't. It's better if you just forget about me. He hung up. Psyche. This is the only thing I can do for him anymore. Fuck. I hate this. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Ugh. The next day, I withdrew all the money from my bank account and went to Saiki's house. Saiki, I know you're in there. Let me give you my money. Didn't I tell you to forget about me? Did you come to say goodbye? Psyche. There's 250,000 yen in this envelope. I know it's not much, but... Oh. We're on the final decision already. I want you to use it to pay off the settlement. I want to take this in a lope. 
250,000 yen? How did I make $2,500 in one month as a student? How much was I working? God damn. Um, okay. So this one is probably the bad ending. If we go ahead and elope with him, we're taking the money that could have gone to the family and running away. We're probably not going to have a great life. It's probably going to get bad. Whereas if we use it to at least try to pay off the settlement, things go better. He gets to go back to school. Maybe, maybe it's enough money for the settlement. I don't know. But either way, it's a start and we can like say we're working together to pay it off and hopefully be happy. But we do bad ends first in this house. I see a red flag. I charge at it. We're going to elope. It's going to be terrible. We're probably going to turn to a life of crime and get murdered on the streets. It's going to be great. I want to take this money and run away with you so we can live together. You never did anything wrong, Saiki. So why should you have to go through this? It's insane. I just don't want you to suffer anymore. So run away with me. It's not that bad though. And you're not involved in this at all, so... Don't worry about it. I'm involved in this? Bullshit! But... But... You and me are already... You're my boyfriend. The only one I have. And I want to be with you forever. Even... Even if we weren't dating, I'd still want to stay with you. Please. Leave the debt, your family, and all your burdens behind and... Don't look at anyone but me. Sorry. But I have a little brother and two sisters. Mom can't do anything right now because of the trauma of a dad's death. I'm all I have. I like you too, but I can't just leave my family behind. I see. But I am glad you said you wanted to be with me forever. I could tell how serious you were. <sighs> but why is he running away? I'm guessing it's not so much that he's running away to abandon his family, but rather he's probably running away. Maybe the people who own the debt were like hounding him specifically. And so he's running away so that the rest of the family doesn't have to deal with it. He's going to keep working and keep sending money back home. But yeah, make sure that the trouble doesn't come to his family anymore, that they don't knock on their door anymore. But instead, they pursue him wherever he's moving to. That's a good line. So, I'm not breaking up with you. No matter how far apart we are, I'll always be your one and only boyfriend. Even if I leave this place, don't forget about me, okay? Okay. Thank you. I promise I'll never forget you. I love you. I've only really known you for a single year of the 17 I've been alive, but still. I love you more than anyone else. After a moment of silence, Saiki hung his head and nodded. Slowly, I turned my back to him and began to walk away. It'll be fine. If I had kept standing there, I would have just started thinking of ways to break his will to protect his family. I wanted to leave. I wanted him to leave his family behind and come with me so badly. I was shocked he chose them over me. Don't forget about me. Those words weighed heavily on my back. 
thought of Saiki was gripping my heart so tightly it hurt. But I had to go on living without forgetting. But honestly, I didn't even want to think about him. If I could have forgotten, I would have. Saiki. The only thing I could do now was pray for his happiness. That's all. But... When I went to take a heavy step away from him, I found I couldn't move from that spot. It wasn't that I couldn't move my feet, though. I turned around to see if I'd snagged my clothes on something. Is he holding my jumper? Oh, <gasps> You bastard, don't do this shit to me. And there was Saiki, gripping the hem of my shirt and not letting go. He looks so baby right now, too. He wasn't moving. And for some reason, he had a puzzled, almost dazed expression on his face. Oh. What's wrong, Saiki? Uh, he didn't even mean to do it. It just happened. Uh. Uh. Oh, sorry. It's nothing. Sorry for stopping you. Psyche, what's wrong? Why are you crying? No, I I'm not crying. Wait, uh-huh. Are these tears? I... I don't get it. What's wrong with me? He was at his limit. Psyche was the one who wanted to escape the most. Hey, Psyche? It's gonna be okay. Come on. Sorry. Seriously, don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay, Psyche. You don't have to be strong anymore. You've worked so hard. You can let go now. So Sorry. It's okay. A week later, the headlines were shouting about a resurgence in the rumored serial kidnappings. It looked like two high school students attending Koshien Kadameru in a private academy had gone missing. And his smile met his eyes as he laughed and said utterly incomprehensible nonsense. Just like always. They didn't get kidnapped, baby! They ran away together! <laughs> that is the bad end, though, yeah. We're getting the sad song. Interesting. Don't say sorry. I mean, I stole him from his family, which just means they're going to start harassing his family. They did? Yeah, that's what they were saying. The news, the news is reporting it as two more students going missing, but it's just because we ran away together with the money we had. Fuck. Too cute. Yeah, his voice acting was fucking incredible there. I couldn't do it because I can't hit that tone of what he has a really... The voice actor has like a really rich light tone of voice that's like really nice sounding but him being able to like crack his voice while he was doing that man it was so fucking good the way he went so emotionless at first where he was just like i'm sorry it it really doesn't matter oh god it was so fucking good at least they didn't die yeah they they might have a happy life who knows his family might be okay too maybe they'll get some sort of debt forgiveness or I don't know. I don't know. But either way, at least they ran away happy together. He really was at his breaking point. Him crying his eyes out, just knowing that if they tried to stay in a relationship, it was only going to hurt him more. Fuck. And him trying to scare us off and just being like, Nah, this is better for us. Don't worry about it. But what do you mean I'm crying? What, these are tears? Oh, that was so fucking good. 
Oh, and we even gave him the pacifier. He's always been baby. The stupid crack thick game <laughs> whips out your heart. It does. It's so stupid most of the time. And then the endings come together and they're just like, oh man. <sighs> he was the baby all along. Yeah. Oldest child of the family. Never let on the fact that he was living in poverty. Everybody just considers him this awesome dude who everybody is in love with. Because he's so good at sports. He's so fun. He's so attractive. Meanwhile, he's working his ass off. That's probably why he did so good at the maid cafe as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he was working a part-time job in the evenings as well. Maybe that's why he's naturally so strong. And that revelation that all the nonsense coming out of his mouth was because he was in love with us. That was fucking sick. I don't know who Yoko is. <laughs> Yoko's voice is amazing. <laughs> Saiki's mother? Goddamn. I was too cute. Yeah, it was. I don't even consider that a super bad ending. It was like... It's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. It's going to be bad and hard for them. But... Oh, man. At least it's something. It was a shellfish ending, but I still love it. Yeah. It was them abandoning both of their families. Letting them think they'd been kidnapped by the serial kidnapper. And the fact that we don't see. We don't see if it works out for them. We don't see if they actually get together or... Fuck. Yeah, at least they're together. Yeah, at least they've got each other. That line he dropped was so good as well. Where he was like, okay. We won't break up then. You'll still be my one and only boyfriend. The fact that he was just going to keep working and he was like, but you'll always be my boyfriend. We may be apart, but yeah, we won't love anyone else. Psyche's mother probably didn't take it easy. Oh, geez. I didn't even think about that. He said she was already broken from the trauma of the father passing away. Imagine how she would have felt if she thought, oh, great. And now my son's been kidnapped too. And she'd probably blame herself for having been broken down at the time. She'd be like, it's my fault I wasn't looking out for him. He was working. He dropped out of school because I was an idiot. That's on me. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I expected someone to get murdered. Yeah. I'm expecting in the second ending when I say like, here's the money, pay it off. He's going to be like, bruh. You need like 500 times that amount. Get your damn head out of your ass, your child. That's what I think is going to happen there. They're go he's going to be like, stop acting like a goddamn child. Like, this. I have to pay off so much more than that. I have to take care of my family. You can't help me with this. Oh, are we ready for more pain? Oh, are we ready for more pain? <laughs> I want you to use it to pay off the settlement. I wanted to help you to pay off the settlement. I'll help you, so please don't run away. We can pay back the money little by little. I know it's so hard for you, but the victims are suffering too. No matter what we do, we can't get back what we've lost. But running away won't solve anything either. So you should face it head on and work to pay it off. It's like when you're playing games, you know. You never run away. You stand tall and accept the challenge. And I also... don't want to say goodbye. I don't care how many years it takes. I just want to stay by your side for as long as I can. Mm -hmm. Got it. Sorry, I turned this down for the song. I didn't know you thought of me that way. It's almost embarrassing. So I don't think my mom will be happy about it, but I'll try to convince her. これもかっこ悪いから本当は受け取りたくないんだけど、マジで余裕がないからもらうわ。お前がいる未来を歩んでいくうちに、お前からもらったものを少しずつ返していけるように。Holy shit. Okay, I was wrong. And honestly, I don't want to accept that money either because it makes me look pretty lame, but... I can't afford not to, so yeah. I'll take it. And that way we can pay off the debt together, a little at a time. 
and be together again. All the smile. I promise I won't run away anymore. I went up to Saiki and gave him the envelope. But at that moment, he reached past the envelope and grabbed my arm, pulling me hard as he took a step forward. And our lips met. Show me the CG, damn it. Holy shit. I kissed him. <laughs> Not my name, you fucking... I love you, Sasagawa. My name is Overdees? But anyway, I decided to leave for the day. I knew Saiki's mom would have a hard time accepting the money, but I hoped she would understand somehow. Hi, hi, Sasagawa Desu. No, he's not sensei. He doesn't have that level of sex. Well, yeah, no, he doesn't have that level of sex. He, just, he can't make me change my name. Why no CG? I, I guess they just didn't want to do a full blown kiss. That's fair. Wish we could have kissed CG? I do too. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Psyche still didn't come to school today. But this is all for a future where we can be together. All right. I'll do my best in class today. And then I'll work hard at my part time job after school. But I got here a little too early, so I guess I'll check the news or read my horoscope or something. Why do I feel like the news has got to say something horrible? I scrolled through some articles about kidnappers and missing children from a few years back. Honestly, I've gotten tired of seeing this stuff all the time. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. But then I saw a headline among them that gave me goosebumps. Maybe it was because I went to Saiki's house yesterday. But the thumbnail for the article showed a house that I swear looked just like his. But obviously it couldn't be the same one. Because that house I went to yesterday wasn't burnt to a crisp. The traces of gasoline around the old house suggested arson, and there were four burnt bodies found in the ruins. Suddenly I remembered hearing the sirens of fire trucks late last night. I was filled with an overwhelming anxiety and dread. Four bodies. Three younger siblings, one mother. He ran away. He ran away and he burned it all. Oh... My fucking god. Moved by these feelings, I got up and ran out of the classroom without a word. The students coming to school stared at me, but I didn't care as I rushed out the gate and made a beeline for Saiki's house. All I wanted was for him to be safe. But my wishes went unanswered. As I stood weeping in front of the burnt house, police officers tried to usher me off the premises, saying I was interfering with the investigation. Psyche. That's all I could say. Eventually, one of the policemen came over and told me. Supposedly, there were five people living in that house, a mother and four children, but they only found four bodies in the wreckage. They didn't know where the last one went, or if he was even alive. As they told me this, though, I saw a notification on my phone. I don't know when I got the text message, but the notification said it was from Sai Kiyusuke. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, that's not a happy ending. I thought this was going to be the happier of the two. Uh, uh, what the f- He K-worded his family and yeah, he ran away. He did what he was going to say except he killed his family as well. Maybe he thought if he killed them and then ran away, nobody would think he actually did it. I don't know. Did he have to burn them though? Maybe it was just because it was such a source of stress for him. He also had some injuries on himself. We're going to look at that CG again in a minute. But he definitely had like things wrapped around his head, bandages wrapped around his head. And I think he had some other injury as well. 
He even ran off with the money? Yeah, he took my money. <laughs> Did he have a bandage? Yeah, he had a bandage wrapped around his head. So who knows what happened? Maybe he got attacked. Maybe he attacked the family first. I don't... I don't know. Probably fought someone. Yeah, it could be. It wasn't even him. Maybe the debtors came and showed up and attacked the entire family. Maybe while he was out working, it happened. He came home and found them dead. And he decided to just burn it. We don't know. That's the... The fact that he texted the guy, though. Like, I feel like the fact that he texted the main character and just said, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep my promise means it was probably him. He probably just, yeah, burned the house down and left. I feel like if it was the loan sharks, he would have done something else rather than running away. That was the hint that he did it, yeah. We need to look at that CG as, again as well. Maybe a fight with his mother, maybe. Maybe uh, that whole thing. That exact thing that we, the MC said, with the whole like, I hope that, I'm sure there will be some way that the mother will be able to accept it. Maybe the mother couldn't accept it. Maybe the mother was like, you can't accept his money. He's just another child. And maybe he got frustrated by that. Maybe the mother even told him, you need to break up with that kid. Give him his money back. And that was when he snapped because he was like, oh, so I have to do everything. I have to keep working. I can't be with my boyfriend. Maybe he snapped and attacked his mother then. And that's what led him into murdering his whole family. I don't know. We'll never know. That was a really good ending for that. Really fucking sad ending, but damn. He dropped his phone too? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, that... As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, so he did it. He's dropping his phone to make sure the police can't track him. But yeah, at least he dropped us one last message. Oh, it wasn't it hurt? But I just like the openness of it. That you're not quite sure exactly how that went down. Why he decided to kill them. Why that snap happened. The smile, those tears line. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the one that's called what? Like, yeah, unrequited love. So even this, even though this one's normally the happier ending, and this is the one where I killed Sensei and when I freed uh, Marshmallow's spirit. But in this one, it's just, yeah, him being like killing his family and leaving me. <sighs> in this one, it's actually the sadder ending, even though it's unrequited love. Why the other ending better? <laughs> I know. We abandon the family, but it doesn't tell us what terrible things happen to the family. It doesn't tell us what happens to us either. So there's that openness where it could be a happy ending. You never know. This is a really good song too. Both of them are, but yeah. I like the lo-fi of this. The guy's gentle voice is so good. They apparently don't deserve happiness. We only deserve madness. It's from madness with love. That's what we get. That one was really cute, though. The fact that he loved us from even when we were in the other school. Fuck, man. At least the other ending, the family lived. You don't know that. We, ab we had Saiki abandon his family. His mother was already emotionally broken to the point where she couldn't do anything from the dad's death. Once Saiki left, you never know what happened to the family. Uh, gallery. Let's see that final CG again. Yeah. So we've got every CG on his route now. He's got his backpack, he's dropping the phone, and he has got bandages wrapped around his head. So yeah. He got in some sort of fight. He didn't just like burn the house down while they were sleeping. Either he got into a fight with the debtors, or more likely he got into a fight with his mother or his family. Ended up hurting them even before he burned it down. Fuck. Should have taken the money and paid the collectors himself because he's working and she's not. Eh? Or pretend that never happened. Maybe she tried to stop him. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how the altercation happened, but something happened. We shall never know. So we ended up getting every CG except for these ones. <laughs> Yo, okay, I said I'd let you guys see this. Um, One minute, I'm going to make sure it's still censored once we actually get into it. Yeah, okay. Oh, here you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, without the censorship, that should... Oh, my God, you can practically see it as it is. 
Let's move on. Um, I thought he had our ba his back to us, but no, he's standing from the side. Yeah, we missed a lot of CGs for him, but he's the only one. His route is the only one we didn't do. Fuck. Ah, uh, part of me wants to do it. <laughs> No, we're not doing it. I'm, just, I'm putting my foot down. I'm putting my foot down. Okay. That's where we end the stream. <laughs> Unless we speak. No, but I don't like the way he speaks either. That's the problem. It's the log thing. The fact that I have to go into the logs every time to look up his lines annoys me. And then you don't get to see the images. No, we're done for today. It's just chatting stream. Just chatting. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to let this music keep playing. This is a pretty good BGM for right now. Uh, so it's about the log. Yeah, it's the fact that I don't feel nice listening to... Like, with the other ones, I like listening to their VA and then speaking. With his one, like, you noticed a lot of the time, like, when I did have to read his lines, I was just, like, speaking over him because it was like, it's backwards. It doesn't feel good. I feel like he talks normally at some point. I'm sure he does, but it's probably not until, like, near the end. And it's just so long to get through. <laughs> Basically, Bestia. But there's a difference, though, because Bestia was growling and doing fun stuff. <laughs> He's just speaking weird. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to, you can play that off screen. Um, you guys can buy the game and play it by yourselves. I'm not going to do it on stream. I'm not going to do another stream for this. If it looked like there were secret CGs, then yeah, I probably would have. But it's just Aorda's route. The fact that we can see all the CGs from the game and there's no, like hidden one there's no like secret ending it's not like you complete all of them and then you get like a true end so you, you guys can enjoy it <laughs> zatsu time yeah we just zatsu in i thought this is just a comedy fun game but it actually got serious yeah i mean even like in the first playthrough i was like sensei kind of sexy i was fine with his dark endings but then man they hit us with so many feels in this Poor well, marshmallow was already gone we couldn't do anything for him and then when it came to Saiki, God, that was actually so sweet and romantic. We worked so hard going down his route. And it turned out the best we could get is just abandoning his family, leaving them to their own devices. And uh, you never even know if that's going to be safe for Saiki and the main character themselves. <laughs> A lot of people run away from home when they're teenagers and it does not work out for them. So there's always the hope that there's a good ending for those two, but there's also the fact that it's probably not. They probably didn't do too well either, let alone his family, which probably really got fucked up. Andrew M, thank you for donating the few funds. Very unfortunate that burning down the house came up on my shuffle just now. That's so perfect. Are you kidding me? That's like godlike timing. That's not unfortunate at all. Oh man, kindred it on. Thank you for the stream. Canada Sensuya. This is a very enlightening delirious. Yeah, you go up what? Kaneda sensei? Who's Kaneda sensei? Confused by that one more than anything. And at least I didn't read the kissy noise properly. Sabrina Saberhagen, thank you for donating the few funds. One out of five. Oh, there's a rainbow coming in. Talking like Saiki? Oh. <laughs> like the rainbow wrong on purpose. Okay. Look, man, only Sensei himself is allowed to do that to me. I didn't even pay attention to it when Saiki did it. Saiki isn't on that level. Sensei, yeah, if he calls me another name, I'm just like, okay, I, I, I'll be your marshmallow. Okay, I, I, I'll be your this and that, your Kanada, your hi hi Kazuya des. I'm fine with all of those. Saiki isn't on that level yet. He, he needs to try harder. He's cute. He's not sexy. I'm gonna blow my nose. Okay, Arakawa Sensei Sim. I'll agree with that. I agreed with that from day one. I was quite happy with his two endings. <laughs> they were both fun in their own way. But it works fine for me. Sabrina Saberhagen, one out of five. A year and a week ago, I caught you live for the first time. Oh, that's wild. Today, I want to tell you I'm happy I keep coming back despite my initial feelings of... I'm not sure he's the streamer for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't read much. Cyberpunk isn't my thing. And I like my gameplays without commentary. Ouch. So it's actually quite intimidating and scared me a bit. But then I saw your sense of humor was similar to mine to what I like. I saw your approach to dark and complicated themes. 
and it felt right. I witnessed your immense creativity and your ever-evolving abilities, and above all, I got a glimpse of the gentleness and compassion within you. Thank you, Folga, for being the voice I like listening to when I don't feel like talking to others. Thank you for unknowingly soothing little pains I had in my heart. Thank you for the brilliant content, and thank you for the humanity. Oh, number five hasn't come in yet. Oh, I feel bad. I'll wait for number five to come in, but that's an incredibly sweet message. I like how real it is as well, with just like the initial, like... <laughs> At first, I didn't really think you were the streamer for me. Not my style. Intimidating, annoying, talks over the gameplay. <laughs> Fair. But I'm glad you enjoyed it eventually. I'm glad you did keep coming back, and now you've been here for more than a year. That's wild. Thank you so much for the huge donations to the food fund, Sabrina Saberhagen. I will wait for number five. So sweet. Yeah, it is. Very same thing. I just can't send supers from my country. Ah, thank you. I'm just glad you enjoy you guys enjoy the streams. That's what I feel sometimes. Damn Sabrina, you rode my mind. I'm glad to hear a lot of people feel similar about the comments as well. That's really nice. And yeah, it was such a sweet thing to say. Very heartwarming. This is the true ending we needed. <laughs> Yeah, this is better than any of the other endings we got today. <laughs> there we go. Five out of five. Your name may be Folger, but to me, you feel more like a son sometimes. Wish you could have health and lots of happiness, my Oshi. I buy you. Ah, Thank you so much, Sabrina Saberhagen. That's very sweet of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for donating the few funds. I just hope you continue to enjoy the content in the future. How dare you hit me with that poetic line at the end, too? You feel more like a sun? No. Lightning sheep. <laughs> Not beautiful, sunny, happy sheep. Lightning sheep. We angsty. We over the top. <laughs> and thank you so much for donating the food funds. Thank you for the sweet supers. And I hope you have a wonderful day, Sabrina Saberhagen. Rengo, thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here and spending your time with me everyone as well anybody who like watches the streams thank you so much for being here small snail what is that have a wait is that oh <gasps> morgana <laughs> i was like yo i know that girl i was told to play this game blind and then i jumped in and saw saiki's endings so good for a starting point the stream was enjoyable for chan thank you i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah saiki's one i feel like I feel like the proper order would be to start with Psyche. I almost feel like the creator of game just thought, oh, you're going to go with the popular kid who isn't like clearly a ghost who's trying to abuse you or the sensei who clearly has like a super sadistic side. I feel like the natural assumption was they're going to go with Psyche. And yeah, you just get like a nice little romance story that eventually ended with some serious pain. Um... And then eventually make your way to the actual like child serial kidnappings and stuff that's more heavy. I am wondering what's down the other route, but I'm going to play that myself offline because it's probably only going to take me like half an hour to fly through it. And I just want to, I just want to complete it. I just want to see if he is interesting at all. The other kid, I would go with the order first. <laughs> well, you and me are on two very different wavelengths, <laughs> but I do want to see how it is, especially since we got that girl with the black and white hair, um, just appearing out of nowhere near the end of the game. Yeah. Who's going to pick Sensei first? <laughs> you know who. <laughs> Me for sure. Sensei was great. But thank you so much for donating the food fund, Small Snail. I'm glad you got to enjoy it blind. I'm glad you got to like enjoy the game. This was a lot of fun. Especially since I had no idea what this game was going to be when I came into it. I didn't know with like all the warnings if it was going to be just super sexual. If it was just going to be super silly. If it was going to be over the top. I got a lot more than I expected out of it. A lot more kinkiness <laughs> a lot more darkness and a lot more angst i was happy it isn't like incredibly deep the whole way through but it has some deep moments and more than that like it plays on your emotions it's a fun time it's just a fun visual novel but yeah definitely check it out if you guys want to um i ended up with the random angsty roots first fair <laughs> marinette thank you for donating for funds uh, i'm gonna pretend that last ending didn't exist <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the thing. You don't have to live through any ending that you didn't want to go through. Just enjoy the parts that you did enjoy and ignore the ones you didn't. 
Um, I didn't get to grab this one, but bee cream. This wrote hurt because it was really sweet and then it just got so real and so sad. Yeah, I've seen so many stories that do the same thing as that one where like over the top. Like I watched a lot of J dramas when I was younger. <laughs> I feel like that kind of plot line where like a family suddenly gets a huge debt or loses a parent and needs to pay back money and stuff like that always happen in classic J dramas. Like I think it happened in Goku Sen and like Great Teacher on Izuka like multiple times for each of them. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like they bring that up as a storyline quite a bit where the character has to drop out of school and then normally the teacher or their friends show up and is like, no, you can't drop out. Come on, we'll work just a bit harder. We'll all work together. We'll do our best. And then they go back to school. Um, I actually still like GTO and Goku Sen. They were good. Goku Sen was the one with the woman who used to be a Yakuza but became a teacher and kicked ass, right? You, uh, GTO is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Except he was like a good biker gang and then became a teacher. <laughs> good, good, good shows. I like those live action dramas. And the anime of GTO is pretty good as well. I don't know if there was an anime for Goku Sen. Um, but yeah, there was definitely a manga. Anyway, anyway, those were always a lot of fun. They had silly fighting in them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it reminded me of that. And I'm good with stories like that. Stories that are simple. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. But yeah, it did get quite real. That's something that happens to people in real life so much. And it's just in real life, people just kind of have to deal with it. You get weighed down with a debt that you don't actually really deserve, but yeah, you can't do anything about it, so you just work to pay it off, and some people genuinely do end up having to deal with that in their life. Thank you for donating the food funds, Bee Cream. It did get a bit real, but it was still a fun ride. Especially at least we got that one ending where they ran away together. It was <laughs> something. I especially liked the bit when he grabbed you when you tried to walk away. Like you try to walk away because you accept him telling you to go away and he's just like uh, why did I do that I, I didn't mean to uh, that was so powerful him being such a baby in that moment and just being like I, I wanted to let you go but I just I'm crying my eyes out oh god it's Goku Sen Goku Sen the one with Matsu Jun is one of the actors yeah I mean they had like four seasons of Goku Sen so they went pretty, through pretty much every one of the idols from like Johnny's Entertainment. I remember Kamenashi Kazuya was in it at 1.2. I'm pretty sure Yamapi was too. Yamapi was either in GTO or... Oh wait, was he in Dragon Zakura? He, I think he was in the other teaching one. He might have been in both. God damn it. But yeah, definitely it's the one with the idol you're talking about as well. Um, Ashley and Dietrich. Never wanted to hug a character so much, man. Poor Saiki and Marshmallow. But yeah, I too head charge first. Yeah, I too charge head first into red flags. Thanks for showing this game. No problem. I had a lot of fun with it. And yeah, there were red flags everywhere, but we had so much fun with it. Literally the only unambiguously good ending so far is the one where you let Marshmallow pass on. Yeah, and even then, the child kidnapper's still out there. Nobody knows who it is. <laughs> Yabapi was in Dragon Zakura. Okay, so he wasn't in Gokusen or GTO. I thought he was in like an early season of GTO as well. Damn, I must have misremembered that. It must have just been. Let me see. Actually. My drama list is much better than any of the other ones for this. Wee, way back in time. Oh, that's what I was remembering. I was trying to remember him being like a like a youth, like in a gang kind of thing. It was Ike Bakura Westgate Park. He, he was in the drama adaptation of IWGP. And yeah, he was a little like gangster in that. So yeah, no, he wasn't in Gokusen. Fair enough. But he was in Dragon Sakura, which is another similar thing with a hard ass teacher teaching students in creative ways. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Nako, thank you for donating the food funds. Hi, Fujan. I think you'll like Aorta Senpai's Route 2, so play it sometime soon. Thanks for playing one of my favorite games. Oh, my favorite game. No problem, Nako. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. And hell yeah. I'll check out Aorta and see how it goes. I, the thing is, he doesn't really give me many hints of how interesting he'd be. He feels like he'd just be a more average character, but we'll see how it goes. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Recently, he was in Alice in Borderland. Yeah, he was. 
and he was naked for part of it. <laughs> you may hire. Thank you for donating the few funds. Conflicting feelings about these endings, but I enjoyed the game a lot. You are for the stream today, as always, Fuchan. I hope the rest of your day goes well. Thank you. I'm sure it will. Thank you so much for donating the few funds. You may hire and have a wonderful evening. Claudines, blow, blow, blow your nose gently down the stream. <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. Foo, I love your streams. Okay, you saved it there. <laughs> Felt weird at first, but at least you made a rhyme and a full thing. <laughs> Now it's just kind of cute. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I mean, we thought Psyches would be cute and wholesome, but look where that got. It was cute and wholesome. It just, I didn't. Well, did you say you didn't think? No, yeah, no, I didn't think Psyches would be cute and wholesome at the beginning. I was just wondering what he was hiding. <laughs> so yeah, that's something. <laughs> the fact that it turned so cute and wholesome and into a real dating game was surprising to me. Would it sweeten the deal if I told you Aorta's route is the lewdest? I mean, I kind of assumed that from the nude scene we got. <laughs> but yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. Turns out he's the freak, actually. He's like more freaky than Sensei. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Psyche peed on the MC, though. Not wholesome. Hey, don't kink shame people, Sudako. Some people are into that thing. <laughs> Maybe the MC is. We don't know. Maybe that was very endearing to the MC. <laughs> Tish. I was crying during the fire part and the ending shocked me so much I stopped crying. Yeah. I, when they first started that shit, when it was just like, I started looking through the news and then I saw something that gave me goosebumps. I was so sure it was going to be the fact that Saiki had been kidnapped by Arukawa sensei. So you know what? I actually prefer him burning down the house and his family. Fucked up as the thing as that is to say. I think if Sensei had gotten him after everything that happened between us, I would have just broken so fucking much. I think I would have been crying my eyes out on stream. I would have been like, no, you can't do that. How dare you? This isn't his route. This ain't about him. This is about me <laughs> and Psyche. <laughs> At least we know he's safe in that regard. Yeah, even though we definitely don't want to be anywhere near him anymore because he murdered his entire family and ran away. At least he's alive. At least it wasn't as dark as it could have been. Like, it wasn't sad dark. It was, like, fucked up dark, <laughs> which is different. <laughs> oh, my God. The fact that he was the weirdest one at first but ended up having the most normal ending is, <laughs> yeah, still my fave, though. I'm glad you like him so much. I'm glad we did Psyche's route. Psyche was, like, I think Psyche was, yeah, right behind the other two. So we did the top three from at least last week when we actually did the polls. People liked these three the most and Aorta the least, so it worked out good. 100% thought Psyche burned down their old school to be with his crush, but I guess not. No, I doubt it, because, I mean, it was blown up and they specifically said in a terrorist attack, so they probably found out who did that attack. And I think he would have admitted it if he did, plus... He was already with his crush. They were in the same school, so that doesn't really work. But I, I get what you're saying. It would have been an interesting twist if it turned out he was that dark. He'd blown up their old school and then he burned down his house. Like, that would have been a nice twist of like, I just wanted you all to myself. If he went Yandere, but not like murders us Yandere, but would murder everyone else except us Yandere, that would have been an interesting twist. Um. Well. I think that's Pisu? Pisu. It's Pisu, right? Or is it Posu? I need to translate this. That's too many additions to one thing. Because <laughs> I'm like, that's definitely he, but then it's got the little circle, but then it's also got the little yo after it, so I'm like, hmm. Pyosu. It is Pyosu. 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 <laughs> okay. Like, how does that work? Pyosu. Thank you for donating the food funds. But it's fun to hear Fuchan's voice again today. May you have fun today and in the future. Bye, you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. This stream was definitely fun. I hope you have a wonderful future too, and I hope you rest well. See, at that point, if the family's going to suffer anyway, let us elope so we can be together. It's at least selfishly happy for us. It may have been even worse for the family, though. Like, the family may have, like, been tortured to death by the debtors after that. Or well, the mother may have gone insane, and who knows what would happen when she's already that far gone. Who knows? Lily Demon Nerd. Even though my favorite color is green, I do like my red flags. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Completely fair. Sometimes you just got to charge into red and enjoy it. It's the color of the rising sun, you know? It's the color of passion. It's the color of roses. It's, yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Momiji, Atsufu chan and TY for the stream. Saiki's two ends made me cry. Even when we became another Arakawa, that didn't make me cry. Yeah, I was fine with Arakawa. That didn't make me cry. That was just fun. The dark end with Marshmallow was really fucked up as well. And I was just like, oh, this is sick. I felt bad for Senpai, but <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, the other endings, though. God damn. It was a sad day. I <sighs> hope you enjoy it. I did. I hope you enjoyed the stream today, too, Momiji. Thank you so much for joining us. Please rest well and take it easy. Ah, oh, man. This was a good game, considering this came out of nowhere. Um, ba boom MC. He pisses when he sees me. I like that in a man. <laughs> I mean, it shows how excited he is. <laughs> if somebody literally likes you so much that they pee themselves every time you're around i mean it's like damn i have that effect on people <laughs> i mean you could always say he got him wet no 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 jojo bb my self-care day took today took an interesting turn oh i'm sorry that we ruined your self-care day <laughs> yeah this is probably not what you should be watching on such a day <sighs> it was a fun time though if you like the color red these are some fun characters don't make Saiki dirty. He's already dirty. He's covered in piss. <laughs> okay, Sky. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. What if we track down Saiki after he burned down his family, though? That would be fun. Also, well, thank you for donating the food funds, okay, Sky? Hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us. Yeah. They could make a whole nother AU off of that one, honestly. They could just go ahead and be like, and now the second game, the MC tracks him down, hunts him down. Not because he wants to hurt him, but because he still wants to be with him. And he's like, I don't care if you killed your family, but how dare you leave me? Psyche DLC. Yeah, it's like when Klanad turned into Klanad after story with Nagisa. We could have a, yeah, we could have a From Madness with Love after story. In fact, I'd like to go down the route where we took over Sensei's job. <laughs> that would be a fun game to play. Well, I mean, Sayano Uta already gave us that kind of... You know, there's, a, there's a lot of fun dark routes. After story, what the heck? Hell oh, yeah. Okay, old super chats. What am I playing tomorrow? I'm not going to be able to do the super long super chain again. And I feel really bad about that, but we're about to hit six hours of stream. And I know that's completely on me because I fucked it up, but still... What am I doing? T -t Tomorrow is thingy thing. Um, Oldest Gate 3. Okay. I am going to... I doubt... Well, that might be a short stream. And it's not too late. I'm either going to read the super long chain of super chats um, after Border Gate 3, if that is short. Honestly, if they want to go for like five hours, I'll go for like five hours. But if nothing else, I'll definitely read it on Saturday because Saturdays are very chill as on stream. The longest I can imagine that being is three hours of, like, actual talking about the subject. And then we'll definitely have time to read the super chat, so we'll be fine. Okay. Just sorry it took so long. Oh my god, it's been days and days and days and days and days and days and days. <laughs> you sure about that? I'm pretty sure about that. There haven't been too many posts on the Twitter hashtag, so it's mostly got to be my ones. I don't... I, don't, I say that, but when it came to, like, dress up Fuchan... A lot of people posted like the day it was supposed to happen and then a lot more people posted like after i delayed it by 24 hours people posted like a ton of dress up fuchan stuff in that 24 hours <laughs> so for all i know the hashtag's got to flood in like the next day or two we just don't have time yeah no i get it completely that's what happens to me all the time as well i'm like ah i'll just, just do it right before the end like yeah we procrastinate i don't mean especially when it comes to like art you can start drawing art. And, yeah, I mean, we don't need art for this one. You just need to, like, say um, what the cryptids or zoological cryptids, whatever they are. Whatever. Um, you don't have to, like, actually draw anything. But I get that with the dress-up Fuchan. And I get that with this if you're just like, oh, yeah, I want to post about that. But uh, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Today I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Last minute miracle. I mean, I feel like, again, I feel like a lot of people that are in this community probably were, like, the gifted children when they were younger. <laughs> 
Because I feel like that's a gifted child thing as well, where you're like, I don't need to do it today. I can put it off to tomorrow. You, you always end up leaving everything until literally the last final moment and then straight up like do it within like six hours and you get it done. But it's like, <laughs> I'm doing that right now. The cool out. How, how many? How many of you were gifted children? <laughs> Don't call, don't call me out. Everybody's like, don't call me out. Don't call us out. I feel called out. Yeah. I, I feel like we've attracted that kind of community. <laughs> uh, me, uh, me, the call out me. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and fair enough if you were like one of the gifted and talented children, because like, believe me, for most of us, it did not lead us to anything. <laughs> for most of us, it was like, oh, I'm a gifted and talented child. Okay. And then we never learned how to study. Uh, yeah, I've talked about that before. I like a lot of the gifted and talented children. They get like burnout at some point. Or they start to like fight against the fact that they're gifted and talented. They're like, maybe I don't want to be gifted and talented. Maybe I don't want to be known for my grades and smarts. Maybe I want to, you know, dance. <laughs> or play video games. Or write stories. Or draw art. Anything like that. Uh, uh, random trivia though. I think that's more my thing. Like that's, I feel like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that's another one of those ones because I think if you know a lot of random trivia it's because you've just got a mind that's able to pick up things very easy and when you're in like elementary school primary school whatever like they call like the early grades in different countries um yeah I feel like in the first like 10 years or so as if you've got that kind of mind you just pick up everything in class and from the world around you and then you get to the point that you actually need to start studying and working on other things. And then it's like, yeah, things get hard. <laughs> and you like getting information, but not studying. Exactly. Like, that's why I could do like that game Trivial Pursuit so well. Like Trivial Pursuit, I always win. But <laughs> if you ask me actual intelligence things, like I can spit trivia for fucking days. Meanwhile, if you put me and Shu next to each other and gave us both like an actual science or maths exam, Shu's gonna mop the fucking floor with me. <laughs> getting too real stop yeah i feel it don't worry about it <laughs> it's life i'm not intelligent i am does that count as wisdom no because wisdom is more like emotional intelligent kind of thing I'm not intelligence i just know a bunch of dumb shit <laughs> can you recite pi no see that's a shoe thing i i no i i do genuinely think shoe is probably either shoe or millie are probably the most intelligent people in Nijisanji yeah, and it's between the two of them. Okay. Next step. Disono. Well, you had a deep vendetta against Ayota, <laughs> but it's about the log instead. Yeah, it just feels less fun going through his route. It's the way his voice goes backwards, so... Like, even with my simple understanding of Japanese, I like listening to Japanese voice acting. Um, And you don't really get the voice acting with Ayota. And it's probably going to have a reason down the line, and it's probably going to hit emotionally, but... It's just less fun to do. <laughs> Every other character was more interesting to me because of that. And because I didn't really have a good voice for Aoda Senpai either. It was just kind of like I was trying to do a smart voice and then it ended up coming just slightly deep or slightly posh. It just nothing about Aoda Senpai just clicked with me, especially not for actually trying to. I don't know, voice act and enjoy it while on stream kind of thing. But I'll definitely play his thing just to be a completionist and see how it goes. Um, Otsufu! I'm still on the Moray route agenda. <laughs> um, b -b 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 what could he do? Something illegal? Lose his memory? Polyamory sounds good. Oh, fuck me. You know what? Illegal? 9 out of 10. Lose his memory? 10 out of 10. Polyamore. That one takes a bit of a stretch. That one drops it down like an 8 out of 10. Overall, 9 out of 10. That was a very good series of puns. Very good series of puns. <laughs> and I'm not angry. I'm just... Okay. 9 out of 10. Good jokes, DeSono. Thank you for donating the food puns. All of them 2 out of 10? No, those were good. My, um... Minus five out of ten, unbelievable. No, no, no. Hemlo <laughs> Futsan, I really enjoyed the game. And now I'll be called out at 4 a.m. in the morning, lol. <laughs> Do you wait for the stream and have a lovely day? I'm glad you enjoyed it, Mary. Have a lovely day. Thank you for being here and please rest well. 
Stacy, you ruined it. They didn't ruin it. They just told another sad joke. Also, Sneku, I'm sorry this one didn't get grabbed by the comment grabber. Um, Otsu, I can't believe this game made me shed tears. Yeah, I can't believe how romantic that final one actually got for a little while. That was powerful. And Marshmallow's route was just so sad. It was so sad it had the horror elements to it. It worked pretty well. It landed pretty well. I liked the dark ending for Marshmallow. I'm not going to lie. The sad, like, good ending where you actually, like, help. Not as fun to me as the dark ending. <laughs> Sensei is still the best so far. Sensei's roots, both the endings, straight 10 out of 10. I have fun whether I'm the one. How to say that? <laughs> I had fun on either end, shall I say? <laughs> whether I was on top or bottom? Like, yeah, I guess you could put it that way, even though it's not sexual. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, either way. <laughs> phrasing. I mean, it's phrasing that makes it sound sexual rather than as fucked up as it was, so that that, that works. <laughs> Oof. Oh, kill or be killed? No, see that? That's too far. Maybe hunter or... No, prey or predator. Prey or predator, I was good. Either way, it worked. <laughs> Fuchan is a versatile murderer. As long as the murderer is hot enough. Or has a good enough voice. Good enough voice? If they can just, like, whisper sweet nothings while murdering me, I'll probably be fine. Yorko? The one who played Saiki's mom? She could murder me. Psyche could murder me. Sensei could definitely murder me. Marshmallow could probably murder me. Aorta, I don't know. I'll never know what he actually sounds like. Oh, God. <laughs> Fufu sheep. Today is my birthday, so I want to donate for my Oshi. Have a nice day, Fuchan and sheep pile. Thank you for donating the food funds, Fufu sheep. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here for it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here. Voice kinks, we don't kink shame. Hey, man. I'm an auditory learner. I like voices. <laughs> I like sounds. Uh, Riz, thank you for donating the food funds. Atsu in advance, and thank you for playing this, Fuchan. I love this effed up game very much. I had lots of fun. Arakawa Sensei is still my number one. Yeah, same. 100%. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Riz. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here. Small style. Oh, hey, I was thinking of buying this game, lol. Thanks for streaming so we can all experience it. No problem. I hope if you do buy it, you enjoy it. Jump down, yeah, Aorta's route. If you haven't watched part one as well, Arakawa's route is the best, honestly. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> but thank you for donating the few funds. Okay, that's all of our super chats from today. I will check the stream labs just to be safe. Ah, uh, yeah, and Baldur's Gate is until like late in the evening tomorrow. So I have the morning to write and stuff. Awesome. History. Red flags charge. Hell yeah. For the game, thanks to you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Saiki's mom's voice, though, exactly. I'm sad she didn't get a CG. <laughs> like, she didn't get a sprite at all, which made me kind of sad. Um, But her voice was amazing. <laughs> um, Oh, why are there so many today? Sienna, thank you so much for donating the food funds. It says not to read the message out loud, so that's cool. But thank you. Aww. Thank you so much, Sienna. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you continue to enjoy them in the future. And that, that was nothing even like... <laughs> They just didn't want me to read it because it got sappy. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Psyche's mom's voice versus Sensei's voice. Oh, Sensei wins that one. Like, I'm sorry. But, but Psyche's mom wasn't in the stream, like, wasn't on show enough to really know. I don't know. Give me Psyche's mom giving me a Yandere voice pack. Then we'll find out. <laughs> I think by now everybody in, like, the chat knows how I feel about Yandere's. So, come on, man. <laughs> she delivered her lines beautifully. She did very good crying lines. She did very good, like, trying to hold back her emotion and sounding like she was mentally broken. So she did great. But, <laughs> it's, you know, I, it's hard to compare, like, a good, sad couple of scenes to, like, the full-on Yandere murder that we got, plus everything else Sensei gave us. <sighs> Psyche's mom voice back when? Exactly. 
Uh, Rain, thank you for donating the few funds. Woke up, woke up on both of Saiki's endings. Atsufufu. Oh, not the hashtag happy. <laughs> we need to stop playing games that have random hashtags in them. Thank you for donating the food funds, Rain. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't blame you. I mean, I watched Higurashi no Naku Koroni when I was like 12. That formed me. <laughs> Higurashi no Naku Koroni at 12. Also, oh God, what was that show called? A show I really shouldn't have watched. I watched it when I was like nine. Vampire Princess Mayu, I think it was called. They used to show like really adult anime on like the sci-fi channel in England. They had things like Ninja Scroll on there that I definitely should not have been watching. But Vampire Princess Miu, goddamn. Yeah, I like scary people. <laughs> Holy shit, that's old. Congratulations. Welcome to how old I am. <laughs> Future Diary. Uh, Future Diary can't quite keep up with Higurashi, but, but yeah, pink haired, you know, yeah. She became the face of Yandere after Higurashi. H H Higurashi Yandere better. They're more crazy. Future Diary is mid. I wouldn't say it was mid. It was okay. It was entertaining. It had an amazing soundtrack for one thing. The openings and endings were great. But yeah, I wouldn't put Higurashi and uh, Future Diary on the same level. Future Diary was okay. It is kind of sad that like, you know, Gasai has become the face of Yandere after like Reino Yugu and Shion and Mion did it so much better years before. <laughs> But okay. <laughs> Simp Tempura, thank you for donating the few funds. Um, hi, Fuchan. I recently started a new job after a year of unemployment. It inspired me to think about failure in different perspectives. Trying my best is already enough. Damn straight. Imperfection makes life more unforgettable and worthwhile. Thanks, Fu, for being you. Thank you so much, Sim Tempura. I'm happy to hear that. I hope you enjoy whatever new job you're doing. I hope it goes well for you. And yeah, honestly... Whatever kind of failure you have, it just, yeah, it just changes the course a little bit. It just changes what you do. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with being unemployed. There's absolutely nothing wrong with failing exams or not getting the job you want or not going in the direction you thought you were going to go in. There's always different paths to things. Whatever employment you're doing now, I hope it goes well. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and congratulations. I hope it's wonderful for you in the future. Thank you so much. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Before we move on did the comment grabber grab those good kushami thank you for the great stream tonight the story of the game was great and your voice acting made the stream even more fun oh, i'm so glad you enjoyed it kushami also i'm not sure if you were there for the membership stream <laughs> so let me just say we talked about the amazing mmd that you made the other day you always make beautiful mmds but yeah we talked about the mmd you made the other day and just released on twitter like two three days ago and how much it broke me emotionally and how powerful it was. But thank you so much for making that. It gave me like a good burst of emotions. Yep, I know. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't see you like in the thing at the time talking about it. But yeah, it was really an amazing one. So thank you so much for that. The MMDs are always so beautiful. And that one was so freaking powerful. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for donating the few funds. And I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Cataclysm. 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the mom voice got me. <laughs> Wait, what? I, the mom voice got me? I, the stream helped me escape the heat for a while. I hope you stay cool. Bye, you. I just don't see how the temperature and the mom voice <laughs> combine. I don't get how that sentence works. The mom voice definitely got me too, though. <laughs> that is hot as hell, though. Try to cool off. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for donating the few funds. Um, Julian. Oh, don't read out loud. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, though. It's so sweet of you. Hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for being here. Mom's voice is hotter than 35 degrees Celsius. Oh, I get you now. It may be 35 degrees Celsius outside, but the mom voice still made it hotter. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> In which case, that's a good line. It just had to be worded differently. <laughs> um, but bam, Luthier, thank you for donating the food funds. Atsufuchan. To be honest, that fake smile of Psyche hit me like a truck. Holding back emotion because of responsibility is hard. But it should be an adult thing to do, not a kid like him. Yeah. Anyway, your Oya Oya is too good. Oh, I can't even do it now. <laughs> Oya. Yeah, I like doing the sensei voice. 
The oh yeah, and the, I forget the line he drops like at the end of Valentine's Day where he's like, oh, he didn't even say goodbye. And then he does the like, bucka bucka. No, he says something about like ridiculous child or something in Japanese, but it's, it's delivered so well. I loved repeating that line. Silly child. Yeah, but I forget how to say it in Japanese. Ah, oh, man. Was it Shigatanai or something? Shigatanai, kiddo. Damn it, I don't remember. Shogunai call? I don't think it was that. Shogunai call. Maybe it was. Either way. <laughs> Either way, he delivers that line so well. Repeating Summer Sensei's lines just always feels good. It feels so sensual. <laughs> Every sentence that comes out of his mouth is just so sensual. Shigatanai call? Maybe. Shigatanai call? Maybe. Either way, it was amazing. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Luther. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, honestly. Psyche cover, car carrying so much on his back when he was so young. It does hurt. Him crying his eyes out and not even realizing he was crying at first. Ah, oh, God. Rogue. Hey, Fuchan. No need to read out loud. <laughs> um... We don't normally do that on Super Chats. <laughs> we normally do the don't read out loud on Streamlabs. I'm going to hide this then. Sorry. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Oh, that's okay. I'm, I hope you feel better soon, Rogue. Yeah, I'm sorry. I comment grabbed one that you didn't want to read out loud. <laughs> that's my bad. Um, with Super Chats, I normally assume they're fine to read out loud and I comment grab them. But yeah, I'm glad to hear it's been a useful distracting. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you, yeah. There are times we just need to be distracted and just not think about what's going on in the world. Ah, oh, thank you for the no worries. But yeah, keep doing it. Escape for a little while and hopefully you'll be able to deal with whatever's going on in the future. Thank you so much for being here. Please rest away and take it easy. You didn't even talk to Backward Kid? Nah, fuck Backward Kid. <laughs> All my homies ate, hate who we order said pie. We'll do it someday. Not on stream though. <laughs> Shikataka Nai is nothing to be done about it. Yeah, I think that's what he was saying. Like, I forget what... I think they did translate it as to just, like, something like... Something kid. Uh, but yeah. I think it was Shikataka Nai. I think it was, like... Oh, he didn't even say goodbye to me. Shikataka Nai. Kind of thing. They ought to slander a strong with this one. Yep. Now we'll never get to the heart of the matter. Maybe. I'll do it off stream. If it ends up being incredibly important to the overall storyline, I'll tweet about it. Cataclysm. I don't know. My brain is fried. Like being able to cook eggs on the sidewalk outside. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Her voice did be kind of ASMR-ish. Especially how... Oh, God. I love that. Yeah, like the deep, soothing voice she had. It was fantastic. It's a BL line used to give a sexual word. Rango. <laughs> it's not just a BL line to give a sexual reward. No, no, no. It's a phrase. It can't be helped. Doesn't turn into only a sexual thing. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> what was it? There was some other word that we brought up sometime where somebody was like, oh, that word just makes me think of the Omega verse. And I was like, I don't care. That's on you. <laughs> There was some sort of descriptor. Are you sure about that, sir? I'm very sure about that. I've heard so many people say that phrase, like, it can't be helped, just to be like, ah, it can't be helped. Shogun that, you know. No big deal. Like, no big deal. It doesn't have to be. Oh, I guess it can be helped. I guess I'll give you exactly what you want. God damn it. Pheromones? Pheromones, it might have been. Was it pheromones? Yeah. Where I brought up pheromones, and just so many people in chat were like, Oh, I only think about that line from Omegaverse. And I was like, that's on you. <laughs> that's not on everybody else. You associating something with sexual content does not mean <laughs> that it's a bad word. Sorry, I might have been about a secondary creation. <laughs> it's fine. I just found it funny. I think you said Shogunai Core, which is like helpless child. Because the main, the main character was overthinking, confessing. That's probably what it was. And the fact that he didn't even say goodbye to him. So it works like both ways where it's like on his route, it's like him running away from the truth. And he's like, uh, helpless child. You could have just said it. And otherwise, yeah, if he's just supposed to be the nice sensei, then it's like, oh, uh, he's in love. <sighs> helpless child. <laughs> that kind of thing. 
But yeah, in which case it's completely different. I don't know. I thought it was the other one. Is Lily Demon Nerd, thank you for donating the food funds. I'm saying this for another time, but screw it. Question about monster fricking. Do fox girls count? If so, frick! Also, the fluffy ears and tails. I'm sorry for the off-topic T.Y. for the stream. That is incredibly off-topic. <laughs> okay, Lily Demon Nerd. Of course fox girls count. Any kind of kimono mimi counts. Fox girls, fox guys, wolf girls, wolf guys, cat girls, cat guys. Those are all, yes, monster frickers. It just depends because at a certain level of furriness, then it becomes furry. Like you, there's like good active charts. If you search for like furriness percentage, Google that and you'll normally get like an image where it goes from like 10%, which is just like cat ears, fit like 30%, which is like cat ears, cat hands and cat feet, maybe a cat tail. And then you start to get to like 60% and then it gets furry rather than monster fricker. Yeah, at some point it stops being monster fricker and it turns into furry, which is fine as well. But yeah, it's technically also a monster fricker. It's just people would probably more call you a furry rather than a monster fricker if it was like any of the characters from Beastars kind of thing. That would be, yeah. <laughs> that would be the point where people would be, wouldn't be like, oh, you monster fucker. They'd be like, oh, you furry. Somebody spent too much time on Twitter. Hell yeah. <laughs> No, not on Twitter. On more fun places, thank you very much. Just different terminology. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd honestly say... Uh, yeah, being a furry is being a monster fricker. Basically. Essentially. <laughs> it's just fluffy soft monsters. Pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, I feel like there would be some people that refer to themselves as furries that would hate me for that. But I mean, it's still... <laughs> Look, whatever you kink, I'm fine with it. I don't care. It's just, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I am a well-known monster fricker. So we can all just enjoy our kinks together. Not together. We can all enjoy our kinks separately and just not annoy each other about them. <laughs> Blizzy Dow, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Ooh, twice in a row. Recently, because I needed to prepare stuff going uh, abroad to study, I've missed so many wonderful streams and just can watch the clips instead. But I've already finished the voice drama. It's exactly a great voice drama. You did so great. By the way, I'm glad being a confidant in this wonderful sheep pile. You deserve all the good things and bye you. Oh, thank you so much, Pusadal. So glad you enjoyed it. I'm so glad that you got to check out the audio drama. We had a lot of fun recording it. And I'm glad you're part of the confidants and you enjoy being part of the confidants. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well and take it easy. There's a difference between anthros which have analogs. I don't even know what the analogs means. <laughs> that goes beyond my knowledge. You got to tweet about it? Oh, we saved a new wave of cursed fan art. I, I think we're fine. Um, a lot of people have drawn me in like furry version and in like part wolf or part sheep version before we've had the fan art it's fine it's cool well fan art's good fan art um ren la set thank you for donating for funds but john it was my birthday yesterday it was pouring rain last night so the birthday dinner was postponed to today instead my wish is that fuchan and the confidants will always be healthy and happy bye you all happy belated birthday ren la set i hope you had a wonderful one if you had to delay it because of the rain, does that mean like you went outside? To, like, oh, that's awesome. You got to have like an outdoor dinner. That sounds awesome. I hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Fuchan in Jollibee costume? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> for one thing, I've never even eaten Jollibees. For another thing, just no. <laughs> just no. I don't want to be a bumblebee. Susidy, thank you for donating the food funds. Oh, no need to read. Okay. <laughs> That's very sweet of you, Susidy. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. <laughs> the second <laughs> one really got me. I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for thank you for joining. Ah, thank you for donating the food funds. Ah, it's a hamster, isn't it? I thought it was a bumblebee. Wait a minute. Jolly. B. That 
that's a that's definitely not a hamster. It's got antenna. Jollibee mascot. It's got like a stripy butt and it's butt stick. How is this not a bumblebee? It's called Jollibee. Bee. Jollibee. It is a bee. Why are you guys trying to gaslight me so hard? What are you? <laughs> it's a bee? Yeah, it's just not black and yellow. Instead, it's red and yellow. It's a bumblebee. You can't see the stinger. You, it's even got the wings. It's got the wings. It's got the antenna. It's got the strike. It's a bumblebee. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> you guys really had me going. I was suddenly like, wait. Why is it red and yellow? Probably for branding. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't have to be legit black and white. <laughs> One guide. I mean, that was one guy, but a bunch of other people were like arguing as well. They weren't saying it was a hamster, but they were just saying, B? Question B? I was like, come on. It's a hamster with wings? No, Jojo BB. No. It's a bumblebee. It's red and white. It's red and yellow. I, I'm done. Chat? No. <laughs> no more gaslighting. We're not doing the black and blue dress, gold and white dress shit with Jollibee mascot. It's red and yellow bumblebee. <laughs> Lulu the sheep. TY for the stream, Fufu. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Do you know that Nigeria has a local food called Fufu? It's a kind of dough made from boiled cassava. I never knew what it was, but I had heard of Fufu. A lot of my friends growing up eat it. Because, um, yeah, in Southeast London, it's like a mixture of different people from all over the place. But, yeah, I'd never actually had Fufu. I didn't know what it was, but I had definitely heard of it as a food. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Lulu Sheep. <laughs> Does that mean even when I say foo funds, it's technically food funds too? Because it's foo foo funds. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Mikaya roll. Thank you for donating the foo funds. Okay. Hi, Folger. It's K. I I changed my name to Mikaya. Don't read the next part out loud. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you very much for the sweet message. Mikaya roll slash K. Confusion. <laughs> but thank you so much for donating the foo funds. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm Filipino food, it's red and white. Looking this up one more time. He's red and yellow. The picture of his face is red and white. I'll give you that. Look at his whole body. Look at his whole body, please. Just I'll leave it as Mikairo. Okay. Now I know you're Mikairo instead of K from now on. Look at his entire body. I swear to God, he's got a red and yellow body. When they draw just like the logo itself, yes, it's red and white face. The body is red and yellow. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> Jollibee is red and yellow. Thank you. Red and yellow. Can confirm. Thank you. <sighs> Wait, there's a whole Jollibee mascot. Oh my god. They have a hamburger man. They have a chicken. They have a boy and a girl. They have two girls. And a cow. Oh my god. I didn't know they had an extended universe. Anyway. <laughs> That was, that was interesting knowledge. Okay. I think I'm free. <laughs> Marineth, thank you for donating the food funds. And he calls MC Wild Potato. Anton slash Rain Potato, yo. Did you just call out people in the middle of a super chat? Terrible. Terrible. Well, I do like the way he says, yo, potato, yo. <laughs> it sounded really cool. What, I only know the B? Yeah, no, apparently there's a whole universe of characters like McDonald's has like... A uh, Grimace Hamburglar. McDonald's has a bunch. I don't know. Apparently Jollibee has a bunch of them too. We asked for it. How dare. How dare. <laughs> Just walked in and we're discussing why Jollibee is red and yellow. We're not discussing why. We were fighting about if Jollibee is red and yellow. Anyway, it's been six and a half hours. I'm done for the day. <laughs> I still have about three quarters of a sandwich left actually <laughs> i'm hungry i'm tired this was supposed to be a short stream I screwed up the first hour but <laughs> well, this was fun i'm glad we got through these stories so thank you all so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed the stream we'll be back tomorrow at like two hours after this <laughs> 6 p.m edt for boulders gate 3 with pio chan and pom pom and rosami so it should be fun We'll all be role-playing and playing characters, but, you know, chatting normally between each other as well, but then role-playing as the characters while we play. So it should be fun. I hope you guys will show up for that. If not, no worries. I know it's a weird time. I know it's a different kind of game, but I'm definitely going to have fun playing it. So thank you all so much for joining us. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys 
next time. And as, oh, that's the wrong voice effect. <laughs> and as usual on the way out, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. Everybody who joined the membership, everybody who gifted a membership, everybody who rejoined the membership. I didn't say that properly, but you get what I mean. Everybody who joined the membership in any way or donated. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Demon Nerd. La V, thank you so much for the five gifted. Egg. Yanni. Moonlight Owl. Oh, wait. Moon Night Owl? Moon Night Owl. Sick. Tsukumi. Kushami. Maru Maru, thank you so much for the five gifted. Bako007, thank you so much for the gifted. Jade Meiko. Kindred Anon. Min. Wave1951. Atsu, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Masato, thank you so much for the gifted. Ren Lost Set, thank you so much for the five gifted. B Cream, thank you so much for the five gifted. Kong Konko, thank you so much for the five gifted. Yuri, Crystal. Isn't BG3 more than a day away? Yeah, so. I, I, I'm sorry, when I said I will be back tomorrow and in only two hours, I didn't mean in only two hours from now, I meant tomorrow and then in two hours. <laughs> 26 hours, well, technically 25 hours and a half. Sorry that I didn't explain that properly. In tomorrow in two hours. <laughs> Don't worry, you've got more than a day. Sorry if I explained that wrong and it confused you. <laughs> tomorrow at 6 p.m. EDT. <laughs> UA Knight. Louis Rius. Yang Zuji. Star Jelly. Shimomi. Shisha Furia. Lemon Adept. Dogo Paws. Ellen. Sea Bunny, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Neko Barman. Blanc, thank you so much for the ten gifted membership. I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here. Annie. Zenobia. Kimiko, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Maotien. Otonashi. Hope Schmidt, thank you so much for the ten gifted membership. Hope you had a wonderful evening and please rest well. E Cream, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Satoshi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Luthier, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Augustus's babysitter. Sienna. Minty Choco. E oh, Hua Yi Ning. And finally, Luthier, thank you so much for the gifted membership. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. We'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. EDT in Baldur's Gate. And the day after, we will be doing our talk about cryptids and folklore and stuff like that. So have a lovely evening. Do not be led astray. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Just had to close a Jollibee mascot tab because <laughs> that's what Azatsudan led to today. <laughs> Goodbye.